And we are live. We're live. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Meet Me at the Table. Again, we are playing some Old Sworn. We already have some awesome people in the chat already. They've been waiting. I've been waiting. Yeah, Colin, this is going to be waiting. amazing. I'm so excited. Uh, yes, we are fashionably late, Bill. This is true. Bill is here. Yeah. Bill is amazing. Thank Bill you, Bill, is. for joining. This is going to be amazing. I'm super excited, too. Okay. So those of you that don't know, Bill is a uh, co uh, uh, commissioned painter, and he went out of his way to work super hard to give us some awesome looking minis. Of course, we commissioned him to do this, so it's going to be absolutely awesome. And if you're interested and what you see and you think they're cool check out bill and we'll put a link to his stuff in the description of this video so they yeah. can check that out and uh what's super fun is that we haven't seen any of it so nope. usually bill sends pictures of what he's working on and then sends it to us we haven't seen any of it because no. we didn't want to see it so this is going to be literally us seeing it first time when first we're time. playing it first i can't time. wait i can't wait it's gonna be a blast it is <laughs> hannah matt awesome to see you guys here thanks for joining we are appreciate you joining we are gonna start last time we played we went through mission two we defeated some giant oh satyr. it was a satyr satyr, satyr. satyr. thank you satyr. 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 he can pronounce words i can't oh no i can't pronounce satyr either. satyr you yeah. know it, it's sadder tomato. it's sadder than a satyr tomato tomato right <laughs> i'm excited you guys are back for chapter three Yes. Good to have you here, High Dwarf. Good to have you here. I was gone for three, uh, two weeks, two in, weeks. Uh, in the Smoky yeah. Mountains. Yeah. So we were hiking there, and that yes, was a blast. Was. In the so. sworn deep woods. Up in, in, the, in the deep woods, there's lots of trees and bears. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so we had a bear jump up on one of our friend's no cars. Way. You had a yes. chair? Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. So, anyways. Oh, yeah. that's sweetness. So we're going to continue on. We finished Chapter 2. We got kind of late near the end of there. So we yeah. wanted to start a little bit earlier to get so we could hopefully get through this and not keep everybody up as late as we stayed up. Which was like one o'clock in the morning, <laughs> but that's okay. We yeah. made it through. No, the next we made it through somehow. Somehow, <laughs> and it was awesome. That was really cool. So before we start, though, there were a couple things that we wanted to talk about when that we did wrong in the last video that I want people to understand. The first one was we near the end of the stream. We were getting kind of tired and losing. Some really? Rules. We got a little really? Bit. So chain attack. When we did our chain attack, it, we drew cards and hit one of our characters, and then we chained it to another character and redrew cards and took away the lowest card. That's not how you do it. You actually just take the one hit and then you chain it, and every time it hit chains to another character you lose one of the cards now that's different from charge through charge through you actually keep the whole damage as you're charging through all the different squares we might see that tonight who knows i know one of my guys has a charge through oh okay. might even use it we'll see how it goes i'm finishing your chapter right now take your time starting okay dan yeah well you had a couple <laughs> weeks to do that you're a little bit late on that one <laughs> Take your time. Uh, well, we're good. No, no, we're just gonna go. Uh, Since they can't, awesome to have you here. It's chapter three. Chapter three. Here we go. You guys are pretty punchy at the end for sure. Uh, yep, yeah. we were. <laughs> Sorry, man. <Matt. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we made it through. The other thing I want to talk about is I was I, another thing we made a mistake on was when it comes to making tests. Um, unless it's a might test, you can't use one of those. Which one is it? The up token. The, yeah, um, empower, empower right? thank you empowering empower. token you can't use an empowering token so for something i think like your priest might have that heal card it says like make a general test um you can't use an empower token to help you on that test but oh, you can that's use good redraw tests that you can uh, redraw tokens you can't use those so those okay. are just a couple things so but wait when i do that test can i still use my one red if i have a red for this or when i'm doing that test i have to use only white only dice. white unless you have something that helps you with that particular test like survival or something then you get up, up up on it does that make sense even if it's just a if it just says basic check yeah because basic check you're not using then, your weapon to basic check to heal me i agree but then that means that i don't get any so then i mean yeah per, uh, perform a basic check so yeah that, there's nothing that i can get that's going to increase my basic check not yes? really not okay. um, unless there's something that maybe we find along the way maybe i got an okay. item or something okay i can't i can't be held responsible or anything any injuries due to the shock yeah. oh, all right <laughs> this is true if we both fall over and that's it we, yeah. we know what happened the mini will just sit there and that's we're right. both dead that's yeah. It. yeah all four of our characters yeah. that's it all right so we're going to go down to the game board here we have kind of our city set up because we're going to start there we are the iron vanguard is what we are now when we finished we did not not have anything but special rules checked so we're not gonna be getting any unique new unique items uh, above the normal oh, two on. that you get you get two we don't get any extra ones that's the deal okay. so I'm gonna have Colin I think you have the book right I'm sure I do right all here. right so we have an epilogue to read because we were so excited <coughs> to get to the epilogue oh no we didn't okay death by Which awesome one? minis that's that's the way death to go by... that is a way to go that, <laughs> that is definitely but anyway. it doesn't get better it doesn't. Uh, so do I read epilogue one um yes okay the satyr shudders, Icar seeping from a dozen cuts. Yeah, it sounds like us, us yep. like nicking at, nicking at it. It seems to be smiling even now as if relishing the pain. You advance on the fiend to finish it off, but as you do, as you do so, the satyr raises its mighty arms and dark lit wreaths the clearing. Your vision twists and blurs, and when it returns, the satyr is gone. No tracks. Just gone. Mm. You hope it has gone somewhere to die, but yeah. <laughs> you doubt it. No. Wherever it went, it'll think twice before preying on Baston again. 
You go to see if any uh, uh, any of the people in the trees are still alive, but find them long dead. Their bodies broken and twisted, including that kid that we tried to save them. Well, we just, learned something last time. We yeah. were doing kids in the deep wood. I know, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I, I've learned my lesson. <laughs> just kill them, okay? You hope they died quickly, okay? Uh, a search of the surrounding area gleans several items. Gain eight iron. So do you yeah. split that between all, right. all of I us? I think we do. I'll just grab eight iron and throw it out in the middle okay. there. Yeah. Two, four, Tally six, level. Okay. Loot and losses. Tally level loot and losses. All right, I'm going to give each of us two iron here. That's going to be the deal. So I've got two, four, six, six eight. eight. Here you Who go. Who do we appreciate? Baird. Baird. That's right. And, and Bill. Yeah, Bill. <laughs> Bill and Baird. <laughs> Baird and Bill. That's amazing. That okay. That's awesome. So maybe say tally level loot or something? Tally level okay. loot and losses. So the tally level, when we go to go tally level, this is something I should work on. Next time we play, I'll have this ready to go. Um, when you, I'll actually, maybe I can get this book up on the screen so people can see it. That'll be the deal. You go to the back, and it shows you what we're going to get for our level. So for this particular level, we have gotten ourselves a free company trait. Ooh, what is that? What is that? What's that? Let's show Colin. It's a Colin's going to love trait. it. So a free company trait are all right here. We have to choose one of those. Field Tough medic, nails. scavenger, herbalist, Pink. any of those. Now, of course, you can pick these up to three times. That's the deal. That's the deal. In fact, it's only up to 20 items. When you gain an entry, drop two and pick one. During encounter steps, each order may choose to reroll. Wait, during encounter setup, each mm -hmm. Osworn may choose to roll an unused hit point die. Whoever rolls the highest gains one HP. Once per chapter, pay X iron to archive one injury card from one. Whoa. That's pretty good, huh? Broccoli Docklands, always good to see you. Hey, Thank yeah, you. Yeah. He changed his little dude there. His yeah, nice. Thing. His his picture? Yeah. Herbalist. Gain two curatives each time you purchase one. Yeah, it seems okay. Um, let's see here. True grit. When you gain an injury, draw two cards. Pick one. Oh, I don't want an injury, so I don't think we're gonna. Yeah, yeah okay. we're just not gonna get injuries. No. <laughs> Alan, awesome to see you. Thank you for joining. We are on the way Wait. to Deepwoods Three. What? Oh no, I thought it was time. Well connected. Sending runner to a banksmith or apothecary no longer costs any additional iron. So instead of going there, you can actually normally send somebody, but you gotta pay them. This way, you wouldn't have to pay them. I don't know for how often we're gonna use that. But we like to go there and get stuff, yeah. and then we don't have to pay the iron, so we can use it to... We can just go there. Though. I know, but that takes a time. It does. Last time we ran out of time, remember? That's, yeah, that's true. You know, we were ambushed because we were so slow. I mean, No, Baird we were ambushed slow, because we chose the wrong thing. That was no, the no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, deal. maybe. Maybe. Gain one extra ration. Can you tell me what the rations are? I have no clue. Okay. All right, so let's not do that one then. No, I haven't heard about that one. Uh, redraw for survival checks. Spot oh. alert and spot. We could get one, two, or three redraws on survival. Oh, those are specific types of yep, checks. Yep, so survival checks. We could do one for spot search, barter, threat, reason, or allies enter play with two, yeah. three. Or... No, because I'm assuming we're never going to have allies, so we're not going to die. Right. Yeah, so let's right. go to that one. So now for me, personally, my goal, I think, would be this one. Because it seems like if you fail a survival check, you must always take a wound. It wounds okay. stink. Wounds do stink. Let's do that one. So Let's try we, that. So we get uh, one reroll since we're rolling dice. One reroll on survival check. Correct. Okay. That's the deal. So that's going to be our trait. Did we choose well? Let Who me knows? know in the comments below. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we will see. We definitely didn't choose well. Yeah. I mean, come on. That's okay. No, but it'll be good. All right. So that's the that's the level. What else do we do? do, we do loot the, and losses. Loot. So, we, so loot, loot. We, get, we get this. We get our deck of cards here. I'm going to give them a good old truffle shuffle. Now, we've taken out the level twos, and you put in the level three common items. But we still have the level two unique, unique items. items. And now I realize I'm going to have you make me go get something later, probably. But for now, I think we're doing okay. Okay. What do you need later? I might need another box of cards. I might need one. But we'll see. So we're going to get four of these. Yep. <laughs> because I'm super organized. <laughs> He tells me, I'm all set up by everything. We get here and we're setting up more stuff. Like, what did you set up? <laughs> okay, our first card we got is we got a, what's this? Aged cloth robe. So it looks like almost anybody can use it. Two defense. If there are no adjacent oath sworns, you get two uh, of those of, what is it? Well, um, uh, animus. A animus. Animus. Wow, good on my terms. Two weeks. Two weeks later. I know. Anybody can use that. Yeah. And that's, a, that's, a, that's two shield. Yep, so that's two shields. So the only person, it could help our uh, archer. Yeah, I think it, for you, I've got the only I've got one that has. He, she's got this right now, which actually isn't too bad. It's the one that, after damage is drawn against you, redraw, reduce it oh, by two, which is usually two. pretty that's, good. I actually think that's, I think that's pretty Although good. Although getting more enemies might not be bad. Uh, All right, then we got to look at the spike club. This could be for your penitent. When you because critical it's one -handed. attack, add one damage and one knockback. Let's see, what do I have right now? Before no, I like this one better. Okay. Yeah, definitely. 
Then see what else. Let's me add a red die. Nobody else can use it. All right. Oh, look at this, an heirloom. Oh. Ooh, the blade can use the- Oh, he's too yellow! Too too he's yellow? Too... Oh, he's After too... damage is drawn against you, gain one shield against that That's damage. pretty much like that's... an upgraded longsword that I used to have. I think that's a no-brainer. But the halberd is a red, but I think I like the two yellow. I mean, I, I, like I, I agree. I think two yellow is better than one red. I'm two with yellow. you. I'm going with it. Okay. I'm going with it. All right. We're going to have that one. Okay, we got one more. One more. One more. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. Now, of course, this could be changed here in a second. We also- Well, that was something. Oh. That's... Shiv? Hmm. Who wants that? When you critical during an attack, then it hits battle flow one card. Who can use it? Who can even use <laughs> Just it? Just the blade. Uh, uh, some and characters we don't actually have. We don't have okay. now. Onto the good stuff. We do get two of the super unique cards. Now they're level twos though, instead of level threes. You yeah. only put the level three common. You you go to the common of the mission you're going into, but you're always drawing from the back side of the of the uh, unique. Super explain that. Whoa. Super the backside of you the like unique. You like that? So the backside, the two is... <laughs> the poor going... backside of the unique. All right, so let's see what we got. You ready, Colin? What does the backside of the unique look like? I don't want to know. It looks like that. We got the Whoa. white wolf cloak. Look at that thing. After damage run against you, if you have three health or less, gain one shield against that. Okay. okay. But it doesn't give you any defense automatically. No. Oh, no. but maybe it's not. It's a gear. What so it's mean? not an armor. That's the one you can add? Yeah, so this is armor cloth. So this is something you can put on top of your cloak. Or whatever armor you have. You get this along with your armor. Okay. So that's not just armor. That's something you can get. And you can use it after damage is drawn against you. So then you can use it. It would have that three cooldown, but you'd be able to take advantage of that ability. Then the second one is... Oh, the gnarled taunt. taunt. Look at this. I got Look a at you. Two, another two yellow. Yeah. When you critical during an attack, that hits. Gain two animus. Gain two animus oh, back. I'm assuming like that, that gives you animus back, right? So that is correct. There. That is awesome. Um, I think I'm going to use that. That's yeah. like a no-brainer here. Do you want to give the white wolf cloak to the penitent who's usually up in front getting yeah, hammered? sure not. Why not? Okay. I think he'd be good with that. Okay. He's going to like awesome. that. And then I'm going to put my short bow back in here. Now, if you could do me a favor, Colin, I'm yeah. going to give you my red cube back. Oh, and he's got all the cubes over there. And I'll take a couple of those yellow ones. Actually, I'm going to give you three of them. That's perfect. I can't believe you got two yellow. That's awesome. I like it too. Now, of course, that's not it. At some time, we could go to the blacksmith to potentially buy more of these common ones. Now, what to. do we have to lose? Tell us what we have to lose. That's a good question. Yeah. So now, well, now I have to figure out why. Oh, there you are, the priest. Okay, I need to go oh. to the archer. The archer's going to get her second cube. You still got here. your cards here. So yes. Move them out of the way. There Thank you. Go. you. And I'm going to take two yellow cubes for the blade. Oh. He's now got that new. Blade Cincinnati here. Cats, which, by the way, that's an mm -hmm. awesome name. Cincinnati Cats. Yeah, that's pretty uh, good. Cincinnati Cats says. The best part about this game is the loot system. It's true. I agree. I the loot system is awesome. I think it's great because you actually don't get overburdened with them because you have to get yes. rid of some. So, for example, now we have to each lose one card. Now, of course, I'm going to lose my bow and I'm going to lose that uh, thingamajigger that I had. So the uh, the bow and the halberd. Correct. Those are going to both get discarded. Okay. That's the deal. And apparently that's also fun that I don't have this going on. here. That's uh, okay. I'll fix that. Um, we'll go to the archer. It's right there. Okay. There we go. Um, in whatever game I play, I'm regularly old loot goblin. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So I'm going to lose those two. But now the problem is you've got to learn to lose some too. I have to lose. Is, can happened? we lose any from the backpack? Okay. Um, or no? No, it has to be from what we used. It has to be from what we used? Yeah. Okay. So you might have to lose that and just use that other weapon. Okay. So let's see. Uh, seriously? I don't want to lose anything. I've got I know. You got some really good stuff. Um, We're going to lose these. I have to lose one that I used in the scenario. From what I understand, yes. What if I don't want it? Yeah, you know, that's just... No, I, it didn't break. The, the, the peasant flail was great. I guess I can switch to the spiked club. Yeah. It's not nearly as I good. Know. Okay, so the pleasant, f the peasant, peasant flail, flail is gone, and the stupid spiked club comes back. Um, yes. Four, so these four are here. And then... He only has two items that he used. He has to lose one of these two? But that's okay, because during the game, we can maybe go to the uh, blacksmith and find something we can buy. Because he can't even use this weapon. No, I'd lose the armor. You can't Three tell me. armor? Okay, I don't, okay. Know, I don't know what else is in here, but I guarantee you there's got to be some kind of armor in this. Okay, so, so I guess I'll lose the armor. So you're going to lose armor, and if it doesn't work out that way, you I, can put that on for right now. I mean, at least it gives him two, but two shield is terrible. No, yeah, it's super bad. 
<laughs> Gotta lose it. Wear and tear column. Weapons don't last forever. Oh, the way I use them. Let, let's just let's just say, okay, uh, it's actually true. You're right. You're right. The way I use them, I miss so many times, and I got hammered on so many times. Yes. Okay. As Cincinnati Cat says, or but uh, yes, he uh, uh, he also says that if you go on country, you actually lose two items. Can you imagine that? And you had peasant. <laughs> Flail, and I heard pheasant pale. pale. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I okay. I I time. love and I hate this system. We better find something better. All because... right, so we still have a ship. Is that all we got? Yeah, it's a <laughs> ship, a, a piece of junk <laughs> over there. A piece of junk. You you drew terribly from oh, that um, I did. common I did items. I guess. Terrible. Okay, so okay, those right. are the four. So the four items are over here. These are gone. Yeah. Okay, put those thank in. You. Now Thank we do you. get this. This is gonna go in our backpacks. So we'll put that in our backpack. Whoop de do. Yeah. There Wait, you go. have the backpack. I, I do. It says backpack. Oh, hey, right look there. at this. It says backpack. It's amazing. Wait, is there anything actually good in the backpack that I could use? Oh, instead you know of what? Let's check what's in the junk? backpack. Here, that's in the yeah. backpack. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, a buckler for one. Yeah, let's see what, what, oh, here we go. What? Oh, now that looks better. No. Gain one redraw. Uh, kill a two. Oh, terrible. If it our Trevor goes down, you might be going to keep it low because you have to lose two if someone goes out. Well, true, but I. What else am I going to lose? I mean, I, I lose my armor that I like. We're going to go with the fact that I'm not going to go out. Roar! Let's do it. All right. Well, we'll, we'll see. Did Barrett lose the dagger? He's stuck in columns back to the chapter. Yeah, I did. I lost that. Did you lose the dagger? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did that multiple times. Did. Do you I remember do that? that? That's pretty good. Multiple times. Yeah. He's like, oh wait, let me just move back or make me untargetable, so you're screwed. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do it again this yeah. time too. Oh, thank you, thank you. Broccoli Docklin says he loves seeing the synergy between <laughs> you guys in the house housekeeping phase because it makes Barrett leave him for dead. I do. Uh -huh. I got some really good stuff, uh -huh. Colin. I'm, I'm doing pretty good here. Yeah, thank you. As I'm losing all my armor, and he goes, yeah. oh, look at this amazing range attack. So yeah, that way even, I can stay I, away from these bad guys. I didn't even give you a chance on that one. I just yeah. took it. Yeah. All right. I don't want a bow. I can't take a you bow. You can't take a bow. No. All right. Now, I think we're... Now, there might be... Oh, now that's the loot. And level, losses. And now losses. We did it. We did We, we losses. Lost. Now, the other thing we'd have to do is we'd also have to check down our dead people. But again, we didn't lose any. We are deadless. Deadless. Okay. Maybe right. we should change our name to Deadless. So <laughs> the Deadless Society. Uh, losing, the, losing the light fast, you hurry back to Bastone. There you find Gamel, the banksmith, watching from the walls, awaiting your return. Ooh. My boy, did you find him? We tried! We tried! I promise! <laughs> if you have Tam's locket written in your free locket? company sheet. We have King, Killer, and no. Ration. No, we, we didn't, do not we have didn't find his locket. We did not find his locket. You tell Gamel how the satyr killed his son. Good. An uncommon anger rises in Gamel, oh. and a brokenness pours out of him. I knew he was gone. I felt it in my gut. I knew. Why didn't I go after him? That thing's still alive somewhere. I vow by my good arm I will kill that creature. I will have vengeance, free company. I don't care how long it takes or how much blood is spilt. I'm coming with you. Oh. oh. If you good. want to gain Gamel as an ally, Gain ally card six, Gamel. Add Deepwood event card 22 to your Deepwood event deck and city event card 19 to your city event deck. Uh, I want him on our side. If you do, you gotta get the cards over there. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm getting no. them. Because, I, I mean, do you want them? I, of course I, I, think, I yeah, do. Come on. Go get them. The cards are right up there. Wait, which you one? see them? Just that. Nope, not that box. Look, no. Keep going up, keep going up, keep going up. Boom. There right. you go. Oh, okay. Victory is yours. <clears throat> I All right, here that. we go. All right, so we got ally what? Ally who? Uh, ally number six, Gamel. Six. Let's take a look at him. And then here's Gamel. Ooh. He looks like something. Oh, see. look at He's got a red and a yellow. He's yelled. better than both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just play as him instead of my... My penitent's looking at him drooling right now. Look at, look at that hammer. hammer. Oh, my gosh. Right. Instead, I have what? A little no. tiny spiked club that tickles enemies? Well, we'll put him over here. Oh, we'll put him in the maybe he'll come out, That's Dave. just mean. Yeah, that's Matt's just wondering mean. why we're playing Oh Sworn of the Traitor concert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is, okay. it is a oh, new sorry. type of version. What was the... the... I'm going to tell you now. Yeah. Deep Wood Event card 22. 22. And City Event card 19. Okay, 19 as you do that. 19. Yeah. The light's gone from the day. You make your way back by Amber Torch, back to the Broken Oak, for what you hope is a dreamless sleep. Yeah, that's yes. probably not going to be. End chapter 2. End of chapter bum, 2. Bum, bum.
And the curtain comes down. Thank you all for coming. That was wonderful. We had so much fun. We'll see you guys next week. Two weeks. No, I'm kidding. We're going to keep on going. It's chapter three. Okay. So do I just go right to chapter three on here? I I don't see why Your story begins at 1.1 on this page. 1.1. Open mystery envelope A. It places contents in the center of the play. Plays the free company marker on the broken oak location. Broken oak. Can we move this little deal? Yeah, move that over there. Okay. Victory. Move that over there. quite a ways away. That is quite a ways away. What was the... What was the... Oh, 22 and 8. What was the... What am I doing? You weren't listening? No. Uh, deep wood event card 22 yep. and city event card 19. Oh, I did listen, kind of. My kind back of. of my brain was listening. All right, so we have to mark on the Broken Oak location, but do not place the location token on the city map. Place the Chapter 3 time track beneath the map. Take the path A card. All right. A card. Not at all. Are you guys ready to listen to me? Because yes. you're going to have to. Well, I hope they do, because right. a lot of times I don't pay attention. <laughs> okay, we're going to put this here, but we don't put on the time track. Is that what it said? See, I didn't even listen. Um, okay. Open mystery envelope A and place its contents in the center of play. Place the free company marker on the Broken Oak location, but do not place the location token on the city map. So I don't think you need to place the location. Perfect. Okay. All right. Light peeks through the slats of your room in the Broken Oak, teasing you from a good night's sleep, free of nightmares. Yes. Rising, you grab your gear and head downstairs. Upon entering the main hall, there is no cheer or raise glasses for what you did. After the satyr vanished, there is no proof you could bring... Uh, to the town of your success. Without a head, there would be no pay. You take solace, though, in the knowledge that this thing is dead or long gone from these parts. We did well. Hopefully. The peace you felt at waking turns to unease as you take in the mood of the hall. Patrons mutter angrily and seem to be stirring up their blood for something to come. Men and women are streaming from the inn to join a procession of others in the street, all heading in the same direction. Babelman Greycane sits in the corner, wearily shaking his head. He sees you and waves you over to sit with him. He gestures to the people and pours your morning bitter tea. <laughs> Ignorance, he declares. It is clear from his moves and speech that the story- storyteller has been drinking, <laughs> possibly not even gone to bed since last night. Oof, there. Frowning, he looks into your eyes. Not their college. Lysine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Don't make me laugh. Lysine, the apothecary. They took her last night for interrogation. They said she's the witch behind the dreams and the killings. They don't understand. They didn't see what you saw. She's going to die today because of their ignorance. Come, let us see what your mighty victory has done to cure this town. He wavers and staggers out the front door of the Broken Oak to the rushing crowds of the street. Place location 14 and go there. Uh, we got, they say it's the best stream ever. Oh, 13, thanks. not 14. I had to put a guy in the wrong spot. Oh, that's um, typical. My wife would like to know that if he was trying to find chocolate from the world's cho- largest candy store without interrupting my stream where she would find it. <laughs> that's she, amazing, Robin. She, she would find it in the cabinet where we keep like the popcorn stuff. Does and, that mean we get some too? Yeah, maybe <laughs> afterwards. Um, let's see here. The, far, the cabinet up where I used to have like... Uh, <laughs> You've looked everywhere. That's amazing. Um, it's up. It, it's in the cabinet where the peanut butter is. The peanut butter. Yum yum yum. Or it's on the counter. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Been watching your bard song play through. My copy arrives tomorrow. Bought card sleeves to cover the initiative order cards. It's a great, a great way idea. to do it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, that was yeah. the only way. To, the first time I was playing, I'm like, I'm not looking. I'm like, why? This is out of control. Yeah. <laughs> We heard her yell. <laughs> I bet you did. She so looking for her chocolate. Chocolate is important. It we is. all know that. Now, where are we going with this thing? Well, I'm just going to go to oh, 14.1. Okay. The flow, because so we are at the Broken Oak. We're going outside of the Broken Oak right now, and we're looking for chocolate. Oh, wait, that's not happening in the story, is it? Okay. Not yet. All right. The flow of people seems to be all towards the town square. The press of bodies carry you through the street, and you can see people also positioning themselves on rooftops around the center square, vine for the best viewing. Oh, Great, okay. wonderful. As you shoulder your way through the crowd, you can see a small forest of guardsmen, pikes near the center, a tight cluster around the post that dominates the crossroads. Finally, you force your way to a position near the front uh, uh, between the podiums where the nobles and Lord Davenish look on. We didn't like Lord Davenish, right? We, we, we decided didn't do the, not to help him. Yeah, we decided not to help him. That's probably gonna bite us in the butt. All right. Well, he seems to be pretty popular. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Lysine, the apothecary, looks around fearfully as they yank her bound wrist to a worn hook over the head on the burning post, and an official rattles off a list of laws and charges. One, step in and release her. Two, watch the proceedings. What are we doing? Are you going to watch or are you going to do something? What happened to her? 
Were you not listening? I was kind of reading Hyde Dwarf here. He says, trust me, I have my wife's nine month pregnant. Who knows what the doctor means death? <laughs> okay, I can, un- I can understand Martin, it's good to see you. Thank you for joining. We've just started mission three. Colin's going to make a choice. Uh, okay. <laughs> Person is gonna get burned. Oh, that's no good. Are you gonna stop her? Or are you gonna let her watch? Or uh-huh. Are you just gonna watch? It depends on if she's getting burned by taunts or by real fire. Uh, real fire. Uh-huh. It, it, it it said there's a cluster that finally forced away. Okay. okay. Um, is uh, that mean- her bound wrists were over a burning post? Ooh. Well, now is this the this guy? This is the scene. No, this is the apothecary. What? Do you not remember? The apothecary is getting that? burned. Oh my god. We gotta gosh. save her. How are we gonna get <laughs> curatives? <laughs> I can't. We're stepping in. Sometimes playing games with this guy is exhausting, okay? <laughs> Wait, who's that character? Wait, what's happening? We're on 14.1. Here okay, we go. so we're going to step in and release. That's 14.2. What did we learn All... from the boy last mission, huh? <laughs> do we step in? Yes, we step in. We save that. Oh, yeah, that's true. We should have learned about it, but I'm still doing it. Do I'm still I doing need it. to put this here? Probably. No, yes, because we're supposed to go there. We're supposed to go there. Yeah. Oh, then I go there. Town Square. That makes sense. Oh, I knew something. Go ahead. Uh, two guards. Okay, yep. All Orsworn gain a defense token. <gasps> well, One, I like defense tokens. One, two, three over there. Sweet. And four over there. You can put it on your I, I will. I will put them on my dudes. Two guards immediately step forward and cross their spears in front of you, blocking your path. <laughs> <clears throat> you Stop may have us. done us great service with the rats, the official says, stopping his listing of offenses. But this witch is best stones to burn. Blood for blood, right for right. Your job is done. This is ours. 14.4. Boom. Their query bound in place. The guards point their spear to the crowd to move them back. It is 14.4. Their query bound in place. Yeah, that's the that's Lysine. That's query. More than one spear is angled to hold you in place. Lysine winces and looks to the crowd angrily. Haven't I helped you? I tended your wounds and you pay me with fire? Urging the crowd to silence, the official announces, This creature has lived among us as one of us, but no longer. Today, a bastone protects you all and makes safe her people. Another official comes from a side alley carrying a sputtering torch. He thrusts it skyward, and the, to- and the town cheers in anticipation. Hold anyone, uh, hold anyone in objection to this justice? The crowd around you roars bloodthirsty. No! Um, are we going to object, or are we going to let them seek justice? They're going to seek justice against the apothecary? Yes. Do you not remember the story? They were blaming her. Yeah. Okay. So they were For blam- the dreams or something. Exactly. And they, because she was trying to help somebody. And then as she was helping them, they started having the dreams. So they thought she actually cursed that oh, guy. Oh, that's right. right? And then wow, you've got a great two week memory. Yeah. Well, you don't. I'm just saying. No. <laughs> Um, so that's why they're blaming her, and we couldn't bring the head of the satyr because we didn't. We weren't oh, able to kill it to so prove that it was the satyr. Yeah. So either we have to, so we either either save her and get killed ourselves. Yeah, we're gonna get killed ourselves. Or, I mean, I'm not gonna sit there and watch that. Are you gonna sit there and watch that? Well, it depends on if. Well, how to do with that boy? Okay, the let's boy save her. Was let's save her. By a let's do it. Let's These go save are her. Human. This is a human person. She's our friend. Maybe she uh, kind of helped us. She did help us. Do you remember? She helped us. I can't remember what she did, but she did help us. We're going to fourteen point five. All Osorn gain a defense token if they have not gained one already from this chapter. Okay, we, we, are, we already did. I object. Oh boy, I object. Do the you? crowd goes silent. Thank you, thank you. Lysine mutters between broken sobs. Lord Davenish, who has been observing the scene from a raised box, surrounded by his house guard, leans forward. You? Object? He snares. You who are protectors. This is what you do. Try to free a monster? Let more children vanish in the night? He motions to the official, who throws the torch into the oil wood pile by Lysine's feet. Oh, no. Objection overruled. (laughs) Turn to 14.7. That's no good. The smoke curls in thick, oily tendrils that begin to swirl around Lysine. No, she cries. I've hurt no one. I've helped this town. I've healed you. She lurches and tries to move away as flames grow and lick at her calves. You have no idea what you've done. I cannot help, and you cannot stop. What is going to happen now? You are all doomed. Doomed. She screams, but it sounds like (laughs) nothing you have ever heard. It strikes the base of your skulls, a piercing whine that makes you flinch. Several in the crowd double over as the shockwave washes through the town square. The flames reach up her legs as she continues the obscene wailing noises. The sound pushes into your spine and assaults your mind as the smell of burning flesh fills the square. (laughs) The keening scream reaches an unholy crescendo. Her throat should be torn by such a noise. You reach to cover your ears, but it doesn't. Lessen the pain. 
The ground shakes. See, this is why you don't burn these people. I feel like I'm in the operating room. This... <laughs> 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 Wait a second! Whoa! This is oh, like in the we can burn and flesh. Then, you know, we kind of cauterize things. Oh my gosh! Like I'm not <laughs> listening. I'm not listening. <laughs> Maybe a little bit different. I'm a feeble accountant. I don't need to be thinking about burning flesh. And oh my gosh! Oh, no, you gotta stop the bleeding. Oh man! They're screaming from the distant walls of Bastogne. Oh, yeah. oh boy! Uh, Gray Cane looks at you. That wasn't her. That sound. Something is coming. Uh oh. There is screaming, rumbling, the sound of shattering stone. People on the rooftop stand and turn. The deep woods come alive, one screams. It's huge. What is that? Oh. Run! The witch brought it. it she one. did not. Cut her free or let her burn. You know, dude, I, she's really in a lot of pain right I, now. I don't know how much we can help her now. Okay, we're cutting her free. Uh, that's 14. <laughs> <laughs> You're really gonna let her burn? Oh, You're gonna let her well, burn. I mean, what was the other option? Run in terror? No, it's either cut her free or let her burn. We should probably cut her. Okay, free. if it had said cut her free or something other than let her burn, I maybe would have thought of it. But let her she's burn is obviously. She's and we're smelling burning flesh. So, but theory... she's not dead, dude. You just told me that in a surgery room you smell burning flesh. Those people aren't dead. Oh, yeah, well, so okay, so let's, uh, there's a little. <laughs> this is the same <laughs> thing. It's just like little, little, giant little flame, you know. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna we'll, we'll save her. I we love, already got I a, love how I'm not even letting him get a choice. We're we already her. got a, a all Osorn Green a redraw token. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, that's cool. I'll take uh, a redraw token. A redraw. That's this one. One. Actually, it says only Collins characters gain redraw. That's fake and news. And Baron's characters all lose two health. That's fake news. Yeah, that is fake news. <laughs> that's fake news. Oh my god. <laughs> all right. Um. There Something tremendous is pushing through the town. Buildings fall like reeds underfoot as waves of destruction head towards you. Rising smoke forms a trail towards the square. She collapses as you cut her free of her bonds and kick at the flames. Yeah. She's badly blistered. But Durr. she's not dead! Oh, wow. Lysine smiles, her lips cracking. Guards leap up and seize each of you from behind. Oh, no. You should have done that earlier. I'm gonna she use coughed my harshly, again. taking heavy breaths. I could not stop the keening. I fear... She is cut short by the shuddering of the earth. Too late, she gasps. The guards release you as there's a vast cracking sound. Up the street, you can see a massive shape snap a building in two. What is this? I'm th now, if she's... Uh, I'm, I, I'm starting to think she did bring this upon us. She oh. did. She did bring it upon us, but we tried to stop them, and the fact that they burned her, it's caused this. Spoiler alert, we're probably still fighting it. Well, we'll do, yes, obviously. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's heading for the square. She wanted to stop it, and she All couldn't. Right. Uh, 14 dollars. Gain ally card 9. Oh, oh we got ally card. you know what? We wouldn't have gained that if we let her burn. Doesn't matter. I'm just saying. It's going to be I'm better than saying. all of our characters. Yeah, she probably will have three might of something, something you know? Yeah, here, let's see what some people have said here. They say that liacine is an amino acid that was uh, used during the giant sword in Jurassic Park. Oh, did you know that? I did not know that. Awesome. It is one of the amino acids that we have in our game. Oh, that's cool. The voice acting is Chef's Kiss. Oh, mwah. Thank you. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. Now I know exactly that's what he meant. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. That's all. Oh, that's such a compliment. Yeah. Are you ready for the fight to fight the town guards? I sure am doomed. Oh, bring it on, town guard. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're doomed here. We're doomed. That's that's for not sure. buying this game. Whenever, <laughs> <laughs> not buying this game would never be as much fun to watch it with you guys. That's hilarious. That's awesome. Okay, no okay, yourself. Matt, that's hilarious. Stay away from Baron Soar. Matt's yes. not coming to my <laughs> Okay, So I'm not either. That's it. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Well, she, she's only medium rare she's at this point. This medium is true. rare, medium, man. Yeah, she's doing fine. Pam. She's doing fine here. Tom says he's uh, California and Barrett is Rhode Island. <laughs> His voice counts more. Oh. <laughs> I have 53 is, electoral is votes. He's got yep, one. I got one. One. one okay. if I'm lucky. I got half a vote. Maybe, maybe zero. Maybe Actually, yeah. negative one. Barrett has no mercy. Barrett is a hidden traitor <laughs> game. Pretend that. I don't know. I, I'm still thinking this might not be the greatest play out on the planet. Call it is, uh, it's, it's, it's the sound you make when you find out someone created a mis miscellaneous account to create a journal entry on the, I, I actually understand what he's talking about. Absolutely. I understand what you're saying. Yep. Is, it, <laughs> is that from the operating room? No. No. <laughs> The Quitter Gaming is awesome to see you. Thank you for joining. There are a lot of new people coming in here. Thank you so much for joining everybody. Uh, Godzilla, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, I know. Bill, Bill knows. Bill, Bill knows. knows. Bill knows what's coming. Okay, so you've got okay. card nine. Yep, here it is. Oh, that's right, Bill. You do know. Yeah. I'm so pumped. Yeah, he can knock over buildings in two. Here, we have found amino acids. 
Already she's better than I am. Amino yep, two acids better, better than I am. Yep, move four. Attack. Yeah. And you were gonna let her burn. Well, I'm just gonna, every time we play her, I'm gonna remind you. Lances. What is I she? Am she's got like you. British lances. Or she something. can do a cone range three. Oh, of course, she does lose three health after doing that. <laughs> that's like almost all her health. <laughs> she well, you only have six, right? Yeah. Um. So you know that's okay. The priest can heal her. Bloody um, lances. That's now. So Very that's nice. add Deepwood event card twenty six to your Deepwood event deck. Oh, twenty six. City event card twenty three to your city event deck. Twenty three and twenty six. So oh, Deepwood twenty six. City 23. Got it. Okay. I'm going to keep reading as you do, do it. that. 14 down to... We are breached, Grey Cane mutters, eyes downcast. He shakes his head and sets off at a run towards the broken oak. Over his shoulder, he shouts back, Please save those who can! Save those of you who can! Please save those you can! Yeah, yeah, please save those you can. You know as well as Grey Cane what this means. No town can survive a breach like this. That beast cannot be felled. The deep wood will flood into the town and everyone will be dead in a span of days. There's only one hope, to escape the doom of Bastogne and reach Vera. You must escape Bastogne. The beast is rampaging through the town and you must avoid it at all costs. As you escape, you need to find rations for your journey. We could have gotten rations, but no, you wanted survival rerolls. You're going to thank me later. And <laughs> <laughs> I will. You're right. That's a very Little good point. You know, All of that no was idea. good. All of it is good. So I'm, I'm just giving you a hard time. Please do. Uh, track the amount of rations you have with the tracker token, and you may choose to take any refugees you meet with you to Vera. You do not have to take anyone, and you know that the larger the group moving through the Deepwood, the more dangerous the Deepwood becomes. Every person will be another mouth to feed on the journey, but without you, they are sur surely doomed. All right, we're totally ditching half these allies. <laughs> I, I think we're going to find more. Sweet. We have to feed them. And that's fine. They can they can eat the the, See, the priest rations. I'm not rational. Uh, rational. You like that? Awesome. That is actually awesome. Okay, I, I do not know what a tracker token is. Uh, I would just use any token. I'm planning on uh, it. Uh, maybe you know what? I found one. I found a tracker token. Really? That's funny. I found one too. Look at this one. Oh, Mine's okay. bigger and better. Okay. See, right. mine's a twenty twenty. Mine, oh, it's only five. Barreling towards the town square, the beast shoulders aside, shoulders aside buildings and swallows men whole. Look, it stops at an intersection and snorts. Pawing the street with a front claw and e that easily tearing up the stone like a bull on a dirt path. Oh, yeah. An oily smoke oozes from the creature's neck that wreaths it in a dark cloud, the smoke seething like ink in water. Ugh. Those unfortunate enough to, to be near it it's ugh. those unfortunate enough to be near it seize and collapse in violent con convolutions. Behind you, Lord Davenish oh. bellows from his raised box, surrounded by a company of his house guard. Tormsmen, for your lord and bastone, slay the beast! Several men begin to charge, but many more falter at the sight of the thing. I can't wait to see this thing. Something I know, alights. it's going to be awesome. <laughs> and terrible. At Something alights time. in its tremendous eyes. Massive rear legs force the storm-gray armored hulk forward. In mere breaths, it is in the square. Davenish freezes in disbelief as the sun above him is blotted out and a claw the size of a merchant's cart descends on him. Where he stood is now merely a fine crimson mist. Without pausing, the pair terror of Bastone careens onward. Place locations 10, 13, and 20. 10, 13, and 20. Yep. All right. So uh, they, Bill wants him to eat cake. Let him eat cake. <laughs> That's the deal there. It, uh, and uh, uh, he says it's just the armored number tokens. But uh, Toby is here. Toby, thank you for joining us. Oh. Toby is uh, the, one of the one of the creators of yes. of, uh, uh, of this wonderful game, Old Sworn. That we're having so much fun with. Oh, my yes. Gosh. Thank you so much for joining. He tells us it's just these old these things. Oh, which actually makes sense. The little time tokens. Yeah, the, okay. Yeah, makes perfect sense. Uh, what numbers? I got 10. 10, 13, 20. 13, 20. Place the free company marker and any clue tokens and any and any clue token on location 14. So place the free company marker and any clue token on location 14. The clue token is the beast marker and represents the position of the beast as it moves throughout the city. The beast is barely... Okay, wait a second. Hold on a second. The clue tokens are over there. Oh, what's a clue token? Is that these ones? Yep, any clue token it's Okay, saying. I got that one. All right, and I got to put it on 14. Same spot that we're at. Okay, and then what else do I have to do? That's it. So be a Jedi. Oh, I should probably uh, board while I do that. The clue token yeah. is the beast marker. So basically, we've got the beast in the same space as us, the town square. He just had um, Davenish for lunch, which I'm not sad about. Um, oh my gosh, he ate him? Well, he, he said, in mere breaths, 
Daminus freezes disbelief, and where he stood is now merely a fine crimson mist, aka Ooh, that beast just. You it's know, like when a shark gets somebody yeah, like the mega snack. Cool. That's what he gets for trying to kill somebody. I'm afraid of this be. thing. Oh, I'm excited. Animals care. I'm I think if we get close to it, we're probably going to get hurt. Um, oh, that's great. Then um, I'll stand back and shoot up my yeah. ball. What's up? Oh, Raymond's here. Raymond, thank you for joining. He has just has a new baby. Oh, he's, nice. Uh, Congrats. He's, he's, he's that's a lot of the baby fun. And he's watching us play. Thanks for joining us, Wall. I mean, yeah. You're awesome. That's, that's all I got to say. Deal. Okay. Uh, Toby, Barrett wants to let everyone die. Yeah, we we decided he's the traitor. Yeah, he is the traitor. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I tried to not give him reroll tokens. Uh, it didn't work. You can use the governor, Govern Maiden's Guardian model for the beast if you want. Oh, that's, I, 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 I don't know. I have no idea what that is. We'll find out, maybe. Yeah. No fine crimson mist in OR, right? No, no crimson <laughs> There's mist. There's no crimson mist no, in the OR. Crimson there rivers. definitely is in the operating just room with burning flesh. And, and Bear's just like, whatever. whatever. Rivers. <laughs> rivers, not mist. Crimson rivers. No, I'm totally kidding. Okay. Obviously, the OR, the last thing you want to see is blood. You never <laughs> want to see blood. That's no fun. The beast is barreling through the town square. It has come from the east, breaking through Bastogne's outer wall, and now curves off to its right. You must stay away from it in order to escape. You are positioned so that the three paths are open to you. You're about to choose. Uh, you're about to choose a location to go to. If you choose location twenty, take the path B card before you go there. So, which one do we want to go to? We've got twenty, which is one way. The we've stockade. Got 10 and Probably not. So we should go to the stockade. Well, you think about it. I Wait, guess let's ask. Let's see. Okay, crimson mist like a fine <laughs> Chianti. Chianti. There you go. Yep, for sure. That's amazing. Um, what do you what do you what do you all think? Do okay, we want to go path B or path A? We could go to the palace. We could go to the broken oak. We could go to the stockade. So the palace was full of people that we really didn't want to help last time. No, I was thinking that we could go to the broken oak because that's where we were, and we might have our our stuff there. That's true. Um, granted, we probably always carry our stuff. Uh, the stockade is. Uh, I vote twenty because it's a different path. Yes, I I understand that. That's kind of what I'm going towards. Path so. B. I don't know. Okay, well, we could try path B. Should we try it? Well, I, I, what do you want to do? Who doesn't love going by the stockade? Okay. We can save hey, all the prisoners you know, there that were unjustly prisoned. I definitely can't not vote for 20 because B is for Barrett. can't not vote. Wait, so that means I have to vote for B because <laughs> okay. B is for Barrett, so that's got to be, I don't know, if you can't not vote, then that means you have to vote for 20. We're going to go to 20. So flip it over. We're going to go to That's 20. That's got to be something with a B that I can't think of. That's going to be pretty witty. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything going to 20. What are we going to 20? So, 20? so now I have to flip. Okay. Vote for 20. Wait, what did it say about 20? we got to go to path, path B. Path B. Now, does that mean we do it now, B. or do we have to read the thing and then go to path B? I'm assuming that we go to path B, and now we're going to read path B's of 20. Okay. Well, guess what it is. 20.2, oh, right? Oh, genius. Okay. Several women at the stockade beat at the locks that hold some men in place while children... I told you we could save the people! I think that's a great children idea! Children cried their skirts. The guards have fled, leaving the charges. One of the women sees you enter the crossroads. Please, our husbands, they might have done wrong, but they don't deserve to die here! Oh. oh, good, you just freed the prisoners that have done wrong. Dude, Davenish just imprisoned somebody that... I guess you got a point. He tried it? to burn the girl. So, you know, he, to me it's like... I think, his, I think his ideals were a little questionable. Yeah. I'd say free the prisoners. <laughs> I think everyone's just going to be like, Colin, you're not going to have enough food for all these people. Oh, my gosh. Because oh. I, I, I want to save everyone. Everyone's coming with us. Well, okay, here's the deal. Everybody's coming with us. I'm going to let you start picking the ones that die while I sit over there and eat my rations. Dum, 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 dum. I don't know why well, that guy. Let's see how it is. All right, 20.5. Yeah, I need my jerky over here. We're saving them at 20.5. All right, let's see. You get ally card 1 through 100. You snap. <laughs> And they all attack you because they're prisoners. You snap the lock with the pummels of your weapon, rubbing their wrists. The freed man thank you and clutch their children. Dude, they have kids, man. I would like okay. you to read the comment. What they are it? prisoners. There you go. So okay. you can feed them chocolate. Baird is hiding. Yes, I Robin. Read the chocolate that He's I'm hiding. He's totally hiding. hiding it. He's totally I'm hiding, not it. hiding it. Yeah. Okay, we got an extra rations. Can you put one there? That's yeah. The let me get the chocolate no. rations. <laughs> You snap the locks of the pummels of your... No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. Rubbing their wrists, the freed men thank you and clutch their children. This place isn't safe for us anymore. Can we come with you, please? One asks. If you take these refugees with you, uh, on the time track, replace location token 20 with a, uh, with a time token and gain location 20, place it in front of you. So you're doing that, right? Okay. We're going to take them with, if, we're gonna, if they ask. 
I'm okay with taking them with. I would like to remind the uh, audience how many rations we have. How much? <laughs> Zero. Zero. We also got one. Oh, we have one ration. No, I think We're... we even had to give it up. What, did we have to give it up? Yeah, I think we gave it to the guy. Remember, he, he ate our ration. <laughs> Matt time. needs 320 cheeseburgers, 175 hamburgers, and 450 large fries, and a shamrock shake. Oh, but that... you know what's even better than a shamrock shake? What? Have you been to, like, Arby's, and they have this, like, mint chocolate one? They actually put, like, chocolate swirls and, like, little thin mints on top? Oh. oh. Dude, you're making me hungry. That's so the... good. I'm going to have my glass of water now. Okay, now it says, you quickly search the guard room, finding a substantial armory. Reveal oh. all cards from the Chapter 3 common item deck. Each Oathsworn gains any one item from it. Shuffle the deck afterwards. Dude, that Whoa. is the, that's like a, that is what we call Whoa. super good. I guess who gets armor? Uh, um, please, my priest who has uh, wimpy armor. As you do that, move the beast marker to location fourteen. Where are we? Are we? So we should be here, shouldn't we? At yeah. the stockade. The beast is already at location fourteen. So remove locations twenty-five and twenty-seven from the map. We didn't have twenty. Did I miss something? Uh, let's see. Okay. 22. 22. We decided to free the prisoners. Oh, I read 20.5. We should have read 20.6. But I want the cards. Uh, uh, well, what do you do? I'm so sorry. I read the wrong one. You snapped the locks with the pummels. It's the same thing as we said. If you take these refugees with you, replace the time. To, okay, 2020. Okay, you could. Okay. Okay, here we go. You quickly search the guard room, finding rations and a substantial arm race. We gain, we gain two rations. Are you sure? Yeah, 20.6. We're we to read that? Yeah, so instead of me, you know, actually reading the right one, 20.2, if we free the prisoners, turn to 20.6. Nice. I read okay. 20.5. There you go. Before. So sorry, sorry everyone. Sir Cato, awesome to have you here. Just dropped in to say hi. Thank yes. you for stopping and Thanks saying hi. Thanks for coming hi. again. It's awesome to see you here. Okay. I hope were you can stick around were, for a little while. Were you playing Marvel Champions last time? I think he was playing Marvel Champions. While we... yeah. Oh, yes, he was. Okay. He was playing Marvel Champions. Uh, so we gain two rations. Can you put two on our little thing in the bottom? Yeah, I'll write or actually, down. no, no, no. You're supposed to do it as these time trackers. Oh, yeah. Gain two rations. Remember to track the amount of rations you have with the tracker token. Reveal all cards from the chapter three common item deck. Each short your old sword gains one. Move the beast to location ten. That makes way more sense. Oh so no, he's over there. Well, I'm not going 10. over there. Those guys are all dead. Uh, and remove all location tokens from the map. Oh, so I'm going to remove this here's one and your, this one. Here's your, here's your armor. And then what we're supposed to do is place locations 15, 16, and 14. This is awesome. It is having us running away. This From is the so thing. cool. 16. 15, 16, and where is 14? Oh, 14 is back. No, no. 15, 16, and 24. How about I read the numbers? No, it's okay. There we go. Okay. Four, Choose a 15, location. 15, 16, and 24. Okay, first you got to pick your stuff. Oh, Which yeah, you get yeah. one, you said? I'm one sorry, thing? I'm so excited. No, I'm that's excited okay. About the story. I found some armor for you. I don't know what you oh, think of that. Beautiful. One. Get See, rid of this gets, piece of gunk. Thank you, you so much. That's awesome. That's he good. can wear this. I'm gonna put that in the backpack. Does he have the? He's the priest. The priest is this little hammer thing. Uh, How do I know what he is? He's uh, yeah. See the little. You got the hammer. I'll show you. Oh, right there. Yeah. Right see, there. Here, okay. Man. See if I can go to it. Um, watch this. Pow. Nope. That's my guy. Nope. Let's go over here. Maybe. Oh, there he's he playing. See. Currently playing uh, Descent Legends of the Dark. Oh, nice. that's awesome. That's nice. nice. Um. We'll come back in a bit. I hope you do. It was awesome. Thank you. I hope you do well in your descent. In, uh, yeah, Legend we played that together, too. Yeah, we, we had, had fun. Had pretty we fun played now. the first eight chapters. Yeah, it was really good. Okay, we got what, you, I love how you're picking up that book. We got a lot more stuff to dig through. I know. Here. I'm trying to make sure I'm remembering that I didn't forget anything. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> like, we can find oh, you yeah. something new as Any a weapon. Any one item. Yeah. Uh, so I need this guy with a new weapon instead of the spiked club. Anything cool? Um... There's a heirloom, but that's two-handed. I'm trying to find one-handed weapons for yeah, you. Yeah, I need a one-handed weapon. And you can choose it. Wait, what was that mug? That mug looked cool. That mug. Mug. Go all the way over to the last one. Over here. What's what's the mug? What does that do? It's oh. uh, apparently didn't like my green screen. Oh. No. Don't you have to... Last time you had a button to make it. Oh, yeah. I just went like this. That's right. Why is that? Oh, it should appear. There yeah. we go. Okay. You gain. You can use it to gain a thing. Just uh, gain an animus. Gain an animus. All right. Yeah, there's some gear in here. Uh, it's like, for wait, example, was there a one-headed axe? There might have been. Um, there's if another you gear. you at least four hexes a turn, gain a shield. Okay, Not that's bad. cool. Um, let's see if I can find more gear. Here's another one of your heater shields. Here uh, you have that. Here's some amber stones. If there are no enemies adjacent, battle flow one card once. Oh, that's cool. Um... That's what you're gonna do for her. My uh, archer oh, yes. just took that. Oh, you know why? For that, uh, what is that called? The long precise shot, shot or, or yeah. long shot? Super oh, awesome, gosh, it's awesome. amazing. All right, here's another gear card. Before damage is drawn against you, if you're adjacent to your friend, game one. Hmm, okay. 
I am I'm really looking for a weapon. A weapon. For... Here's a Is there any one handed weapons? I saw an axe in there. Here's a one handed. I think it says one handed on here. After damage drawn against you, gain one shield. Okay. Is that better than uh when you critical during an attack that hits, add one damage and one knockback? They're pretty much similar. Here's a pickaxe. When attack during an attack, draw two additional cards. I like that one way better. You like that one better? Yeah. When you when you Critical during an attack that hits, draw two additional cards. So you get to roll two additional dice. That's pretty good. Take that. Uh, can he Can he take it? Yeah, that's him. Yep, right? with the penitent. Yep. That's the one. Yep. Okay. So he'll take this one. Awesome. So my two characters each took one. You so did. you just okay. have to so have So I have to your... get one for the blade. Yep. You might but... want to get that's a second sword. And can you just put it in his backpack? So that way if you break one sword, you get the other one back? Well, not exactly. Oh, okay. Can I, do I have to put this one in the backpack? Yes, that goes in your backpack. Okay. That's your backpack. Okay, let's look at the blade. The blade has um a thing this thing's still working no my green screen is being very very sad all right we'll figure it out uh let's see what i could take for him he's got a good sword and he has the best armor he can get so he's going to take one of these we could take the mead he could take the mead just gain him one more is one yeah, more right. animus worth it i don't think he's going to move four squares really yeah. I mean, four damage is drawn against you if you're adjacent to an old sworn gain one defense against that damage oh. we're going to take the mead perfect that's the deal. Now you shuffle these up. That's the deal. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm currently, currently replacing, replacing the evaporator coil fan on our broken refrigerator and also watching Ooh, the baby. Good. Yeah, I can understand that. Wow. Huh. Good luck. I hope I hope it all works out. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not jealous. No, neither am I. I wish you well. Yeah. All right, where do you want to go? 15, 16, or 24? That's a great... Well, we can either go to the... Well, I'm sure the board here. We can either go to the burrows, the... Uh... What's the other ones? Uh, oh, they're just unnamed. Oh, they're unnamed. 16. Now, we never went to 16 ever in our existence. I thought we went to 16 that time because somebody we? asked us to do it. I think we did. That was two weeks and ago. And it was, uh, that was, <laughs> it doesn't remember anything from two weeks. My name is Colin, by the way. Really? Yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. I'm meeting friends every day. <laughs> um, I am, I am, I am up for either one. Smell too much smoke. Uh, yeah, right here. <laughs> Colin never played Oregon. I actually played Oregon oh Trail gosh, all the time. Oh my gosh, that was so if good. If you want to make the way to the Oregon, a few people lost along the way means less. Fun. That's right. That's right. But see, I loved hunting. So I always got a big family and then Dude, I just shot things did... all the time. But you only had like 30 minutes in the in the, in the the computer lab at school. You could never make it to Are Oregon Trail. Are you kidding? Trail. Are you kidding? We had two hours. Well, because a lot of times when it was, it was raining or something. We, school. Yeah, our school was, we, we played on there way I too long. I had an long. Apple II so. <laughs> Back in my day. I loved it because that was when you didn't even have a mouse, right? So you No, we didn't yeah. have a mouse. Yeah. The invention of the ASDW or whatever. Okay, sorry. We're going to continue now. Uh, I, I would say 15. Head or... towards the outer wall to leave. That's yeah. not a bad idea. 16 then. 16. We're going to 16. I like that idea. Yeah. Get out of Dodge. That's the deal. 16.2, I'm assuming? It says 16.2. Let me read the right entry this time. 16. Top Support. There's simply a pile of rubble where the watering hole, that was right, it was the watering hole, oh. once stood. Bits of bodies poke between the crumbled walls. That's the stockade right. to the south fills with screams and smoke. There are supplies buried under the rubble. If only you could guess the location of the pantry. Perform a search check. We almost decided to take that. No, instead no. we took survival. Well, you know. Useless. You wait and see, man. When this thing pops up underneath you, you're so going to glad you just do survival. a single check. Right? Correct. Just a single check. Oh, just a single uh, check. I think, right? Perform a search check. Difficulty four. So we need to get four. Yes. And I think one of, only one of us has to make it. Okay. You get the dice. Oh, that's right. We have dice. Oh, if we guess right, we gain, we gain a ration. Wait, where did the dice? Oh, they're down here. Oh, we're actually going to switch back to the path A after this. So it says, if you can succeed, gain one ration. Oh. Then move the beast marker to the location 15 and remove all location tokens from the map. Then place location token 7 and 17. I need a four. You need four. I'm gonna roll five dice. Fuck! It'll be fine. What are you made of? Traitor! Oh man! Here we go. I'll try to get oh, it's in Brent. Group. Hey, Brent. Brent is here. Hey. I can't believe Brent's you. here, dude. Brent, it's awesome to see you. Thank you for you joining. You should show him the map though instead I will, of your I will. random character. Four dice. I'll show him four. They say four dice. Okay, I'll go four dice. Four, dude. Four dice. You don't go five. Nice. Don't be a Jedi. Five is like an auto fail, man. But. Dysentery for the win. For yep, the for the win. There you go. Four dice. Here we go. Ready? Oh, oh yeah. That's, One, that's two, good. Three, four. A ration. Give us a third I ration. Get a ration for that? We get a third. No, don't mark it. Do it with the little time tracker. Oh, that's right. Yep. All right. Then we we move the beast 
Uh, if you succeed, gain one ration. No, of course. Move the beast to marker the to location that, 15. Yeah, no, there's no reason to. Uh, to location 15. He's I'm chasing a, us. This is, I'm assuming, the people that are with us, so they're going to come oh, with us, right? With us. Yeah, that'd be yeah. great. Let's now collect some we, more of those we put um, location 7 and 17. You know and then we call take those the people? Card. We call them Snickers, and we're going to call them <laughs> Biscuits, and we're going to call them <laughs> Kit Kat, and that's going to be their names. Oh. Bill, you have not missed it. We're we're still during the Went story. Went to Starbucks. Portion. Nope, you yeah. didn't miss anything. We're still we're we're running from the beast. Can you get seven and seventeen now? I will get seven and seventeen. And they are here and here. So now we have to decide if we want to go to the underways or the tower. So basically, the opposite of either one, either underground or above ground. Okay, so here's the option. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I put seven and yep, seventeen. You did. <laughs> That's amazing. The painted characters really pop on the board. Dude, they look great. Totally. Yes, they do. They're pretty cool. I like yeah. it. And, and that, just wait till you see the bosses. I'm, I'm so excited. excited. I mean, we haven't seen them. No, but, no idea. Yeah. Um, so here's the deal. We have to think about this. <coughs> if we go to the underways, we're going to be running under and then potentially out. If we go to the tower, we'll be climbing we're going to be stuck and jumping. Yeah. And last time I checked, I don't fly. No, neither do I. I think we go under. Underways. Look, I even got here. Hydro says underways. Sounds sneakier. A sneakier way. I'm totally with you. Wow. You guys are awesome. All right, let's go to seven. I think that's a good uh, can plan. Can you check the back? I'm assuming it's 7.2. I'm going to guess 7.2. Let's grab it. I can't barely reach it. There you go. Seven. Uh, it says 7.6. No, I'm kidding. 7.2. Oh, okay, this is totally actually kidding. add a time token to the time trap. Oh, barf. Then we just we lost took so it. long. Yeah. Gain a token. Nope. They don't, what we're covering right here, oh, yeah. I'll show you. If you want to show. Oh, is it working now, Yen? Good. Yes, I fixed. Um, if you see the story moment, so after we complete the story moment, we're going to gain this. Now, if you see this one, it says after you complete the battle, we're going to be able to gain an extra unique item. Now, if we cover that, we're not going to get it. Yeah, so we just lost the extra shield. Correct. What, what, so we're not yeah. going to get that for our fight. Okay. And so right now, we're going into the battle with a reroll and a armor token. I'm really worried, unless this isn't the battle yet. I want to make sure I'm... Doing the right thing. It was 7.2, right? Correct. No, wait. Did you say to slip back to number A? Oh, yeah. We slipped back to number A. Okay. So we're at 7.1. Okay. Thank you for telling me that. As many people are running into the underways for shelter as are leaving, in the confusion, you make your way to the main cavern and find Celeste. Her forehead and lips are bleeding. Hmm. A cluster of workers surround her, all urging different paths to safety, all deeper into the underways. I can't say which way is better, she gasps to you. Two tunnels collapsed when that thing came in. There were dozens or, or hundreds buried. You know the underways will be a death trap for any that remain. Oh, great. So we just went into a death trap. Okay? That's of, okay. <laughs> we'll fight him down there. We can either, A, attempt to direct the workers to leave the underways, turn to 7.3, or turn to leave them to their fate. Oofta! So we can send them to their doom, potentially. Or we could tell them to go out of here and not worry about the like. It's probably gonna take us more time. Human eating monch, monster yeah. out there that's been munching people in one bite. Yeah, well, buildings, not just yeah. True, but remember the one guy's like a crimson dust. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm I'm um. I'm for telling them. All right. Well, you what? guys may, should make miniatures of yourselves and use them as big bosses <laughs> in one of your games. So <laughs> I don't think I want to see what that miniature would look like. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Can do math terribly. <laughs> Can't ever say a damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible at reading. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, Maybe okay. sneaky is slower, but safer, hopefully. That's what Are you ready says. for this? Perform a reasoning check. What are we doing? We're, we're going to try and help them. Okay, Colin decided. Yeah, I already decided. Save prisoners, let the miners die. Yeah, Question but, mark? <laughs> save the prisoners. But yeah, exactly. No, you don't do that. You save the miners, You're too. sending them to their doom, it says. That's why we're not. So we're attempting to direct the workers to leave the underworld. Oh, yeah. okay. So we have to perform a reasoning check. How if many? we, uh, It's a four. Same thing. All right, I'm rolling four dice. I mean, you did great last time. Ready? I believe in you. I believe in you. All right. That's a fail. That's a, that's a big fail. I have a reroll token. Uh, what are you gonna do? Reroll two of them? I can reroll at least this one. Oh, and maybe get a th is, two. But there's only a two. Two. That would be enough. You guys should. Um, I'm not looking at it, so I have no idea. Now the thing is, it just says make a reasoning check, right? Oh, we uh, because we went to seven dot one instead of seven dot two, we can take this time tracker token off. Oh, that's, does that make sense? That's that's yeah. that's glorious. Yeah. So. Um, Miners aren't worth a token, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was just what 7.2 said, um, which, by the way, never mind. Just, what are you going to do? Well, I guess we're going to let them, we, we failed. We failed, 7.4. Add a time token to the time token. Oh, you got to put it right back. back. All right, put it right back. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't see that coming. I'm freaking genius. I've lived here. in these tunnels all my life, and if we can survive anywhere, it's down here. 
Go brave the deep wood. We've got men to find. With finality, she turns and heads down the tunnel. Oh, so he's gonna, he's just gonna go. Okay, choose a location to go. So we, we're at, we, we keep forgetting to move our people. We're at seven. So the only one we can oh, yeah. go to is 17, right? That's I the guess. only one that has a spot. Oh, because it was like all caved in. Yeah, it was caved in. Gotcha. All right. So I think we've got to go to 17. Yep, dot. And we're on 17A, right? Oh, uh, yep. So 17.1. Okay. And because we went to the under thing, we lost two time here, so we are going to lose our yep. unique item. That's okay. Sorry. Hey, no, it's okay. As you, as you approach the great breach in the Bastogne's Wall, where oh, the beast undoubtedly the gained entrance, Come on. you find a squad of guards making a last desperate stand, trying to hold back a tide of creatures vying to gain access to the town. Oh, boy. Halbrick! The Osworn! I see them! A guard shouts from the top of the tower. Oh, sure, a grizzled old guardsman swings the shaft of his spear into the head of some dark wolf like thing and looks up. Will you stand with us? He asks gravely. The thing gnashes as he buries the point into its neck. The shattered wall behind him looks like a crumbled ant anthill as the tears of the deep wood force their way over to the rubble. Claws, shrieking horrors, and dark nightmares of mire and armored flesh press into Bastogne. Whipped like tendrils wrap the legs of struggling guards as the flailing citizens of Bastogne are torn apart like paper dolls. The beast heads through the town towards you. Move the uh, beast marker to location 16. Oof, da. Okay. And remove that token if it was there. It's not there. Uh, take the path B card if you do not have it already. Oh, we're, we're in 17 now? Oh. Yeah, 17. If you have the Lysine ally card, we do. turn to 17.5. All right. The pack of beasts scrabble up, scrabble up the mound of stones towards the breach, clumbering over bodies on all sides. There's simply too many of them. You raise your blades and grit your teeth. You will blood them well before they take you. Blood them well. Yeah, you know, that's pretty you know, good. I like that. That's their a good... meat will taste great. That... I don't know. I don't know about we that. I don't know. <laughs> we got a fire in the town square. We then Lysine okay. steps in front of you. Yeah, yeah, along with the flesh. No, no, she's okay now. Uh, well, yeah, she's with us. Man. No thanks to you. Then Lysine steps in front of you, limping, but with a squares. cold fury plastered on her own face. Something in her posture warns you to step back. A wind throws up her hair, and she flings out her arms towards the oncoming creatures. There's a smell of iron, and the hair on your arm stands up. Blood begins to rise from where it rested in pools between bodies on the slope. The beasts continue on, oblivious to what is happening. Twisting and curling, the blood takes shape, coalescing into tendrils and spikes. The blood boils, and then Lysine screams. Hundreds of shards of burning blood pierces through the mass creatures. Primal yelps go up and a dozen bodies fall. More blood soaks the earth and more of the deep wood Denzians come on. Lysine looks up at them with hatred and with intense concentration snaps her fingers. The blood explodes. Oh boy. Lysine vomits at what she's just done. The scene is one of carnage like something from a Cisterian apocalyptic. She lulls and one of you catches her as she falls unconscious. In one sense and in one sense only, the way is now clear. All Osworn gain an Empower times three token. Yes! Nice. Super excited. Ooh. Boy, that is some intense... Hydwar says we should get our wings ready here. Probably jump oh, yeah, this apparently. Thing. He says some, he's uh... sorry he's a bad influence. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, that's okay. We Quitters didn't want that unique asset anymore. He wants to know what blooding them well is. That's not in the OR model. No, <laughs> not in the OR model. I, I love how he keeps asking. I'm regretting <laughs> saying... Okay, burning, burning flesh, flesh, yes. Yeah, burning everything good. else, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe Colin's for a model. <laughs> that's right. Blood them well. Let's blood them and take their money. Um, okay. <laughs> expanding up. <laughs> All right, um, you what turn to Helbert. His men are competent fighters, but they appear to have no rations with them. Oh, no, they don't have any food. Mm. Try to persuade Helbert to come with you into the deep wood. <laughs> Leave him to defend Bastogne. Okay, this is one of the few times where I'm okay leaving him. They can defend Bastogne. Okay, so we save the prisoners. Yes. Just, let's just go okay. through this. We save, save the prisoners. The, we save the, the alchemist. They were tied up, dude. The okay. prisoners. And the, and the alchemist was tied up. Okay? We tried to convince the miners to yeah, help Yeah, they didn't us. listen to eh. us. Right. And now the guards are actually trying to do their job to save And we're going to let them do their job. By okay. dying. But, but we're letting them do fulfill their job. Fulfill their oath. Fulfill their oath. Was it the oath of the prisoners to die with their hands tied? You know, I guess this is oath sworn. Mm -hmm. So, so you're sworn to your sworn oath. To their, so you're really going to do this, aren't you? No, I don't know. We can. Uh, what, what, what's the other option? Uh, we well, we can uh, try and convince them to come with us. Okay, let me count how many guys we have in our party here. Yeah, because we, we only have, have three, la three, three rations. rations. Okay, we've got we've got Cedric, Midge. Apparently, oh, I forgot about Midge. We've got all these men at arms. <laughs> we apparently got some uh, uh, people from other channels. 
Um, let's see what else we got. We got uh, Gamel, Gamel, I can't pronounce them, and Liacine. Um, what do you guys think? Let's see here. That was creepy. Uh, not sure about the choice of Saber. Yeah, I know. I mean, what she just did. Um, They're the only ones with skills. <laughs> he, he's, he's speaking truth. Gotta there. kill a few uh, pheasants to save a town. <laughs> Gotta kill a few pheasants to save <clears throat> the town. Pheasants, oh my oh, god. Man. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna let them fall to the denizens. Maybe they will still protect it. They are competent. They warriors. are competent. Alright. Okay, 28.1. You can... Are we good with that? Or do you want to convince them to come with 28. us? 28.1. 28.1 they come with. I they... like point one. Okay. All right, 28.1. <laughs> that has nothing to do with yes or no. It's like point one. 28.2, 28.1. Behind you, a shadow looms. The street is consumed by the giant armored head, 28.1, of the dune doom of Bastogne. Wreathed in smoke and fumes, its eyes fall on you. You cannot outrun it. It is too close. A sense of finality, of certainty, settles on you. So it comes to this. You know what needs to be done. Someone has to distract it. Must lure it away so that the others may make good on their escape. But that person will surely die. You must choose. Will one of you lay down their life for the others and take up their heroic act? You will lose that oath sworn in doing so. That's <coughs> pretty much a no. Dude, there, I love how it makes it seem like it's a noble sacrifice, but I don't want to lose my characters. I'm going to want to play them. If you all refuse, turn to 28.3. If one of you will perform that feat, turn to 28.2. You're going to do it with the penitent there. Exactly. Come on, that's the penitent right there. You're totally going to do it with the penitent, aren't you? I am playing the penitent as a penitent. Let that me... is what he would do. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to tell you about a rule okay. that we're going to that might make this better. If you fail a scenario, you can choose to replay the scenario and not take any repercussions from more than you would normally take from the original fail. Or you can play this like the like the actual story, which means that the penitent would give up his life to save his. That's three. fine. I'm I'm okay. I'm just saying I'm okay with him dying because in theory, if this was a bad idea and we have no chance of three of us do it, we oh, can we can always do it. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're Maybe. saying. He says go for it. Um, I, I think we do it. I think we do it. So I'm going to choose the penitent, but that does mean we might have to paint another miniature <laughs> if I lose the penitent. Well, forever. you might see the fastest yeah. paint job on the planet. I'm going to go get my primer right now. Oh, yeah, right now. All right, 28.2. All right. You swore an oath. Yeah, yeah. If you, one of you performed the feat. <laughs> they named streets after Barrett. They're called One Way. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Make the sacrifice. All right, we're making the You sacrifice. swore an oath to protect this town. You can't save them all, but you can save some. The archer is. Grim faced, you pluck up a flaming torch from the ground. Would you like to say any last words to the party? You, it's your guy, man. Okay, I guess that's um in all capitals, so I think that's me saying, and I will say, do what must be done. And I'm going to run there. Hefting your weapon, you raise the torch aloft and charge back into the breach. The beast, seeing the flame hurling toward it, withdraws for a moment, and that is all you need to dart down a side alley. The mighty creature rears up and crushes a terrace of houses before clawing its way after you. You hear the rest of the free company making good on their escape, not wasting a second of the precious chance that you have bought them. The beast thunders behind you, but you're oddly peaceful. You make it a hundred paces before it reaches you. People send all, spend all their years trying to find a meaning to life, and you find it now, in a good death. Your Osorn dies. No yep. way, did Create it? Create a new level 3 Osorn using the quick leveling system in the rules. Are you serious? I'm so sorry. Are you serious? Okay, Ed, I'm City so sorry, Vancouver. but we do not have a miniature painting for this. I did <laughs> we, not expect that, anything like That's okay. This. this is amazing. I I'm love really this. excited about this. I love this. I'm super pumped. Oh my gosh. I can't. Oh, this is. There may be a momentary pause oh, unless we man. find a character. I'm, I'm kind of sweating right now. That, that, was, is, that was cool. Okay. This is a, okay, so we got a lot of stuff here. That's, uh, All right, so I have to create a new level 3 Osworn using the quick leveling system in okay. the rules. Add city event uh, card 16 to your city event deck. Oh, okay. I really hope it's about. I so. bet it's like his death or something like that. Like yeah. Something in the. Turn to 30.1. 16, huh? Um, yeah. Uh, event card 16 to your city event deck. Oh, boy. Oh wow. man, that was awesome. That was that was something else. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Um, I'm gonna have to go get the guys, um, um, and we have to pick. I have to pick somebody else to play. Correct. Right. Uh, um, Bill's booked. 
Uh, here we go. I was waiting for this. Speed, the speed paint, speed challenge, paint challenge. Speed paint challenge coming on here. <coughs> you can't replay the story. This is true. Yeah, and that's, that's... I, I kind of misled people when I said that. I misled Kong a little bit. You're right. You can't replay the story mode, but at least if we knew we might have a better chance of beating the monster if we knew a little bit about it with only three characters. But we're okay. We're going to have four. We're going to have four. We're just have a new horse one. I wanted to. The vote. The bird man loved the art. Okay. Well, we'll see what's okay, going on. Okay. I'll pick the bird man. All right. Unless you think that's a really bad combo with... <laughs> <laughs> We'll be honest. We haven't looked at them, right? Because I had no idea. All right. So here's here's the deal. I'm gonna go. I'll go get the guys. You can entertain the crowd. Okay. I feel terrible nope, that I'm making good. you I do this. I gotta try to get up. I'm 46. Okay. Here okay. We go. Um, I'm, I'm actually fine. as that's going. I'm gonna keep reading though. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, so they can keep hear. Reading. I'll go find okay. the guys. Okay. Uh, turn to 30. Dot one. They're back in here. You press into the deep wood as Bastone dies. The walls are broken as are her people. Screams and wails saturate the air. An anthem of death rolling from Bastone. You turn to see it one last time. Men hurl themselves from the walls, claiming their own lives before the, before the monsters can. Great fissures swallow sections of the walls. The titanic beast continues to pound the city to dust. You press on. All Osorn gain a redraw token. And actually, I don't know what happens with all the tokens that my character had before. I don't know if the new character gains that or not. You ran running to... I know. Isn't that awesome? That was, that super was cool. probably the most epic moment yeah, I've ever had. I've never seen anything no, that cool no. in a game. I am literally life. just so happy right now. That was it's the ridiculous. coolest thing ever in a game. You put distance between you and the city, and apparently a hair in my mouth. There we go. Got it. Around you, clusters of people dive through the underbrush, only to disappear moments later, followed by a thing of nightmare. Oh, this is great. There is no wire road. There is no path. Oh, the wire road. That's normally what you're on. Oh, no. Your weapons sing as you slice through vines and roots. Mud, blood, and tears wash over every survivor who's made it this far. If you have the Grey Cane ally card, turn to 30.2. That's a negatory ghost rider. If you have the Midge ally card. Yeah, we do. We have the we have Midge. We don't have Grey Cane? I don't think we have Grey Cane. Really? No, we've got like the, the rat guy. His name's Murdick. Cedric. <laughs> Murdick, Cedric. Cedric, yeah. <laughs> we do have Midge. We've got Man at Arms, Man at Arms, Man at Arms, Man at Arms, um, and then we have so no Gamel cane. and Lysine. We have no Grey Cane. Okay, no gray I cane. thought we did. No. Nope. Okay, turn to thirty dot three. Oh, I got another. If you have the Midge Ally card, turn to thirty dot four. Did I get another reroll token? Yeah, I, everyone got a reroll token from oh, uh, or a redraw. Yeah, redraw. Awesome. Right? And something that I'm not sure now. is what happens with the tokens from this guy so does the new guy only come with one the one token that we just got he's or does... he's gonna get the uh oh that's a good question yeah i think he's only gonna get three year old token okay i was wondering if that was the case uh so we're gonna have to put all of these so... things back i'll put them back we'll play that way and if someone tells me it's wrong we can always no, we got uh change that we have toby in the chat and he probably would know if we're yeah. doing something wrong. oh hey ryan good evening ryan it's good to see you here thank you look the we'll check this out uh, broccoli oh. Dawkins hype, and now look, the traitor, I'm two to one now. <laughs> <laughs> I convinced you to go running back the other Oh, man. Oh, that's good stuff. Good evening. It's good to have you here. Read the Always rules on creating uh, for creating a new character. Okay, so it might be in there. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I will wanna... do that. Thank you, Toby. Yeah. I'll work on that while you read. Okay, I'm going to keep going. You keep going. So we do have the Midge ally card. Correct. Up ahead, you see shadows around a tree. You slow, and as you get closer, you see a gray cane nonchalantly leaning against its truck. Trunk, not truck. Truck. <laughs> wow, we've totally Bram, found a new area. Bram is at his feet, tapping ale from a barrel on the ground into a clutched mug in his shaking hand. Grey Cane smiles. Not bad for your first doomed town escape, but I'm sure you'll do better next time. Bram begins to weep, and Grey Cane puts an arm around his friend. Chin up, mate. Oh, I don't know. I all of a sudden I became a pirate or something. Chin up, mate. It's <laughs> it's not sure. as bad as your root your root porridge. If we can survive that, we can survive this. Bram lets out a single snotty laugh. Grey Cane, Grey Cane continues, Survive for them while you live. Bastone lives. Keep on. Grey Cane leaves the man and walks over. People need to know what happened here. We have to reach Verum. Gain ally cards 7 and 8. That's Grey Cane and Bram. So there you go. Now we got them. Nice. And where are those cards? I'll, I'll grab the cards. Here's 7 and 8. You can show them to the, to the, to the masses. To the, okay, where are the allies? They're going to be right, right here. there. Yep. And are they in front? Do you put them in front or behind? Uh, in front. In front, okay. Toby must be, it must be awesome for Toby to watch his players on the stage, story moments, high-fiving, so good, amazing right. work. Yes, yeah, this is amazing. This, okay, here's 7. A non-combat ally, so he, he's useless. Yeah, super okay? good. That's great. Oh, another non-combat ally. We're just going to have to feed oh, this. Oh, has got my ale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, isn't he going to taste he's good? He's got my mead. 
<sighs> okay. Let's see. <clears throat> um. Turn to thirty dot seven. Oh, we're we're actually almost to the the thing. I think. I bet we are. We've got so Thankfully, much to do. your lifeline is still with you. You look down at your compass. You know Verum oh, lies yeah, to the right. southeast, but you could miss it by miles if you don't find the wire road. A sudden noise whips your head up. Uh -oh. Not one noise, but many noises. What? The party gathers around you, and you steady your breath, ready to receive an attack. A large group of people burst from the underbrush, flailing and clutching at bags of supplies and belongings. There are at least a dozen civilians, and they're all terrified. Catching your eye, a woman rushes towards you. Help us, please! It's coming! You're about to ask uh, for what, when? Oh, dude! Perform a survival check. You have to do it. We get a reroll. How you many have, we you have to do it. Uh, difficulty four. Four? I'm rolling five dice. <laughs> oh, you're rolling five I'm dice. Kidding, I'm not rolling five dice. Four dice with a reroll, man. Four dice with a reroll. He says, "Here we go. Ready? No, no. <laughs> I really it. want you to succeed at this. I do too, because this is what we we, we paid yeah. we paid yeah. blood and we sweat and tears blood. for this. Look at that. That's amazing. That's terrible. Oh, I get a reroll though. See, so that'll be good. A reroll. This should roll five dice. There we go. Two, three, four. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 30 dot eight. All Oathsworn gain a battle flow token. Oh, I love battle flow tokens. Never That's had the one. First time we've had a yeah. battle. <laughs> I love battle flow tokens. Yeah, I've right. never had one. All right, that's this one, right? One, the one two, with the card. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's got three cards on it. It does have three cards right, on here's it. Here's two for you. Sweet. Okay, turn to 30 dot eight if we succeed. Nice. Gnarled branches begin to sway. Not the wind. Something else. You uh -oh. press your ear to the nearest sickly tree. The vibrations, you know what that is. Reveal the encounter special rules board. Mark oh, the special do. rules box for chapter three on your free company sheet. Nice. <coughs> so I'm making you do all of this while you're trying That's to do okay. it. So That's okay. So we get to right. reveal this? Correct. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of text. Oh, you can start reading that. It'll okay. A month of Sundays. Um, a month of Sundays? You've never heard that? <laughs> no, but that's Really? Awesome. My grandma used to say that. Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, dude, this guy's going to have vibration? Oh. This is awesome. Oh, it's the Beach Boys. <laughs> Get, okay. Good vibration? Yes. I'm so <laughs> funny. I'm so funny. <laughs> no, he's not that funny. I'm no. not funny. One Osorn takes the vibration token. Okay, so start of encounter. But we're, we, this isn't happening now. We're, we're finding a worm. We are? Yes. Well, that makes sense. Yes. We have vibrations. A large, and it's immune to knockback. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, start of encounter. Okay, we have sense of vibration. If this stage card was drawn during the encounter phase, then whoever has the vibration token is the worm's target. If this stage card is drawn as a reaction, why don't we, we'll, we'll look at all this stuff as we play it, because we're going to have to relook at it later. Okay. Save the civilians. There are 10 civilians in the center of the map, so we might be having that. Uh, stage two is triggered when the worm loses three, and... Stage three is when he loses six. How many dice does this thing have? I'm more than six. Oh my gosh. And it's got two black and two red. And it's got some crazy movement. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. All right. Let me keep going. Where am I? 30.8. All right. Here we go. And did you mark it on there that? Yes, you did. Yes. Nobody move, you cry. The free company immediately, compl immediately complies, as do most of the civilians. Unfortunately, not enough, though. One man panics and begins to run for a tree. The vibrations intensify. The earth around, the, uh, around it turns as you feel the intensity of it moving beneath your feet. The earth around the runner bulges upward and serrates, serrated tusks burst from the ground. The man screams as he plummets to the, into the great maw and the worm rises. The head extends 15 feet from the ground as the eyeless mass of pallid flesh turns towards the group, hungering. It cannot see you but it can sense your presence. Dude, if we don't move during this scenario, I bet you it's gonna help us. That's awesome. Record how many rations you have, the number on the, tra on the tracker, uh, tracker tokens. We have three on your free company sheet, then lose the tracker token. Okay. Place all your refugee tokens, time tokens, and location tokens in the free company bag. Uh-oh. Place all your refugee tokens, time tokens, and location tokens. I think we only had one time token, didn't we? Because we saved those prisoners, the other people we failed, we didn't get any other time tokens, right? You're right, because that's the only time token. So place all your refugee tokens, time tokens, and lo so we're supposed to take all these location tokens too? I guess so. Uh, it says time tokens and location tokens in the free company bag. What's that? That's the free bag with the free company. What are you doing? You're so terrible. <laughs> Thanks, man. If you have I'll the show mystery, you in a second. if you have the mystery chest, open mystery box three. If you do not have the mystery chest, open mystery envelope three. Proceed to chapter three. Encounter in the encounter book. Okay. So here is the. Okay. First off, you've got a job. 
Okay, I love jobs. Here, you get to choose one of those characters. Oh my gosh, I have to choose Good one. Good luck. Here's okay. all the boards. Now, on the back side, it does give you a little bit of how tough they are. The difficulty for them. Yeah. It's so like the bear's a three, the cur's a three. I think I gotta do the bear. Just because we had someone that was a... Uh... You can't do the Grove Maiden. Why not? Because oh, yeah. yeah. Apparently okay. that's not a... Now, the witch and the the, the Avi Harbinger, which he was talking about, the bird guy, they're yeah. both difficulty four. Oh, she's five, which is five. Those are the hunters of five. Warden's a three. That's kind of a warden guy. So the penitent was a three, right? I think so. Uh, I might. I'm just, you know, man. It's the only bad part about doing this right here is I'm trying to decide quickly what difficulty is the bear because I'm just thinking three. a three. I think I might just do the bear. Okay, do the bear. Let's just do the bear because that kind of is in line with what he's doing. Okay, now I'm gonna take all these. I'm gonna put them in here for now. But there is a bag that is for the free company. It's 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 uh here. Okay, here's the war bear's bag. Okay. So then I'll take all these and set them aside right now. Perfect. Okay. Um, I do have a curative card. Can use, but that's okay. I'm going to put <coughs> these and these. Away. We're going to kind of do a little bit of cleaning up as he's getting himself all set yeah. up here. Because um, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Because we're going to move from this to the, the, what do you call it? The encounter. Encounter now. Um, so, stay quiet and I'll gorge on the civilians. There you go. Bear, bear was my second vote. The bear looks epic. Okay, yeah, cool thing. I just feel like, um, just for ease of understanding and for the fact that... Um, You've never played it before, and all of a sudden you're going to be shoved into it exactly. right Exactly. I feel like the bear might be a good idea. This is also, I want to say, that was absolutely amazing. Now, the yeah. best part is, I don't know if you can use any of that stuff over there. Yeah. We so have to look through your backpack. Where, where's the um, Where's the create a new character? Isn't there a... So, it only, here's what it said. Okay. It said in here that, um, again, I, next time I'll make sure to put this stuff up on the screen for everybody. Um Note, if you are creating a new character after having died during the story, you cannot create another character of the same class as the one you lost. Okay, that's about all it's said here. All the other things about swapping um, at the start of each chapter before the story, that's not the deal. The level. So what you're going to do is in the book, I wish I had a way of showing. I can only show it kind of on the green screen here, but it's not going to be very good because they can't get far enough into the green screen. There are, I'm going to hold it up like this. You can't see it because I don't have autofocus on. Um, you can see how the numbers are going to tell you based on your level what you're going to be able to get for your character. So since we're on mission three, he's going to be able to have one permanent token and one free company trait. So you get to choose a, per, a permanent token. What does we that all, mean? That, so it's going to be like you get your defense token back. So you could get oh. your defense token back. Or I could get a plus two. I'll do the, I'll Just do the take defense. the defense token. Yeah. And then, uh, you, and then you get a free company trait. We've already done that for a free company, so you don't get that. But you do unlock your level two cards like we did when you got to level two for your other guys. So I will have level two cards and your base cards. But not level three? We don't get level three. We don't until... have level three cards. For so a, we have level five is like the next time you're Okay. Cards. Okay. Does that make so, sense? Yeah, so Perfect. I'm going to just... And I'm assuming all this money is gone. But that no. means... He... Okay, he died. Wouldn't you say if he died? Are you sure he didn't like... I'm going to get him! <laughs> okay, he tossed, uh, he his, tossed his money, his to, the money bags to the priest. He tossed his money to the priest. I'll put it over here for now. We'll see if that's legit, legitimately <laughs> okay. Um, Here's all the items we have. Good luck. What if, don't you think the penitent would have thrown his weapons too? I, I'm not going to give you. Yeah, I'm going to say all these weapons he threw. <laughs> um, so I just need to move the penitent and I'm going to put him over here. Stay quiet and I'll gorge the civilians. That's what's going to happen. Bear was my second vote. Yep. Uh, dang, I'm jealous. I want to play with you. Yes, you should. It is fun. Choosing characters looks cool. It is. There's yeah. a lot of them out there. It's really one of the next things about it. You have the pre-painted secret gift. I... I do have the pre-painted secret gift, but sadly it will not fit on the board. For those that are interested in knowing what that is, you can check out my unboxing. It is on my channel. <laughs> There's my selfless plot. Wait, what is that? What is that? <laughs> There's like a, a statue. It's I think it's in my curio cabinet of the bear. It's like a big giant statue of the pre-painted statue of the bear. Oh, that's it's really cool. cool. And we have this thing we're going to open eventually, but first we're going to get your character up and running. So uh, I start with the ones that have asterisks on them, right? Correct. And then you told me I have the level twos yeah. available, so I... I can choose between the level twos and then yes. oh yeah you're right level five level ten and level fifteen. Now I feel sad that I did not paint the bear. There's the bear. Well, dude, how would you have known? I didn't. And uh, it's it's funny because actually I was thinking about painting it, but instead I decided to paint the uh, I painted some ships for my Arcario. Which is which is just fine. Yeah, it's good too. Um, um to Yeah, I mean this guy even has the area the same area attack uh, attack. Nice. Uh, this target is normal size. Well, these are our three rations. 
You don't need those. We got three rations. Okay. After an adjacent enemy, ignore one enemy's money card. Whoa. Cool. Bite. I'll let Colin look through his cards. And while he does that, I'm going to read and set up the encounter and show you what it's all yeah, about. Yeah, thank you. That's going to be the deal. By the way, he has nine enemies, so can I have another enemies? Are you kidding me? That's one? amazing. But he only regen six. Well, that's too bad. I just need one more. All right, I got one right here for you. Thank you all for holding off here, and those that are watching uh, after this is going on, I'm going to make sure to put a timestamp when we actually yeah. do start the encounter, because there's a lot of stuff we're kind of doing here that isn't really top-notch. Yeah, but what are we supposed to do? There's I mean, not much we can do. we got to yeah. do this. All right. Chapter 3. Oh, um, he can use the pickaxe. Oh, are we saying he can't use any of these? We're saying that he can't use I'm going to say those went into the belly of the thing. The mayor might get hungry and eat too many of the rations. <laughs> I'll put this I, would, I mean, that's the way I would play. I'd play him running in there with all... Would you go... Okay, I'm going to go try to take on the worm. Here, never mind your tab. All my clothes. I'm going to take off my armor real quick. Here, have my cloak. I don't well, have if, weapon. That's okay. He'll take the spiked club because yeah. he can take that. Uh, that's one hand. He can take the buckler for his other hand. Yeah. No, he can't. That symbol. He's the claw. So the claw, he can take this one, but he can't take the buckler. Can the can I use the buckler? Uh, it's only those two, the oh, chain and the barf. yeah. So um, the warden can use it. And then I guess I'm gonna have the stitched hide garments because he can have that for his armor. Um, here. Why don't you take mine? Oh, that's nice. Can we do that? I don't see why not. Okay. And then what? You're gonna take this one or something else or this one? I'm so going to die. We're both going to die. This is awesome. This I love it. I'm something else. Okay. Here. All right. You so don't have any shields. You looted the fecal matter after he digested the penitent. Obviously. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, oh, can Baron keep this gameplay on his channel with unpainted minis? I don't think so. I, you know, I think it'll be okay just this once. Barely. Oh. Now, sadly, you're not gonna. I don't have your armory system for your guy. Like, I had all the. Okay, guys, I want to show you. I had like <laughs> painted all the armory stuff ready to go here, and he look how many guys things I had to paint for the penitent, and he charged him and killed him. <laughs> That's so on me, hundred percent on me. Okay, if it wasn't oh. as cool as I thought it was gonna be, then I'd be oh, sad right now. I'm so sorry, man. No, that was perfect. I'm sorry. Here we go. Okay. Should I get this map off the table? Yeah, get the map off the table. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the right weapons on my guys. Can I? Can I um put these city events and stuff over here? Is yes, okay? and put this city event over and there too. And path B. Yep, put that over there too. Thank okay. you. Um, and then. So yes, the only question we have for people is: Does he get his stuff from his penitent, or did the penitent die with it in his hand? So basically, the big thing is money, right? And and the uh, equipment. I have no idea. Yeah. I'm assuming no on the equipment. Um, I would think so. But too. the money, I could see him throwing his money before going. Money, yeah. I'm gonna have these. Bannon will have a busy week getting the bear ready. <laughs> yep. We'll be painting up the bear at my next painting. Live at the Sorry painting table. That. Live at the painting table. We'll be painting up the bear Monday. <clears throat> apparently, you should just have them all painted, man. I, that's Come on. on. You never know in this game, apparently. Yep. Okay. So, it says here we need to get Mystery Box 3 and Mystery Box Square. Um, an encounter board number 3, special rules board number 3, and encounter stage deck 3. I got all that. Um, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Grab me the cards again from the that thing. The the yep those. I just need those. I need to take a couple of the sleeves off. I was sleeving these, so I thought we need them. Nope. I'm just gonna unsleeve. I these actually. Uh, so none of my cards. That's are fine. Sleeved. I don't care. I, okay. I, I okay? trust you. Yes. Okay. You didn't eat any chocolates. So you... Oh, I thought money was shared. I saw. I say this. I think and I just watch people play. What do you know? I, <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> no, I think it is shared too. I, I so I'm pretty right. sure. I'm just gonna say it's over. But the and if I remember, right, Toby mentioned that last time. Is that yeah. it is shared? Yeah. And we're just kind of pretending it's going on all our games. <clears throat> because it allows people to, if they want. And I've got to name my bear, but I'll do that later. I also have to switch out potentially two cards for my level twos. Yes. But I don't think I want my one of my level twos because it has a knockback three and this guy is immune to knockback. I'm going to switch this. Now, again, I, I think we can switch all this around. I'm going to change that for this. He's going to be able to resist two damage at least. Gain one redraw on an attack or basic check. There are no adjacent notes. Yeah. Okay. So we should have bought more armor. Well, there wasn't a lot of options for armor. Yeah, I thought money was 
things, yes. Barry, he says the name for the bear should be Barry. Barry. <laughs> All right. I think we have it. Okay. So I need to get box three and mystery box X? No. Square. One letter, I think. Armory. Can you ask me what the determination rule is? Can I ask what that is? Determination is when you miss, yeah. you get a, you, then you, the determination rule comes into effect. The way it works is anything you use during that attack, you get back, such as tokens. So say you use a reroll token, you still miss, you get that reroll token back. Then you get to pick a token of your choice. Yep, yep, yep. Does that make sense? I'm That's totally, what that does? Totally tracking it now. Cool. Okay, I'm getting rid of toss because I doubt I'm going to be tossing the worm if it's immune to knockback. I'm pretty sure so, that yep. you wouldn't be. And instead, I'm going to have the double attack one. And I think that's a good idea. So there I we like go. That. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven cards. I'm set up with my character. All oh, right. Okay, I got this box. Okay, so are we going to open this now well, and show? We're going to get the box square up. Okay. Was it square or was it? You told me it was square. Was it square? It's square. You said square. I mean, I. Look, I got the box on my head. I look <laughs> Alex, absolutely stellar right now. <laughs> you look awesome. I think it's this one. There we go. Oh, All right, okay. hold on a second. Let's see what we got. Here. Let's make sure it's right ones. Okay, yeah. Re make sure it says square. Yes. But I'm really excited. It down. I'm really, really excited. This is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm really excited. I want to look at this. Here we go. Is it, is okay. it box square? It is box square. Box square. Oh, oh, these the are the civilians. survivors! Oh, we got civilians! Damn. Right. This is gonna be Look sweet. at these guys! Put them in there. Okay, right. it's taped shut. I gotta untape it. By the All way, right. I'm watching this while playing Tainted Grail Age of Legends. Oh, it's hard to do both. This is true because Tainted Grail is awesome. I gotta play that game again. Oh, Look at these! Uh, yeah, um, bear, uh, Brent and I weren't totally in love with that game. You should name the bear Berent. <laughs> No, because then it'll be a traitor. <laughs> Do you want to know something interesting about my name? It is German for bear-like. Oh, seriously? Yeah, that's what my name is. Here is the... Uh, so these are all painted by Bill. These are all painted by Bill. He based them and everything. Look at these guys. Look at them. They look fantastic. This is just one. Oh, they patches on the I know. Oh, my gosh. Look at this guy. Yes. These poor guys are so going to die. I know. I'm just, I'm just saying right now. But he's got so... two axes. How can he be that bad? Well, well, that maybe maybe be... one's an elite. Look, this but... looks like the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but they're going to be broken on the green <laughs> screen. <laughs> That's awesome. The green one on the green screen. Oh, man. Look at these. They're all different colors of outfits and stuff. Bill, you Bill, did yourself. You're amazing, these Bill. Amazing. You're amazing. All right, these are good. Okay. All right. So, here we go. You got Wait, the... that's only these. Now let's open up the big box. Yep, you ready for the big box? Okay. Yes. Here we go. I'm ready? Okay, you open it, man. Oh, it's so good. I can't wait to see this worm. All right, here we go. <gasps> Holy oh, mother of like, goodness. It's a three part <laughs> worm. Look at this thing. It's taped shut. Oh, it better not be. Oh, come yeah. on, Bill. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, So, here's the man. tail of the worm. So, the worm's going to come out in different <gasps> things. Look at this. Here's like the tail, the tail of the worm. And then this is the mouth. Oh my, oh look my at all those teeth gosh. and stuff. It actually looks, it, look at, it's, he's <laughs> even got this like with, it makes it look gooey. Yeah. I, well, that is fantastic. super good. That is super good. And then it's even got another part here. That kind That's of in the middle of the worm. The That's the middle of the worm. worm. This is going to be super cool. I don't think I've ever found anything that has oh, something like this going on ever in my life. Three different parts of a mini. Okay, now I think I know. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, all right. I all think right. I know what I'm done doing. I think I'm going to know what I'm doing at Dungeon Dragons oh. next week. I'm going to have him fight a purple yes. worm. Check this out. This will be awesome. Three part purple worm. Well, I, I do think it might be this way, though. I think it might be right. <laughs> but it's a worm. You never know, right? Yeah, it's all true. Right. Seriously, I thought Barrett was going to say his... His, his name in German was Trader. Yes. You just do look great. Beautifully done. Yes, oh, thank you, Bill, gosh, for doing this. Bill. It's absolutely great. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, oh, awesome. Fantastic. So good, so good. Mm. I'm gonna, I'll get the bear painted up over... We'll do that on Monday if anybody's interested. Mm. Wasn't someone talking about... Tremors, tremors on, on Tuesday? Tuesday? They were talking about... We were actually talking Tremors on my last play, oh, painting nice. session, which is pretty cool. Well, hey, you ever seen you, Tremors? No, I haven't. I know you didn't paint Tremors. No, it's got Kevin hey, Bacon. Do you want me to use the painted penitent? No. For, okay, all right. You're okay with the bear? Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it, he'll really stand out. He's a very gray bear. <laughs> <laughs> I might paint him gray. Okay. Hey, there you go. Okay, so now we've got to, we've got to set this right. up. Oh There's my gosh, a million lots trees. of things. Okay, here we go. I'll uh, have you hold that while I get some of the stuff. Why don't you up. get the stuff out and I'll start putting things in place? So we need three walls, one, two, three, four trees. Three walls and four trees. Three walls, four trees. And the hardest part is always figuring out where to start. So northeast, 
one, two, three, four, five. Right here from this one. One, two. Okay, I'm gonna move all these guys way down here. Oh, what is this green at the bottom? Is that where we can start? Correct. Okay. One. We can start anywhere along the bottom. Let's see. So over here. One, two, three, four, five. That is where one of the survivors. While you were gone, I did get a chance to paint up all the scenery. So we do have yes. like so we have oh, the we have the dude. these all painted up now. Um, and I did get a chance to paint the giant house that we have here. So these houses are painted up. You can't really see it on green screen. It's absolutely a humongous house. It's out of control. It's amazing. So it's super good. I'm sorry I'm ignoring you. I'm just trying to also Keep get this doing moving. it, man. Dude. Uh, then, boom. If if this... Oh, the arrow is pointing the way they're facing, right? Correct. So facing, facing... How many trees? Face, uh, one, two, three, four. Four trees. Four trees. <clears throat> one, two, three. This guy is facing away. He's the one that's running away. He's the whole reason this became a problem. Uh, the face <laughs> of this guy is literally right here. He's looking this way. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Looking this way. There's a dude right here. Oh my god. Right, 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 right in front right, of boom, his boom. face. Oh, about to be eaten. Let me go. Uh, and then down. The houses out here. This guy's here. Okay. And then two straight behind is here. Okay. And so, uh, who's ready to watch a bear die? Are you ready for a tree? Nice. Oh, you got to put the trees together. Yeah. I see you want to give me the walls? I'll put the walls yeah, they're out. right there. Okay. So southeast. So if anybody hasn't seen the trees, there are three part trees. One, two, three, four, five. They all kind of go together. One, two. The problem three, is we didn't know four, what we were fighting. I probably should put the trees five. together she anyway. Just always put the trees I just together. had the trees together. That was dumb. Move on. No, it's okay. Next week, we're going to have the trees three, put together three, before four. we fight. And figure so One, two, three, five. So this is here. Awesome. And then if we count from... So if I actually have that face in the right spot, hopefully I do. Then we go straight here. I am super interested to see the mechanics of this worm. And then here. That is going to be in the middle. We're going to be doing a lot of moving. Uh-huh. And where's its tail? Or is that just its tail? There's, I only see two parts of the... Maybe the tail doesn't start on the board. Let's see. Maybe if we read the encounter part. That's I should probably read it, right? No. Oh, yeah. I'm, I would say that's the middle, not the tail, though, right? That symbol, that looks like the that. face, that's the middle. Tail is now. We're going to move the tail away for right now. Tail is going to be up here. I'm still right behind. Where's those walls? Put a wall here, right behind it. This side. And if we are missing this by a, a, a square or two, it's not the end of Can the world. Can you move that up on the going? other side, right on the other side? Yeah. Um, they should be right next to each other, kind of like this. It makes okay. a straight line. Well, it's not going to with this thing here. So maybe move that. It's so hard for me to tell exactly where. Let's see where west is. West is right there. I'm going to put a tree right here with west. Okay. From there, I'm going to go. I'm going to space. Be a, and well, then there I should have... be a dude right next to the tree. Okay. Give me a dude. Next to the tree and right next Perfect. to the wall. All right. So you see that? And he's facing down. Nice. Okay. And then the wall is coming across, and then that wall should go straight to another wall. So two walls going right up to north. Perfect. And then the, and the worm body should be right next to... Because don't they take up three, three squares? Yep. Perfect. Just like that? Yep. I have no idea which way that thing is facing. I don't know how you can tell. Uh... Yep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Wrong way. No. Uh, let's see. We still have oh, one, because, two, oh, three, works okay. We still have five more survivors I got to get out. All okay. Right. So you've got the trees done? Or, uh, I'll made. work on the trees. You keep working on your dudes. Okay. Well, it's helpful when the trees are out because they're... That's so nice. that one's going to go behind it right on... Yep. And then that one's going to go there. I need another character right here. Facing away? Facing away. Oh, my gosh. Right. And then Come another on. tree. Right like this, right? Yep. And then two more people over here. It's like they all decide to just kind of go on a picnic. And these two are oh, facing okay. each other away from the... They're facing each other? Well, no. Like, so one's oh. facing this way and one's one, facing One is hope, facing us, hoping we come and save them. <laughs> and then... We're so going to use this These guys all placed already? Yes, those guys are all oh, placed. okay. I'm not going to touch them. But you can move them. Now nah, we're good. And then um, the tree here, if you count from the other tree, or from this wall, it's one, two, three up. Beautiful. And then there should be another person right next to the tree. Let's just be done. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, so I'm going to have to start a fight. 
The hard from part south, is where are we south. Yep, we're good. Okay, up there, boom. There, good. One, two. So we're. Oh, yep. this is my priest. Yep. So I think we actually got. Do we have all ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, there should be twelve. Are there twelve of them? Yep. Look. Okay. Wait, I need another tree over here. You haven't gotten your tree out yet. One, two, three, four. I got four trees. One, two, three, Kill four. Me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We need five trees. Five trees. Oh yeah, here it says worm head, worm belly. So the the tail hasn't come out yet. Okay. I'm assuming that comes out when he gets pissed. I'm sure. And I'm, from the look of it, it looks oh, like. Dude, this really is tail. so awesome. Okay. Helps if I put the right. Start of the encounter. One player, player's choice, takes the vibration token. Use a tracker token to represent this. That's a time token. Yep. Uh, so someone takes that sense of vi vibration. I'm assuming most of the cards are going to have that. If this stage card was drawn during the encounter phase, then whoever has the vibration token is the worm's target. If this stage card is drawn as a reaction, then the worm will target uh, the one who caused the damage as usual. The worm never needs line of sight to target someone. During their turn, a character can choose to take the token from another character if they wish. In addition, a character may force the vibration token onto a civilian when they make them move. Place the token next to the civilian on the board. If the civilian dies with the vibration token, give it to the closest O swarm. The worm is huge. Uh, has three body parts, the head, belly, and tail. Each body part counts as a different enemy. The worm has no facing. Oh, there you go. And it does not matter which direction it is turned when moving or placed. Attacking the head of the worm always counts as attacking the front. The belly counts as the flank. And the tail counts as, as the rear. When damaging the worm, you may choose any die on the body part to damage before damage is drawn. Do not rem before damage is drawn. We have to choose before damage is drawn. Do not remove a body part when all of the dice are removed. Instead, it can no longer be damaged, but still acts as normal. Okay? It has two black and two red, is what it's going to be flipping. When the worm moves, all movement is measured from the head. First, pick up the tail and place it where the belly is. Then, pick up the belly and place it where the head is. Lastly, move the head to its new location. That's so cool! That's so that's how it's totally going to move! what you're going to be doing! Oh my gosh, that's awesome! You're totally going to do that for When us. the worm head moves, it will move around its own body parts, rather than move through them. If ever the worm's head is placed on the game board and would enter hexes with another body part, instead place its closest hexes to the selected hex so that it does not occupy the same hex as another body part. Hexes. Save the civilians. There are 10 civilians in the center of the map. I thought there was 12, though. Didn't we just count 12? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So you think it's supposed to be 10 or 12? Because well, this says the, 10. So the picture. But the picture has 12, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. There are 12 civilians in the center of the map, and you may try to protect them if you wish. Civilians will die if they receive any damage, but can be protected by moving them off any board edge. Instead of playing an ability card on your turn, you may move an adjacent civilian up to four hexes by spending, I'm assuming it's one enemies. This is free if you are, are a companion or ally. Each peasant may only be moved once per round. Okay? And then the stages are, stage two is triggered when the worm loses three dice. Stage three is triggered when the worm loses six dice. Tips on placement. There's a center hex with a skull on it, and many deep wood plants on the map are uh, that are good use of reference points in the train. Oh, well, that, I should have read that tip. Nice. What? Uh, and there's also another tip. Uh, saving civilians will gain you a bonus reward later. Nice. And we need to give the tracker token to any Osworn. Okay. So now, uh, who... I choose the archer. I don't. <laughs> I'm kidding. I choose... Okay, here's the deal. So... Who would like to see the worm cart? Oh my gosh, we kind of need to see that, don't we? And Ready? we need to set up our... Yeah, so it says up top here 12 civilians, but then on the card it says 10. I'm assuming they probably changed that and missed that, that it's supposed to be 12. There's a lot of dice. Uh, oh my gosh, how many? One, two, three, four, well, nine. Nine. So most of the other ones had what, six? I guess that's not too bad. At least they're not 12-siders. Okay. So its defense is only three. True. Uh, this was me. That most. Uh, that was most unexpected. Yes. Love that accountant can't count. Yes. Nope. Can't count. The standing paint job. Those miniatures. It. It was me. You'd end up with a board full of gummy bears looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> so epic. I agree. Dude, agree. This, this is... Now put the gray primer bear in there. Yeah, but it'll look great. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Here oh yeah. Oh, you can't, you can't see it. Can't see it. Can't see it. Can't put the dice out right now. Oh man. All right. 
Yep, we're gonna see. Dice Wait, where right do you now. want me to put the dice? Do you, uh, I you, think I had that over here last time, didn't I? You want to do the dice thing? You want you to do both of them? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. Well, here, I bet you do the card. No, I'm gonna do the dice. You do that because you had a lot of Perfect. words over there. You're yep. way better at doing words than I am. <laughs> That's not saying much. So, hey, Baron, on Board Game Geek thread about losing a character due to a self-sacrifice, Shadowborn noticed a difference from the book and app. Book is missing that you get a free company trait. I think we did get a company trait, though, didn't we? We got one when we started the, this mission. We're going to go with what we have. And if we'll need to change it, we will. And I'll make sure to put a note in the pinned comment section. I think I, I think he's saying we get an extra one, but it seems kind of weird. So because we died, we get an extra trait? That doesn't seem like... That might be wrong. It might be weird. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. That's the deal. We're going to go with what we have. That's the deal. Yeah. We definitely won't play it at 1 a.m. Proceeding to play it at 1 a.m. Doing all the distractions. Yeah, because it's already 9.18. The bear gets the target token. Yeah. I think so the bear should get the target token, first. Actually. This is true. But... You, you can take target token. Oh, I need a target I, token. I need one. Well, we can use this 10 right here. That's yeah. fine. There you go. There's a target token. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Okay. Can I give you these? Yes, to get please. Rid of them? I don't need them. Okay. I can go on the floor. All right. So now we have to place our guys along the back row over here. We're so... Oh, yeah. The bear doesn't start there. <laughs> so I'm going to pan out a little bit here and see if I can get the whole board. It's all in the back row. So anywhere in the back row at all. So you can actually be adjacent there. to a tree, my man. Yeah. Or, so this um, is the whole, man. This is kind of like what you're seeing is not mass chaos around it. One, two, three. My archer's going to start there. I, don't, I just... I, I set them out. spot. No, the archer probably wants to be by a tree. She can be right okay, here. Okay, first off, oh, the priest. What's the priest using? He's using that thing? Here, watch this. And change them. I got my new weapons, man. <laughs> I didn't paint these for nothing. <laughs> Wait, you don't have the bear one done for me? Bring it on. <laughs> it's them? a note about losing a character during Chapter 3 story, a reward of, for sacrifice. So oh, we wouldn't get Oh, so we get an extra one for reward of sacrifice. Okay, I'll make sure to note that. I don't know how much it's going to help us in this playthrough. Let's see here. Do um, any of those help us with the scenario? Uh, during encounter set up, the old swarm may choose to roll an unused hit point die. Whoever rolls highest gains. A, we didn't lose any health, so. Then they, nope. Uh, gain an injury. You gain two. Gain an extra ration at the start of every deep wood journey. Mm. Uh, once per chapter, play pay X iron where X is a chapter number to archive an injury yeah. card. Um. Oh, what do you want? I think that we just. I think we um keep. Oh, dang. Sorry. That's okay. I think we keep going on the, you know, all of these tests that we have to do. It's really yeah. nice to have the free reroll. So I I'm think gonna, that's not a bad idea. I'm going to do the um, keen eyed reroll. Is that okay? That's a good idea. Okay. So what what kind of weapon do you think you have over there? Which one? You guys got a little stick thing? I'm going to put this guy. Yeah, on. the spine. Oh, that looks spiny. Yeah. Baron had too much fun so with this. So now he's got a new weapon. Oh, field medic does look strong. What was that? Once per chapter, pay X iron to archive one injury from one over so. Actually, that is a good point. If someone took an injury, okay, we'll 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 be smart. I'll I'll erase the keen eyed one, and I'll put it in the field medic. So we've now got the field medic. Once per chapter, we can pay X iron. X is the chapter number, so that'd be three. Archive one injury from an Oswan. Right now, we don't have any, but True. in future rounds, we might, and we can pay to actually archive okay. it. Sadly, I put the other or stuff too far oh. away. Raymond's watching this on a 70-inch screen, 70-inch uh, TV screen, and the colors are amazing. I oh, that's awesome. Imagine. That's really just cool. I mean, Baron's face and mine is so white, but other than that's that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's not about losing. What do you say? It's not about losing a character during Chip. Uh, oh, Chip, it's a word for sacrifice. Okay. Yeah. Unpainted bear equals Ash Man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Toby. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I think we're good. Nicaragua it's started. the one unpainted. It does look hilarious. It is. It's it the looks... one unpainted miniature. Well, at least know where Colin is at all times. Yeah. Well, one of my Colin. One of your guys. Um, do you want to start by a tree? Because you can start by a tree. I certainly want to start by a tree. No, actually, you're not going to be adjacent to a tree. What are you talking about? Look at this one over here. Um, Bring it on. So start. when then we we failed at setting it up. Yeah. Because you in the starting oh, spaces, yeah. none of those spaces have a tree. Dude. We have to move this up one. We got to move all this up. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. That all came down. There's two here. We this definitely thing. have the wall. Oh, in the right I think spot. this guy moves one, and this must move over. No. I right. just leave it. Don't. We're close enough. We're gonna go with it. I, we might have some of this messed up. We're gonna go with it. It's we're close enough. I mean, the tree might be one space off. Like this. The tree moved. Up. Let's see, because it should be one, two, three up. It's only one, one, two, three, two. So this should move up like this, but then it's like one square away from the thing, which there should be a guy there somehow. 
Then if you're top guy. Okay. Let's, see. let's just take a quick second and let's start up here. So we've got northeast Chilling. one, two, three in. One, two, three in. We're definitely good there. Yep. Then there's the this dude. dude in front. Yep. Then two over is that dude looking this way. Yep. Then um, two just over from that, there's a guy over. there. Yep. Two people staring at the back of that. Then there's one guy here, the worm face here. We got a dude that we're missing on that side of the tree. Um, it is one, two. So hard to tell. These two are right. That one's right. So we need to have somebody looking in the back side of the tree. Two, four, How many six, do you have over there? Eight, one, ten, two. We only have 11 guys out there. Oh, are we missing one? Yeah. Uh, Where'd well, I don't know where he went. We'll use the, the, we'll use the that penitent. Use the penitent. <laughs> he's coming back. He's, he comes. <laughs> He'll be the one that's right oh, here. Was... <laughs> oh, the tokens! Oh, I tried so hard Look to catch that. Look at the bright that. side. We don't need the tokens because we're, we're all we're all we're all okay. We oh, have all tokens. We're gonna get. That's that unbelievable. That was terrible. That was okay. pretty good. We're we're just out of control here. We are. Okay. How did we miss one guy? Did I not pull him out? Is he is he on the is he in? You have the get box for the guys, right? Yep, yeah, I'm the box for the guys. Only. Give me a, give me a, this tree, then, is supposed to go here, I think. And then it, it can start here, but you can't start next to the tree. There we go. I figured that guy. You figured that out? I think yep. that's good enough. You have failed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, well, eight, three nine, times four is twelve. And twelve. There you go. I painted so. twelve. Bill says. <laughs> there is one here somewhere. Did it fall? No, I don't think so. Okay. One, two, three. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is it hiding behind a tree? Okay, how do you lose a miniature? Well, look at the bright side. Play? I'm gonna have a lot of people laughing about the fact yeah. that we we're gonna watch us setting these up, and all of a sudden we'll have that disappearing guy. Uh, yeah. And they're like, oh. well, that's why we'll use the penitent for now. Sorry, that'll work. The penitent is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where it went. Let me get that book out again. What book? The, the book to figure out where the rest of these guys go. Oh, the encounter book? Yes. Oh, my gosh. You guys have a Minnesota tan. You're right. You yes, we do. The only <laughs> ones that look unpainted. That's true. Okay. So we got the pennant deer, this thing. Okay, this dude over here. Dude is going to be one. There we go. Go. Good. Okay. Then over here, we've got... Well, I found the guy. What's this dude doing? Oh, seriously? We're going to talk about accountant counting. <laughs> <laughs> you counted 11 too, man, two, Mr. Four, OR. Eight, 10, 11. That's okay. I just have to deal with medications. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that's real. I mean, dude, all I do with is money. You deal with people's lives. That's true. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to go over here. So we have this thing, and it is north. So one, two, three, one, two, three. There's a dude right below it here, and he's touching a. Maybe the tree goes that way. Nope, that's wrong. The tree does go like this. It's right on the west. So boom, like that. There's a guy right here. And there's another tree. I don't know how that does that. Is it's close enough. Not here. Just have the archer not stand next to the tree. And then you'll have to spend one more. Okay, to there we go. Because that's all you would have to I do. I think I figured it out. Oh, okay. And then those two up there. There we go. I am so sorry about this, guys. I think we're good to go. I mean, I think this is the hardest part of the setting, it's yep. just setting up the... And I don't... The, the sad thing is, like, I could look at it earlier and have it all somebody come here, but that's no fun. Yeah, I don't want to know what we're fighting. No, so, that's the best part. I mean, one idea, Barrett, is we could split this into two live sessions. One is the story, and then give 15 minutes to have a set Oh, yeah, up, and then we could... And then we pop it back up. We pop it back up. We might want to do that next time. We might do Let that. us know what you guys think of that. Do don't two let two Colin count my money. <laughs> 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 well, you actually only have $3. I don't know what happened. Yeah. That's pretty oh, awesome. Oh, man. So don't let Kyle look <laughs> Toby, how do I get a copy? <laughs> uh, this game is amazing, Bill. This, this game is really is good. I mean, look at how this looks on the table. Okay. All right. We all get one shield token. No one shield token. That's one, awesome. Two. Then when I, you take I those found cards, all the shield tokens on the ground. <laughs> So as we gain tokens, I will be falling out of view to go get them from the ground. So we have two shield tokens. Uh, except for my bear. My bear only has one shield token, one uh, battle flow, and one reroll. How do you know? How do you, how do you see? He should get one just from his normal card, and then he gets another one. Why does he get the second one? Well, how did I get two? So we got ones from the scenario before when the penitent had it, but then the penitent died. So I didn't give him any of the tokens oh, from gotcha. when the penitent yep, died. Okay. All right. Um, 
All right, we're all set except for one thing. If there is any card, we, we did have the ability to, when we saw that board, to figure out what cards we're taking with us. And you can only bring uh, seven cards. And you can only bring, you have to bring uh, two, yes, two ones, two twos, two threes, and then you have to bring that zero card. So you have to bring this card no matter what. Everybody has a card similar to this. They're not all exactly the same. Then you have to choose which ones are the level one of the ones you want and which ones are the three you want. And I have to bring both of these two cards because that's all I've got right now for the blade. Now the other one though, I've got three three cards. Now if you have any that like attack multiple people, it might not be the greatest no, thing to bring they? because we're not fighting multiple people, but we do fight multiple parts of worms in theory. Um, we can do a cleaving slide, charge through. I don't think I'm gonna take that with me. I have no reason to charge through things. Um, so I'm gonna take these two. And then I've got these. Knock, weapon. And remember, knockback is useless against this Correct. guy. Correct. Hmm. I think I'm gonna take this three. This one, and then throw a weapon. Uh, throw a weapon, is that always a good thing? I don't mind watching the antics while you guys set up and probably easier for you guys. <laughs> Take a break and we aren't distracting you. No, that's totally fine. Yeah. You're you're amazing. You are all amazing. I think I'm gonna keep. Okay, my... I I know which two I'm keep. I I know which ones I'm keeping for the priest because the priest. Um, yep. I have another knockback that's not worth it. I took out the knockback, so um, I've got my seven cards for the priest plus our my two my weapon and my armor. And then for the bear, I took out one that would let it throw small oh, uh, yeah. characters. That's a good idea. Kind of useless. For throwing small characters, but I do have this looks fun primal rage two attacks, just two straight attacks oh, plus wow. three defense. Uh, and only one of these has the determination rule, sure, you know? that makes sense. Yeah, she's gonna take those two, and this will be awesome. The feral roller up to two friendly characters within range three and move up to two or gain a, is that a, yeah, an empower token. That's really then you move to. That's pretty good. And an attack that just does plus one damage. Sure, and if you just pay three enemy, plus one damage, it's not bad. Right. So it's an automatically doing one damage plus whatever you. He also has his swipe, which is very similar to the penitent, so uh, I feel good. I feel like I have a character good, that's good. similar. Happy about that. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna get rid of long shot. I'm totally kidding, 100% kidding. I love this look on your face. See, this is why I love playing games, though. I say things like that, and you're just like, what? I'm going to get rid of Longshot, the best card of the archer. Oh, my gosh. Now i got to decide between these two, though. I've got Double Stab and Ricochet. Now, Double Stabbing attacks twice, but it has to be next to him. And you have to remove the top, the, the strongest or card, Or I can right? use Ricochet, which this attack targets an additional enemy within range four of the first target. Add two damage to the attack <coughs> first target. Attack once and divide the damage equally between all targets. So I could technically target two of these pieces of worm. I'm guessing. You know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. I kind of lean towards the double attack. You used that double a few attack. times. Let's do it. All right. And it was awesome. There we go. That's what I lean towards. I'm getting rid of those two cards. All right. Trader chuckles as he drumps long shot. Yeah. Top long shot. <laughs> I love how it's not even your name. It's just Trader. 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 Yep. Trader. Hey, there what's up, go. Trader? It's <laughs> pretty good. Oh, there we so go. So a game that I'm wondering if you guys would enjoy watching us play sometime that we're going to do oh, on yeah. Monday is Star Wars Rebellion. We played one time mm -hmm. and had an absolute blast. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be a lot of fun to play that. And I'm going to need some traders to help me because uh -huh. you'll be able to so see then, what Colin's then doing. Then actually, and then you can tell. Me and then you game. can tell. <laughs> I don't mind it either. Like I said, watching while playing other games. So probably the right person to answer. That's oh okay. no, that's, that's fine. perfect. That's perfect. That's, perfect. That's, that's probably a lot of people are doing that. Okay. Okay. So the so nice thing go. is we were not ambushed. Oh my gosh! Last time we were right. ambushed. So we actually get to go first, and we get to flip the top card of this. True. Did you shuffle all these? Or I, I shuffled them, and they're ready to go. Do I believe in you? Yeah, but you can believe in the trader. Okay. <laughs> all right, so we have sense vibration at the beginning, and that is if that's drawn during the encounter phase, it targets. It's going to target the bear. Okay, okay? So that's what it's going to do. Then it's going to move six towards its target. It's going to attack up to a range. Okay, up to range three. Knock back to area of effect target. What is what is that? Can you tell me what it means when it says area of effect and then target? This attack targets all enemies within range three of the worm's head. Oh, I should I'm maybe keep, keep reading. reading. That's probably a good idea. This is all enemies within range three of the worm's head. Move three northwest. Okay, so when it says range three, it's still going to get up next to the bear. Mm -hmm. It's going to attack um, everyone within, within a range, range of three. three. Right. Okay, and then it's going to move three northwest. So it's eventually going to go so that way. So maybe we should not get close to its or, Well, no, because its head will get over there anyways. Now, remember, line of sight in this game is only blocked by terrain. Uh, and he does not need line of sight, by the way. 
Correct. Yeah. But if we're trying to do stuff, we don't have to worry about all these little dudes out here. But at any time, we can give them the, the token, right? So there are 12 civilians in the center of the map, and you may try to protect them if you wish, which, by the way, there'll be a benefit if we do. Right. Okay. Um, but can be... Uh, okay. Instead of playing an ability card on your turn, you may move an adjacent... So you have to be adjacent to one. Okay. You may move an, an adjacent civilian up to four hexes. This is free if you are a companion or, or ally. Each peasant may only be moved once per round, though. And so... I'm assuming we're just, we can just move them off the board. So anywhere off the board, instead of playing. Okay, but so can be I'm protected gonna, no. by moving them off any board edge. Yeah, you can. So any board edge, we can just get them to a board edge and. and how far off. do they move? Four. Four once per round. And so, that's that's not the, <coughs> without our turn. We're encouraging them to get off the board. Well, we're basically using Enemus to get them to do it. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. We have to spend an Enemus to do it. Now, the nice thing is um, that, I mean, there is no way that we can save all of them. And from what I understand, we can actually give one of them the sense of vibration. And then he can be worm food. Yeah, unfortunately, because it'll attack that. It's okay. Have you seen Tremors? There is a few deaths in that movie. Yeah. Worm needs, never needs line of sight. During a turn of character, choose to take the token from another character. Which, in addition, Except for the guy from Growing Pains. He was awesome. Okay, it, it sounds like anybody... You're hilarious. It, there you go. Here you go. Oh, I'm going to throw him on the ground. Can you give me another one? Let me try to find another one. There you go. Bro. It's so much fun to clean this up. Oh my gosh, there are so many tokens on the ground right now. Oh, we need defense tokens. Guess what? They're yep, on, the on the ground. I'll get them. What's your defense? Laquitter does say it gives a good representation of playing what playing is like, plus shows how gamers are alike. They throw tokens on the ground all the time. <laughs> I knocked the whole thing over. A ricochet does sound amazing. The double attack may not go through because they're weaker and the worm probably has high defense. This is true. The defense of the uh, worm is only three. It does so only I, three. I, I feel like if it was a five or a six maybe, but a three, I think he'd still do it. And Cincinnati uh, Cats says that he would love to see a game of rebellion. Oh, a game of rebellion? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so I've got defense of three on the bear, which I can't, I guess I knocked all the threes on the ground. Um, oh, I'll I, need a, I need a two and a two. Wait, seriously? You have a two and a two? What am I supposed to do? I gave we you are going to die so I hard. gave you my three, man. A three? Well, and by the way, I appreciate that. Um, I'm figuring I'm, you're going to go take a <coughs> tremor token already. Okay, I've got a three and another three. If you had an down. elephant gun, we might have a chance here. <laughs> okay, I've got two threes, and I need to find two twos. Or a gatling gun. Uh, one. And what was I going to say? Oh, yes. So, I'm sorry. Uh, let me clarify exactly what I'm doing here. So... For one up. animus, oh. I can move a dude once per turn. <laughs> you have to be adjacent to it. Gotcha. Now, I want to explain one other thing. The sense vibration. During their turn, a character can choose to take the token from another character. It doesn't sound like we need to be adjacent for that. Right. In addition, a character may force the vibration token onto a civilian when they make them move. Oh. Oh, so we can make them run away and be like, here, take this token. Take this token. Everything's <laughs> fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so totally what Colin's gonna do. Oh, I feel terrible. You're not gonna do that. You're gonna sacrifice your bear like you did the penalty. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. I could already I mean, sense on. this. It's come really on. Bad news. We're saving all twelve of these. No, Every we're single one. All no, right. we're not. no, we're not. Here's the deal. Okay, so if we look at uh, our guys here, we got well, I'm gonna have to change this. My my switcher says penitent, not anymore. <laughs> He's got his bear ready to go. And those cards over there you see off to the side, those are gonna be for our enemy. I'm gonna have Colin either take care oh. of those and watch it. If you carry it by that thing, you're gonna lose all the cards. Okay. So at oh, the so back don't of that do thing. That. I right. could take it over here if you wanted me to. You, you had it over there last time. It I worked, did. It worked I did. better, I think. Yeah, hard Grab from the bottom. There you go. There all, right. all right. All right. I'm going to take these cards over here. So to make life easier, you can use cards or yes. uh, dice. dice. But we're just going to do dice for us and cards for the enemy. Correct. Yep. So there's his bear. He's got a couple tokens on there. Not as many as we're hoping. He's going to regen six of his animus. Not all eight. He's really excited nine, about that. Nine. nine he's out of nine. control. He gets just pushed through. But we back. start with all of them. You oh, do. Right? Yeah. I think so you only get the regens, don't you? Am I wrong? Did I do it wrong? Or is that just when we got ambushed? Wait, say it again. When we got ambushed, is that why we didn't get all of our stuff back? No, we need to read this thing. Because I remember we did this wrong the last time and someone told yeah. us to do it right. So where does it say Each the character order? gains amount of animus equal to their regen value. And that's during the refresh phase. Yes. So we all start exhausted. Yes. And then he'll only gain six. Correct. One, two, three, four, Maybe five, Maybe painting six. stream on Monday. Nope, we're going to be doing the bear. We're going to be doing the bear. <laughs> Hildorf. Got, got, to, got to do the bear. 
Sorry about um, that. That's okay. Actually, it's pretty awesome. I just think it's amazing that this penitent that we were all excited. He's got, oh man, we decked out that penitent. Too. I know we did. That's we... okay though. That's okay. Um, now, the other one we got next. But it was totally thematic. I mean, True, it that was great. is what he would have done. We've got uh, the blade. Uh, the blade has his mead and his fur coat. Oh, and I have the armor in my hands because that's heirloom. how I like to do it. That's when I play them. Then yeah, the, that's yeah. totally fine. Okay, I have myself here, some, and of course, oh, do you have a mic cube for that? Oh, you already got your mic yep, cube. I got a okay. yellow mic cube. Perfect. Um, I'm going to get my six animus now. Of course, the archer does start with uh, a lot more than that. She starts with seven, which is pretty sweet, and she's got her animus. Is her thing max here. seven? Yeah. Okay. Uh, she's got a thing here that allows her if there are no enemies adjacent, battle flow one card, move companion. No, it's not a companion. Okay. Sweet. Oh, this thing gets to give me animus too. Wow, she's going to be like an animus machine here. Which would be awesome. Long shot all, the, all when day long. When you're critical during an attack that hits, gain two animus. Sweet. Okay. Perfect. Then we have our... Did I show your priest? <coughs> I didn't show your priest. No, here's my priest. Got double shields, lots of... There is walls. one good thing going on here. We all have six health. Yep. We didn't take any... After he sacrificed the bear. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Um, then we'll, then I'll paint the AVF. Yeah, for sure. And, I'm going to make him play it then. Uh, oh, yeah. This tells you your defense. So I have three, three. defense yep. based upon this armor that I have right here. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. Here we go. It. You ready? I think we're ready to rock. All right. I'm just going to do one thing real quick. Over here. There we go. Perfect. I think we're ready. Does this thing work? Yep. Perfect. All right. Good. 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 Game good. Board. Let's start it. All right. So we have each character gains an amount of enemies equal to the regen. Yep. Each character rotates all cards on cooldown position zero back yep. to their hand. Okay. Now it's the Old Sworn phase. So, what do you want to do? Kill that worm. Should I shoot it? I could probably shoot it. I mean, I think you hit it hard. And what sounds like, but this one, when you hit it, you can hit any part of it. Sweet. Um, you know, so if you hit the head, it can be any of the dice. Oh, There's gotcha. no There's no sides like or other sides side. or anything like that. Let me just front, make sure. front, front. It says. Yep. Front. Um. Let me just make sure. When damaging the worm, you may choose any die on the body part to damage before damage is drawn. Gotcha. Do not remove a body part when all of its dice are removed. Instead, it can no longer be damaged, but still acts as normal. So if we take oh, out the head... Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. But then, of course, taking <coughs> out his head means it's not going to be able to do a lot of things. Well, we can reduce its uh, attack, probably. Right. Get rid of one of those black... By the way, he's slipping too black. We've never had one slipping black. No, black's yeah. bad. Black. Okay. black is bad. <laughs> so I do have that long shot, remember, which is a really good card. It allows me to add one damage to attack for each hex range it takes to reach the target beyond four. And I get plus two range of this attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven range. So I actually have to move up. So spend one enemy. And then I have to see if I have line. I don't think I have line. I have to actually move up twice here to get to it. If you look here. Right there. So I'm right here. And now I got one, two, three, four. So now it's four. So that's not helping. And that, that long shot's no good here. Maybe if I go one down here. Now I've got a long shot. Look at that. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes, seven. Yes, Dan, we did reveal the first. We have a uh, head whip. Yes. We're going to have sense vibration, which, by the way, right now the bear has it, although he's considering giving it to a, to a civilian. Potentially. He is considering. I mean, three three armor is not, is not great. No, we don't have a lot of armor here. Yeah, move six, attack three, knock back two, area of effect. It hits everyone. This attack targets all enemies within range three of the worm's head. Yes. And then it moves three north. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, four, six, seven. So if I move just move two. Is this going to be like Star of Akarios where you're never going to know what nope, you actually Nope, never idea. <laughs> six. Do you remember how that many times? That was amazing. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go back over to my, uh, what do you call it, the archer here. We're going to spend two of our animus to move, and then I'm going to spend four, one, two, three, four, to fire off my long shot card which is going to give me two extra damage. Now, I could... Oh, no, I don't have those short bow anymore. Remember, the short bow gave me extra... I could use it to give myself well, does, extra. What does your long range... Well, what does your other bow give you? It gives me awesome. Does it give you a farther range? Because mm. it's giving you plus two range. You should probably look at what range it has. Four. Was it your other Got lucky. Four? Yep. Okay. See, you didn't have to look. I Did it give you anything else that you can... It's oh, going to be no. able to give me that animus that it's critical. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to... Now I get to remember, I get to roll these dice. And you get two yellow this time. Correct. And I'm going to target... What should I... Do? Yes, I'm closing my ass account. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I get two yellow. Yes, I'm closing my eyes to count. And then I can get as many white dice as I want, is the deal here. So I'm going to choose um, to, well, let's put this in the cooldown one spot first. So we're going to put that up there. We're going to take our card, put it right up here in our cooldown. I still cool can't believe one. it's a cooldown one. Yeah, I know. It's amazing. It's an awesome card. Five dice. I think that's pretty good. I like the yellow one. Oh, yeah, the yellow are disappearing. Do I want to empower this? Hill Dwarf is asking. Don't empower. Uh, do you have an empower token? I do have one empower token. I mean, it's really hard not to empower. I could. When you can empower. I could empower. 
Um, I've been a power token. What that means is I can uh, manipulate wait, the dice. Are you going to kill, destroy one entire die? That'd be the plan, right? Okay, if you destroy one entire die, he's going to activate. I'm not going to be able to do that. And everyone is next to the bear. Well, that's okay. If, maybe if we want to do that, but maybe we should then, if you're going to do that, we should have everyone be three away from the, the bear. bear. All yeah. right, I can do that. I can wait for, I can well, save my Well, let me four. just have the bear start way over here. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, we knew that start. he was going to start exactly. way over there. We can, right. I can start all the way over to the edge. So I can start all the way over here. Bears. So we're just going to, he's just going to be plum meat? Yeah, he, well, and then no one else gets hit. No one's within range three of that. He's the only one that gets hit for a knockback. True. Don't you think? Yeah, I oh, guess wait, wait. so. Oh, wait, wait, We're not thinking right. We're not, we're not thinking right. Kevin, good to have you here. If he, just if he just activates with being broken, the worm still Attacks targets the person, the person who, who did it. Did it. So okay, you might as well go back. back. I'm not going to break this guy, trust me. Okay, you're not? Oh, he's got so much he's health. He's got three armor. No, dude, dude, you only take out one die, you break him, right? And right. Then, okay. I have to do like 12 damage then or something. Three times six is what, 18? I could see it. Okay. okay. Colin has faith. I have faith. I'm going to use my power token. Okay, explain, explain to the awesome people. All right, ready? Let's see how I do this well. I've got red, yellow, and white dice in my bag of bagel, bagel dice. As I use this token, I can increase the power of one of these dice. So yep, I start yeah, with yellow. You. Yep, yep. Yes. you need a 18, 18 to break yep. What did I say, 19? No, you said, you said 18. Okay, right. did he was agreeing with us. Okay, so if I use a power token, you're allowed to manipulate the dice to make them more powerful. So you could take a white die, make it a yellow, red, and black. You go up three steps. Or I could take two white dice and change them to make them a white and a red by only using two like that. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Did that make sense? I followed it. Okay, I followed good. it. So we're going to use these five dice. Yep. Give it to me. Give it to me and nope, I'll keep gonna, all the I'm actually going to put it right here. I'm just going to chuck I, them on the ground. I fail, <laughs> I get my token back. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Okay. All right. So I'm going to roll my dice. I'm going to try to get them into the camera here. We'll see how this goes. Ready? All right. We're going to bang them against the back wall here. All right. Oh, wow. That was terrible. Oh, miss, Okay, so miss, I don't miss, think there's any re-roll on the plan that's going to help me with that one. Wow. One, two, three, four. You wouldn't Colin, need... why'd you have faith in my plan? Yeah. Um, so remember how I said you were... I was worried about you doing 18 damage. <laughs> I didn't do any damage. You did zero. I get my token back. And since I missed, I get to choose a token of my choice. I am going to choose... No. Oh, you got two shields. Yeah. Another empowered token? Maybe. Or a battle flow, because you can get that card back to zero then. Good. Unless you're going to play another one one. I'm not. Uh, this really made me sad. Uh, that was a terrible was, roll. I'm gonna put I think these, from now on, roll on the thumb here. I'm gonna put, I here. wish I had a dice jail like yeah. Dale does. <laughs> Dale's got a dice jail. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> a dice jail? A dice, a dice jail? Dale's got a dice jail. Oh. No, I can barely even talk. Grab a token, my man. Yes, yeah. I will grab a token. Um, Trader dice. Baron, choose a token that has a better plan on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's one at all. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? I'll the take power? the power. You need a power yeah. token. All right. Come on, the empowers are fun. Yeah, that's well. Yeah, when they roll blanks. Well, I mean, and I blame the seems roller. Seems accurate for a Baron plan. Yep, that was okay. I got another animus, so I'm going to move one. Aha! Found one. Found one to there. <laughs> I'm gonna move one to the, <laughs> the pile of tokens. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll help you pick them up. I'm so sorry. I don't care. You can choose not to roll crits if you're worried about be breaking a location. Oh, I didn't know that. You can choose not to roll crits? I thought, I thought you, had, you had to roll crits. Interesting. Awesome. I learned something every day. All right, so that was a terrible plan. Okay, so while I got one you're left. missing over there, my priest is going to play a card that I have somewhere in here, and it's this one. I'm going to put pay uh, Enemus so that I can move two for each enemies that I use instead of one, mm -hmm. uh, and it goes into my one slot. <clears throat> and so I'm going to pay one enemies, but I have to move in a straight line. Yep. One, two, and then another one to move. Oh, I think I only want to go there because then I'm going to spend an enemies and tell this guy to run, move him, move him four. I could have done that. That's okay. I did it, and I'm going to have him move. Or... Can you run right off the board? Oh, yeah, you can run right off the board. We just saved one. <laughs> <laughs> run, my man, run. We saved the dude. Oh, actually, run, my sister, run. That's right. Oh, look at how awesome she yeah. is. Yeah, look, I mean, now we have, you know, for D&D &D or something. You, we, you totally know, excited. I, Bill, you're I'm, amazing. I'm fighting, a, I'm fighting a purple worm next week in yes. Dungeons and Dragons in a, in a, in a city. In a city? <laughs> Don't tell my wife. She's probably watching. <laughs> 
because she's playing too. That is awesome. That is awesome. Okay. Then from there. Yeah, I can't attack. I'm not close enough. What else are you thinking of doing? Oh, let me check out my cards of awesome better than the one, archer. One, two, I only have two left. Do you want me to hit him one time with the priest? Because I can do that. They want to replay my scream. Don't worry, you'll get one. You'll get one. Unless you're finding finding that chocolate, you're not you know playing it. <laughs> Way to ruin the surprise. Oh. We're not fighting a purple worm. Guaranteed. Okay. Uh, as you decide what to do, I am going to um, use my priest to move yep. him two more times. One, two, uh, because range one. Am I going to be within range three of that worm head when it moves? Do more animus and the priest could save another person. Or can only do it once per turn. No. That's another that's a good point. Screw attacking. Come on. You come over here. I don't no. want to hear the screen. I'm gonna keep these two back. And I was where was I? I was right here, wasn't I? I don't know. Why don't you find out where your ship was? Oh, wait. <laughs> Guess what? I can actually retrace my steps, you man. I'm like you. Steps. I'm gonna move this guy. Wait, I'm gonna move this guy. Okay. So watch this. One, two. Then I save that one. Did you get okay. any serious villain? We will. We will. In theory. The in theory. Then I'm gonna. Well, move, I don't know. Then I'm gonna move one more, and then I'm gonna use another one to save this one, please. Ah! <laughs> and now we have two civilians saved. Yep. Okay. Um, Cluder's wondering if we get anything for saving civilians. Potentially, according to the book, it says something might happen. Yeah, I'm going to guess know. the more you save, the more they kill you. Sounds about right, Trey. Yep, that's okay. right. The rules state you may draw an additional card. Oh, okay, okay that's cool. awesome. Run, uh, Forrest, <laughs> run! Exactly, there's much rejoicing. <clears throat> I mean, we're going to save about four of them, and the other eight we're going to use as, totally. as, as fodder, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, okay, uh, the priest has two more left, but I might save that for right now, so he can regen one, two, three, four. Then he'll have all eight for his next turn. So I potentially am done with the priest, unless we want to do something else. The bear... Move two. Problem is the bear has a melee attack and he's far away. Wherever the bear is, everything around him is going to get attacked. So I can stand here and hit him with the blade. Yeah. Why don't you do that? Let me do that. Because then you're or with, not within range three. I want everyone not within range three of the bear. Yeah. Let me see if I can do that. Hmm. Let's just start him a different. Civilians? I think you meant meat shields. I, I, we, I think we were thinking meat shields here. <laughs> it says it's revealed as public info at this point. Yes, yes. Thanks, Dan. Yes, civilians, I think, yeah. Meat shields. Meat shields for sure. I don't really, actually, I don't think I can get there. Oh. Because I can go, well, here, let's. Well, you can move the tree. Okay. He's probably about <laughs> to move the tree. One, two, three, four, and a straight. Oh, I could do this. I can go like this. Okay. Here's the deal. Why is that guy got to be there? I don't know. And the, the thing is actually up its nose. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Can you do the side yeah, shot? Yeah, right there. There it is. Look at that. The, right the up his nose. Guy, that poor guy is so toast. Dude, that side shot's awesome. Which camera is that? That's this one right here. That's that one? Oh, yeah. dang. Looks so yep. cool. Oh, okay. Anyways. All right, you can go back Ball. to the overhead. Um, so I you, don't know what I'm going to do here. You can't get over there and attack? My bear can't either. I'm just thinking... Maybe we just set ourselves up here. Well, if you could move away from the bear and then let the bear run away so it can take a hit from the... Is that worth it? <coughs> I think the bear is going to play Ironhide. Okay. For his first card. That goes in the two slots. Oh, that's spot. amazing. Um, so that spends one of his six. And he can simply gain a shield from the ground. Hey, that gives him a second shield. I love it. Okay, and that goes into my two spot. Okay, then up to two friendly characters within range three. <clears throat> Am I considered a friendly character to myself? Yes. Are you sure? Maybe. What's your card say? Up to two friendly characters within range three. Move up to two or gain a... Uh, um, empower token. I could have you move too. That'd be awesome. But the problem is, is I'm still gonna do it. I'm still gonna do it. Uh, and then I can move too. Yes. I don't think I can choose myself because that has to be friendly characters. I'm not a friendly character with myself. Thank you, Ar. Does anybody know? I'd have to look real quick. Unless somebody can tell me. Uh, have a civilian go and jump up and down in the corner. I support that. Yeah. <laughs> move and save as many civilians as possible. Turn one. Yep. 
save the prisoners for a noble cause that the heroes yes you're considered a character you can target mr priest he's not you he's too far away one two three four he's too far away although i could move one and then i could actually target both of them so, let's do that yeah let's does it help keep... the priest to move to uh, I can get the priest to. You move can have over. this guy run off the board. Oh my you gosh! Can save all these people. That's a great idea. Yeah. So I'm gonna have the bear. So I'm gonna. Uh, the bear's up here. I'm gonna have the bear spend one enemus, one more enemus to move here, and then he's gonna spend three enemus to use this card. Oh what? I keep going back. I'm gonna use three enemus. I go to press the button, and all of a sudden you move your bear. Oh. Never, never. <laughs> You're just behind. Okay. Yeah. So this is going to allow. Actually, I could give him a power token, but I still think it's worth having the move too. So, <laughs> the priest will move too here. Yep. And there's a dude over there. Yep. And so the priest will use uh, one of his to save that one. Can you save that one? One, two, three. Ah! You can throw off the board. There, we <laughs> saved three. We're doing real good here. Oh my gosh, three. Three already. That's there's right. three of them. I read it as two other characters, then you, then you move too. Yeah. Right. That's kind of how I'm reading it. Your noble heart it. saving all these worm snacks. <laughs> Interesting. We, we want the benefit of the end. I'm always thinking long term. Yes, we're not talking about the priest though, um, Cincinnati Cats. We're talking about the bears. You can target yourself yep. with for the, the priest, with ability, that priest ability. But the the one It's right in front of you. Right here. Yep. This one says up to two friendly characters within range move uh, uh range three move up to two. I do not think he can target himself because he then will get to move two. So that's how I'm gonna play it at least. He spent three. Yep. So he only has one enemas left, actually. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, oh, so, wait, you know why? Yeah, no, no. That's good. That's good. Because I did three plus one is four, and I moved one, which is five. And I only had six. Perfect. So, yep. uh, Ready? Well, what else are you doing? I'm going to hit this thing. Oh, okay. Hit it now. Well, I get to move two, because you gave me the ability to move yep. two, right? So I'm going to move up two. Oh, and like my that. bear can move two. Hold on. Where do you want my bear to move to keep people out of range? Because within range three, this guy is going to uh, hit. I'm uh, I'm not sure I can answer that question. Because you don't know where the you don't know where the blade is going to be. Well, the blade's going to be right here at the end. So what if I just move the bear back here? Sure. You're still going to hit your archer. So I'm, I can move the archer one or more you know space. What? One two. Get him over here. There you go. Okay. Perfect. Good. Yeah. Yep. That's your animus. That's my. I mean, I still have one left. Okay. How'd you move back? <clears throat> so that card lets me move oh. two. I let you guys move two, and then I get to move okay, two. Okay, then you get to move two. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. Deborah FAQ, Board Game Geek, has, says covered on page eight of the rules. You do not, you do count as a friendly of yourself. I'll move north two, then use his animus to save that guy. Good work. So he's saying oh, you can God. use that. Dude, he's saying you're up here. He's yeah. saying move two, and then save that dude. But he... But then I'm going to get walloped. Yeah. And then a lot of the... Uh, I'm trying to keep them away from all those civilians right away. That's right. Because if they only take one damage, they're dead. Yep. And so if we save at least a few of these and then leave a few to help us at the uh, middle That's part. Right. Yep. All right. So, so the, now why don't you hit them? I'm going to do that. I'm going to use Charging Boar like this one. Yes. Ready? I'm ready. Move three in a straight line. If you move adjacent to an enemy that you are facing, you must stop moving. Knock back one. Can't knock this guy back. This attack only takes place this card if you used at least one move, if you moved at least one hex. But wait, wait where am I going here? Oh, I gotta go like this. I gotta go one, two to right here. There we go. And then, nope, that's not gonna do it. No, you're gonna what run did I do tree. Here? How did I do this? One, two, I thought I had this figured out. Okay, now I'm in the wrong camera, because I look like a moron. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this, because I'm gonna do it. Because you're not in okay. a straight line. We're not gonna do that. I've already moved here, though. All right, we're gonna hit them with something else. What are you gonna hit them with? I don't know. Well, just an attack. I mean, you could just do a, uh, a basic attack. Place your figure in a hand. Oh, I could jump over him. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Move two, and then... I could do that. I could jump over him. Who's right? Priest ability and bear ability can target themselves. Good, good. So we're talking about the Feral Roar. Yeah. So he could actually move up to four spaces. Yeah. <clears throat> two from targeting him itself. Okay, that's cool. Now, sadly, this would hit my friend, so I don't want to do that. How many health do these guys have? These Remember, these... they only have one. Oh, okay. That's why we were trying to save a few. Trying to save a few. Move two. I believe. Okay. I'll keep reading to make sure. So if yep. I use this... They thing... will die if they receive any damage, but can be protected by moving them off to any board wow, This guy, like, protected himself from being able to charge him. I do not like him. Well, do you want... Do you nope, want... I got a plan. Okay. Okay. 
Wait, where are you? You're over here? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to use your two to move me here. Okay. okay. Then I'm going to use roll. It's going to cost me one animus. I'm going to go over to the blade. And I'm going to use this one animus to... So they can see that. Oh, there okay. you go. And I'm going to put roll in the one slot over here. Boom. Okay? That's cool. Now, the one slot, when it's open, there is some things on the thing. It says blade stances. He's got those blade stances, which is kind of cool here. Um... If I have my ability, oh my card God. it. Oh yeah, I don't know your ability. Oh, um, I get an empower token at the start of my every encounter. <laughs> Should probably read that. Oh my God. Wow. So if there's, uh, if I have the most amount of cards in my zero position, I can choose whatever stance I want. If the most amount of cards in my one position, I am considered in the boar stance. If I have two, I'm in the viper stance. If I have three, I'm in the ox stance. So right now I'm in the boar stance. Is the deal. So I'm going to use that to move two spaces, which is going to put me one two right here, right. Now, I'm going to play my boar charge, which is going to cost me uh, three or four. 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 Charging boar. Here we go. Move three in a straight line. Now, the question, Colin, is who do I hit? Do I hit the mouth or do I hit this thing over here? I don't think it matters right now. You I think, think the matters? mouth has the, uh, you know, the head whip has the mouth symbol probably. So, we should so probably hit that. And maybe yeah. we'll get rid of one of those. Yeah. So, now I'm going to charge one, two to right here and then hit him from right there. Cool. And then because I'm in my boar stance. Do you get advantage because you're behind it? <laughs> nope. Oh, wrong game. <laughs> wrong game. Um, I add two damage because I am in my boar stance right now. Okay, so you're already at a two. Yes. And the deal with my boar, my stances, is the stance is determined before this card hits the table. So boom, just like that. Because you play it, resolve it, and then you put it in your battle flow, Correct. Right? Okay. So now I get to roll two yellow dice. I don't know why I put them back yeah, I, in the I, bag. Do you want me to so sort those out? Here, we'll take I'll take care of these while you decide which dice you want. And two white dice. Now, I could empower this. That went real good last time. I would empower it, man. Okay, okay, give me a yellow and a red die. Yellow and red, with pleasure. Here you go. So I'm going to roll these four dice this time. Because I was upgrading the two white dice to a yellow and that for one empower point, And then two more to the red die for two empower points. Or I could just empower one white one all the way to black. But I don't think that's worth it because it's still a 50-50 that you missed, right? One and three. The one and three? Okay. Cool down one position as well, right? As well. Uh, yes, you're correct because apparently I can't read numbers. <laughs> he is absolutely right. To is say, that typical? Say yeah, one. Typical. When, and then when are. I play that in number one, I'm actually going to I'm actually gonna battle flow oh, that's awesome. my get that roll back, back to my okay. zero Sweet. spot. All right, let's roll these dice and see what we get here. Boom, 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 and no way he's going to stop. That oh is way, my gosh, that's oh, way crit better. Four. A crit four. Uh, you should be able to roll that again. You should, four, five, six, seven, eight. You, you need it to get 18. To just, All right, I think yeah, I can I do it. Here we fine. go. Right, another four. Another crit four. Oh, no, three. That's three. okay. That's okay. We'll take it. So and you can, add two damage to this. Yep. So add two to it. Two, four, six, eight, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, divided by three, three is five, right? You just dealt five That's damage. hilarious. Now that's which one? Should, now, now I get to choose which, which one die? of these. No, you were supposed to choose well, beforehand. That's the terrible one to do. You were supposed all to right. choose beforehand, unfortunately, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, that doesn't matter. I, they're all. What am I doing? I don't know what you're doing. But that's, that's a cool video. Shot. Pretty, you know? All right, so here's my dice again. I got my head in the way on the last time. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I could I could choose one of those pretty much. Let's just choose this one, right? I think it's a great one. Go to zero or to one. I mean, I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm actually glad it's not zero. I think you can choose after deal damage. You might be right. It said before you have to pick. There you go. Colin says it's before. I, at least that's what. Oh, wait. Oh, it said right on this card. Uh, when damaging the word, you may choose any die in the body part to damage before damage is drawn. So Sweet. I would say you definitely have to choose. And that cost before. me four animus to do. So I did one and then two to one and four is five. The blade is done. Okay. I do both have one animus left. I could make one of these guys. Run if I want, right? So I'm a little confused with your archer. Your archer has all of her enemies in the ready position. Did Let's you forget to pay? Let's not worry about that. <laughs> I'm just trying to cheat over here. I'm, I'm looking over going, there's something wrong over there. The traitor is um, Four, having some problems. One. There we go. I should okay. have only one left. Okay, there we go. That there looks a little go. better. The archer I'm, should have one and an I've got left. one left too. And the ana she can't do anything. She could. She can move one space. I think she's doing just fine where she is. Well, she has the animus to do it because she can't do anything with it. She can't take it home. Oh, do you want to have her get farther away from that bear? I'm, I'm not sure where you're Wherever about the worm is going to go, it's within range three of the worm, right? There you go. There. Okay. Move behind. 
Okay. Hiding behind this tree, you can't see me. And then you're still by the tree, and then the worm head will be right here for her to attack. That'll be perfect. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, the other thing is I still have one for the blade. Do you want me to use the blade to... Uh, <gasps> save that guy! Save one of these guys. I Can mean, you save him? He's going to run into the wall there, but... Oh, no. One, one two. two, three, and then four is off the board. Oh, it is. Okay, let's do that. Save the I, guy. Oh, save the guy. Save the guy. <laughs> save this guy. <laughs> Kevin, so stop looking at the archer. So dead. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Hey. love it. Green tree didn't mess with that. Yeah, guy. I don't know why. The, the green, green looks green. really good on that, actually. All right, we've saved four. That was actually my goal, is to save four. So I'm yes. feeling good. All right, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Okay, let's read this. Uh, we've done all that. Now we have to draw and resolve the top card. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Sense vibration. Okay. If the stage card was drawn during the encounter phase, then whoever has the vibration token is the worm's target. If the okay, blah blah blah. The worm never needs line of sight during their turn. A character can choose to take it. Okay, blah blah. We don't have any of that. Move six towards its target. Can definitely get to me. One, two, three, four. Okay, north then west, right? Yeah. So put them in the most north and then west spot. I would say it's right here. Yep. Okay. Now it's going to attack uh, range three, knockback two. So that's funny. How does that work when I'm on? Oh you're gonna gosh. go. You're gonna go that way. <laughs> he's he's, he's, he's holding on to me. Did you see that? Yes. This is gonna be amazing. Um. So yeah, the deal is you're gonna actually go flying. Um. It's gonna make your guy. Um. Let's see. Flying. Because do I bounce off the wall? You'll bounce off the wall. So don't I, do I go this way? You will go, yes. As you get eaten here by this worm, Look you're going to go awesome that, that way. Look how awesome that looks. You're going to go that way. And they can kind of see it. Hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, yeah, you're going to yeah, get it? Yeah. Yeah, that's... What? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, too bad it's not painted. <laughs> I have to say so it. Sad. Okay, you change the camera because I'm going to move this way. All right, then before we all get dizzy. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's okay. I'll figure this out. Colin has ruined my plan here. Yes. All right. So I am I can play one card as defense, right? Gosh, the camera. I have a defense of three. Uh, and I can play one card for defense. And I'm going to play... Brian, nice to see you. Thank you for joining. First time you've seen an unpainted miniature on my table. This is true. Well, at least you wait on painting the dead bear. This, this one. That gives me four more shields. Four plus three yes. is seven. Yes, this okay? is true. So he's going to have to hit me hard. This will go in the three spot for my bear. Okay. So he's hitting me for seven. Uh, can you get two black and two red? Should I mix, shuffle them first? Well, I already shuffled them, but you can shuffle them again. No, I don't care. Two black and two what? Two red. That's, wow. Yeah, it's going to hurt, man. It's going to hurt. No. I love that. What? Okay, three. Seven. So now they don't one. crit. No, so it does just seven. He did hit me for exactly one seven. Damage. Oh, maybe I'll use one yeah, shield. Yeah, use your defense token. So I don't. I'm gonna use a shield. You can do that after the fact. I'm gonna use one shield, so I take no damage because now I'm at an eight. You round down in this game instead of up. So seven divided by eight is uh or point eight nine by seven. Or point eight. Yeah, whatever. Um, aka no, no. I don't take any damage. AKA. I just threw the shield on the ground. That was actually really. I'm gonna throw that on the ground too. Oh really? Yep. Oh, that's kind of fun. We should just have the tokens on the ground. Okay. Um. <laughs> But now I get knocked back, and so uh, how do I know which way? Do I get, because he's coming at me this way? That's the way I would do it. I bounce that one, way, one, two. two. Yeah. Now, is anybody else within range three of him? One, two, yeah, this dude. Okay, so he's super dead. He's dead. You don't even... All right, this guy's super dead. <coughs> Wait, does he get knocked back first? No. Okay. Well, right. it's a big the damage, then he gets knocked. Okay. Uh, anyone else within range three? Well, he doesn't have to target with line of sight, does he? No, no line of sight needed. So anywhere around him. One, two, yeah, that green guy over there. Oh, and you know what I'm realizing? We should have, before we forget, put the tail and move the head. Or move oh, the, so this thing goes here. Yep, yeah, and then this thing goes here. It's so cool. That's really neat. And this goes this way, right? Correct. Oh, my gosh. Can't you just see it on the board moving? That is amazing. Oh, that's oh so awesome. Okay. Can you, can you back it up a little bit so they can see? Oh, too bad the head's kind of cut off. That, that's so awesome to see the head coming through there. Oh. Yeah, there we go. All right, so uh, you're saying that he doesn't need range. If he doesn't need both. range, then that guy's dead. It said that it never needs, the worm never needs line of sight to target someone. During their turn, a character can choose, but it's an area effect attack, isn't it? The card said area of effect. Yeah. So how does area of effect work? Do you have to have... The target attacks all enemies within range three of the worm's head. So you're just gonna say he's dead. I'm gonna say he's dead. And another another yeah. civilian died. If if you're if, if, if after you're watching this beyond, after the fact, or if you're returning to see if some of this is done right, you can always check my pinned comments, and yeah, then 
other people that have been watching and have been able to help us with some of the rules that we may not exactly get right. Now it moves north, um, move three northwest. All right, one, two, three. And then I'm assuming his body is then going to go over there. And his tail comes here. <laughs> so oh, good. that's awesome. Look, now the bear's ready to just come and hack at it. Oh, this is so cool. That would be really neat. Oh my gosh. Super good. I'm really happy right now. This is super cool. I'm uh, really excited about this. All right. That's uh, the end. That was the end of this card, so we're going to discard it up into the no man's yep, land. Let's not we're going to draw that the next one. Oh my gosh, lots of words. Oh, thank Remove you. the worm head from the game board. Move the other body parts as usual. The worm target, the worms target, and all O swarm within range three perform a survival check. Difficulty six. Any that fail lose one health. All non player owned characters within range three die. <coughs> Place the worm head on the target's hex, pushing back all enemies. Okay, let me make sure I understand this. I keep him here. Sense vibration, so it's going to determine the target. Right now, it'd still be the bear. bear. Okay. Remove the worm's head from the game board. Move the other body parts as usual. The worm's target and all O swarm within range three perform a survival check, difficulty six. Any that fail lose one health. All non player owned characters within range three die. Place the worm's head on the target's hex, pushing back all enemies. So, no one wants to be within range three of the bear. Again. No, because he's like coming up from the ground. And that this is, is so deal, cool. Right? Yep. That's what's kind of telling so, you. So it's a sinkhole. Yeah. 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 He's um, creating he's a sinkhole. He's going under and then he's coming up from underneath. So my question now is, should I give it to one of the civilians? We can give it to that guy up there. Exactly. And try, what if well, he runs off the board? One, two, three. Well, he would kill all these two more civilians or we can try and save them. Let's save them. By <coughs> this. Why don't you go one, here and two, attack three. this thing? Oh, this guy can get off. One, two, three, four. He can get off. Yeah. Why don't you just run up well, here and hit this? Okay. Uh, let's first gen our enemies. That's two, right. Four, six, and two. That four, bug is huge. It is not six. a bug. It's a giant worm. Bill, your painting, spot, just spot on. Love, Unbelievable. I love the blue color. And, you know, seeing the wrinkles on there and then the blood within it. And the blood and, within these things. It's yeah, just amazing. It's, it's, these it's things, the wrinkles. so Super good. good. Oh, love yeah. it. All right. So the bear, you think the bear should attack? Why not? Well, I mean, they can stay right here, and then nothing else around them is going to get hit because we can hit these other parts, right? Yeah. Baron's a genius. I could do, yeah. Don't quit your day job. Nope. Um, <laughs> okay, wait. Let's start. Let's go with turnover. All right, encounter phase is done. End of round. Yeah, Occasionally, where certain effects trigger. No. Each character regains the amount of animus equal to regen, so I'm going to get six, two, oh. Dude, I did that about a half an hour ago. Six. Where have you been? Let's not worry about that. <laughs> Think about how much of a genius I am. All right, then we're going to... Anything you have in zero is going to come back to your hand. As he's doing all of that, I'm going to have my bear move one. Then to get up next to this guy. Okay. And then I'm going to use Primal Rage. Oh, my gosh. Cost amazing. four. One, two, three, four. But this allows me to do two attacks. Only one can trigger the term determination rule. Okay. Bill says the best is yet to come. Well, yeah. His favorite is five. Is it five? And and I think he said he really liked ten, too. All right. So this is a two. This will go into my two slot, which will push down my two card here to the one. Twitter says I actually regen my range about a half hour ago. <laughs> because I never do with the sticks. Whatever. Oh, yes. <laughs> there's all this stuff. That, okay. That's right. That's right. He had regenerated already. We all didn't right, even know yeah. it. Um, so I'm going to do two separate attacks. Okay. Uh, one attack I'm definitely going to empower. I have a yellow. And, uh, okay, should I break it? Should I break? No, no, I'm not breaking because this is the ladies. body. This yeah. is the body. So I would have a yellow normally. And so I'm going to upgrade uh, that yellow to a red for one upgrade. I'm going to upgrade two more whites to a yellow. So these ones. And then I'm going to add... Two whites. You what told do you me think never of that? roll five. I never told you to never roll okay. five. Do you want me not to roll five? No, I think five is perfect. Okay, good. I do have two re no, I only have one re-roll token. Keep that out so I don't lose it. Yeah. Come on. Oh, I've got to pick one. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna pick the, the top one of the middle belly. The top of the belly. Top of the belly. I'm hitting it hard. I'm hardly hitting it. You didn't hit it. I hardly hit it at is all. Is it even worth using a re-roll on uh, that? No. I mean I well, if I had one re-roll. I would need to use two, and I only I only have one. So I'm going to get that token back, then empower right back, and I'm going to get... And since you missed, you do get to do at least one time the determination roll. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I can use it this time, and mm-hmm. I'm going to gain another reroll. So then I'm going to attack a second time mm-hmm. using the empower token, but this time I have to lose that empower token no matter what, right? Uh, yes. Yep. Because even if I fail, I only get to use that determination rule one time. Correct. Yep. Okay. Same dice set, or should I lose one white die? Lose a white die. At lose this point, we're just looking for damage. Yeah. Exactly. I think we're we're getting too greedy. We're getting too greedy. You just love my roll so much that. Oh, that's sad. Oh, two well, misses. So I'm gonna use a reroll. I'm gonna use one of my rerolls to reroll this yellow. And I'm gonna use a reroll. Reroll my yellow. Oh, okay. Two, four, five. That's only doing one damage. All of that from one damage. Nothing I can do. All right. right? One damage from top belly. Two, four, five. Yep. Yeah. Top belly. That. that was terrible, man. I'm so sorry. Okay. You, the archer has, did just as good. Well, I'm ticked at it. I'm trying to see if I have one more attack I can do. I do. I'm just going to bite it. Well, let's see. I need to make sure I have enough armor, though, for him to attack me. Because he's going to attack me, right? <laughs> While you're thinking that, I'm going to move two over to here with my archer. We're going back over here now. I'm moving two to move over here. Watch this. Then I'm going to play my double stab card. Stab it twice! Stab the head! Spend three, or three animus. Ooh, are you going to try and take out its head, though? Or, I don't take know out I, one of the I dice? thought we were just doing more damage on I'm the fine die. with that. I'm that fine with that. I don't know if I want her to be the one yeah. attack. So it's going to cost me three animus to do that. Greetings, Steve! Steve! Good to see you! You are starting your streak yet again. Oh, did he miss he one? He missed a painting one oh, yesterday. Man. But I had it a different time, so it's okay. different. Two attacks include two rerolls for one damage is <laughs> really calling. I, I know. I don't know that it's okay. Uh, I'm just starting off. It's a new character. I we haven't learned to right. synergize yet. Synergize I understand. Together. You know, if that was the penitent, it would have done eight damage. But you know, that was pretty bad. Okay. So Baron's gonna remember all his cards. Okay. As you remember all your cards. Forgot this one. If there are no enemies, adjacent battle flow one card once. I should, oh, but I, could, I, would, I have to choose to do that. So never mind. It doesn't happen. I got to choose to do that. I could have battle flowed my long shot. But that's okay. We're going to double stab this guy this time. Well, because that'll push down it It'll anyways. Push down my this card to here. And that goes there. And now we'll dabble stab. The dabble stab. I'm going to dabble stab. And dabble stab. He's going to attack. A target must be adjacent to the enemy. Ignore the highest numbered might card for each attack. Only one of these attacks can trigger the determination rule attack has the same might as your bow. So I get to use two white, yellow automatically. Okay. And then if I want to, I can empower these, but really worth it? I got well, two empower tokens. Use one. Why not? Well, you're gonna lose the highest how did which why one? Why don't I just use? why don't I empower red and yellow? There we go. That roll. What's the worst thing to happen? My, okay. my red one rolls a four. You just so whatever highest number, not the highest um, colored die. It's the highest number you Correct. have to remove. Um, ignore the highest numbered might card. Okay. Yep. So we're gonna roll these four and see how it goes here. Time to start streaking again. <laughs> okay, we're doing super good. Oh my gosh, dude! How do we keep missing? We're all good. All right. Um. Let's see here. I got a reroll token. Do you think I should use it? Yeah, or definitely I... use it. Or I could use the determination rule on this one. Why don't you use the termination okay. on this? And do you want to get a reroll token? Um, I got two of those already. Why don't I grab another? Yeah, why not? Reroll tokens are nice. Reroll? Yeah, give me a reroll. So many tokens out of control. Now, remember, you lose all these tokens if you don't use them in, during the uh, game. Okay. Just getting warmed up. It's no Zaya. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, yes, Steve. Yes, I know. It starts again. It starts again. That sounded a lot better in my head. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do the same roll again. Let's see how this goes this time. This is your second attack. This is the second attack. And this is a little better. That is a lot better. Okay. Now you have you to, to lose re- this three, though. Can you lose Not, this yeah, three? No, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. You mean the yeah. day. And you need... Well, just re-roll this now. Yeah, I'm going to use yours. Oh, okay. Mine are really terrible. But here you go. Hit. Ooh. Another two. That right. works. So then here we are with this attack. Three, four, five, six, seven divided by three is two, right? Two. Round Boom. it down. It's two. So I'm going to target a place we haven't hit yet, so I'm going to just go to this one. I should Down be saying before, but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. We had already said that we were going to hit one of the other ones. This one is going to go away because I used it. I'll throw it on the ground. Throw it on the ground. Woo! It's that's much the fun. end of the archer. She does have one more animus if she wants to use it. While you're deciding that, but the, we're priest, hold the priest would right like now. to do something quick. Sure. Two animus. One to move one adjacent to that civilian, and the other one to save it. Up, Up here. There. Make it run away. Thank you! Woo! <laughs> there it goes. And we have now saved five. Five. That's awesome. Uh, 
the uh, priest. One, two, so I'm within range two of the guy. You want to see a trick? Yeah, I'd love to okay. see a trick. You want to see a trick? Here's a trick. I like this trick. One of my favorite. I don't know what it is. <coughs> I love this this card. I am going to play this. Pay one animus. The battle flow one card. So I'm going to battle flow this one to here. Now when that battle flows there, I'm now going to drop this on my zero. So that means this card now comes back to my hand. Which then... I can now play for four. Nice. This is going to be pretty good. Watch this. Move three in a straight line. I'm going to charge the head again. Aren't you going to miss it in a straight line? One, two, three. It's right here. Oh, you can stop? You don't yeah, have to. Yeah, you okay. don't have to run into it. Okay. It's just if you stop adjacent to it. Um, move three in a straight line. You, If you move adjacent to an enemy that you're facing, you must stop moving. Okay. And that's the deal. So I guess I probably have to stop right here. I'm adjacent right at that moment. Okay. Cool. Cool. Now I'm going to hit him. I'm going to use my not in power token. You don't have any in power? No, I have one. But that's okay. I'm going to use two. I'm going to hit the same place the archer did. That's the deal. That was worth it. The archer is the hero. See? <laughs> Kevin's on my side. <laughs> Kevin's on my side. Don't give him anything. All right, let's see what we do here. We got... Oh, we got sadness as it rolled off the board. That's terrible. Do you have any... I got some reroll. I can reroll. Yeah, use Why not? one. We'll use a reroll. Reroll that here. yellow. Yeah. Here we go. Come on. Be a crit. It didn't even roll, it's plopped. <laughs> yeah, it did just plop. Do you have any others? Or no? I do. Do you want me to use one? Ah, it just seems I'm expensive. I'm using all my tokens here. I know, but we'll somehow get them back. There we go. Two, four, six. That's, two, that's two damage. That's he has two three damage. defense. So I'm going to go down to two on this one. You really got to tell him which one you're attacking. I did. I said so the same one of the archer. Oh, you did say it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to lose both these tokens, though. We don't, we don't need them. We oh, that's them. right. Wait a whole second. I can what? pick boar stance for extra damage. Thank you. So I did two, four, six, eight divided by three is one still, more. No, it's still six, no, right? It's still six. That's yeah, you need nine. You need, you know. Yeah. But yes, thank you. Thank you, Liquider. I could have picked boar stance. And I was actually in boar. I could have picked boar stance because uh, that's another thing I want to mention with the blade. Super cool is the fact that if you have cards in equal amount of them, you can choose whichever one you want to have that has the equal amount of them. So since they both have one, I could choose this one to be any stance I want. Um, the extra two doesn't help me, though. The same. That's the same. Yep, that's the same. Thanks, Kevin. I failed. I need to do better. Oh, what do you got over there? Well, my priest... Can you move the priest two spaces? I'll use two of his... All right, enemies. sounds good. I'll just go ahead and hide behind this rock here. No, you want to move over here? Oh, no, I want to attack. I'm going to do one attack. Because I've got three enemies left. This uh, poor boar bear over there. He's like, hey guys, what are you doing? Rush at this head. Oh, don't worry. I got my turbo token. I'm going to get out of here. here. We're, we're a little busy. <laughs> um, I'm going to use the other three to play uh, this one. Lay, lay on land, hands, but instead of laying on the hands, I'm going to lay on the uh, attack. You're going to lay on the attack? Yeah. I'm going to use all three. So that's the last three. I'm going to attack him. Uh, and this is his head, right? Yes. You're going to be attacking his head. So you've got a two and a one. Should I go for that last six? Do you want to take it? I mean, it, that means he's a turning and attacking the priest, and we're all no, right I'm there. I'm saying, should I attack the last oh, six? Oh, the last six. Yes, yes. yes. So I'm attacking the, the last six, six. So I get one red and two whites. You did really well. Dealt four damage in the last two minutes. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, that's because good. you're doing it. Yeah. I'm going to use an empower token Sure. to empower. So I have three yellows Okay. and one red. Is that a good idea? Why yeah. not? What does your weapon do? My weapon, that's this guy. During an attack, redraw a blank. So I can play that if I need to, right? Yes. I can redraw a blank. So I can reroll. Is it a blank. white one or just any blank? <clears throat> it says a white blank. It's a white blank then. So, so then I have You can't do it. Because you have yellows and reds. I change. No, that's fine. No, okay. Big deal. All right, that's all right. We'll do, we'll do it later. Instead, I'm just going to get some really good crits here. Now, that's nice. Nine damage. That's. um. Uh, nine damage. That's uh, uh three damage. Three damage. Yeah. So we have uh, our front head is at one, three, and two. Which that's actually we're, feeling we're, we're, really we're good. Pretty good here. We got yeah. one, three, and two on those guys. And we saved five civilians. I think we're done saving civilians. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I think the bear can take one more hit. The bear could attack, 
But then he has only defenses of two, again, plus his three, so it's only five. No, he's got to save it. Um, the one that I have in my hand is a defense of three. Or I could attack it one more time. Mm. I could attack it, too. But then I'd trigger this thing. Oh, because you're attacking the head? Yeah. You could hit the three. You're really going to deal nine damage? If you can attack again, especially with the... With the uh, no, I'm going to hold him. With the archer, can you do anything? Because you're going to... You're archer has in. one. I could... No, I can't use that. Um, no, I can't. I don't have any way to get animus back because I'm next to an enemy, so I can't use my card. He's going to use lay on hands with his sword to the enemy's head. That's what he that. did. Steve did it. Lay on oh, hands. I love it. Colin needs to redeem his... I did a little bit. I did three damage yep, there. Yeah, he did. Who's, Who's holding, holding the vibration? Uh, the bear. The, the bear, bear has it. right here. Um, and nobody's within range three That's of right. the bear, which is why... Welcome we to the party, know. Barry. <laughs> here holding the vibrating stone for me. Here holding the vibrating stone for me. <laughs> yes. Well, don't worry. We sacrificed the penitent, but now you're here. We'll you're just here. use you as the, the, the fodder. Awesome. I mean, oh that's that's pretty much what we're doing. Well, I think I'm going to hold on doing anything with the with the bear then. Okay. So are you done? I'm done. Okay. So, sense vibration. I can sense where he is. You can throw us in there. Did you hit? Oh, yeah. I hit. I did nine damage. Okay. Uh... Remove the worm's head from the game board. So remove from the game board. Mm, so and then we're going to move this to here because that's super awesome how this works. And this goes to here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the worm targets the worm targets an oh one within range three. Perform a survival check. So I need to have him do a survival check. Do I get the reroll because we have that as a upgrade on our thing? Yes. Okay. So I can only use white dice for that. Correct, because you don't have anything that's like helping upgrade your survival check. Four. Sure. Dice. How much do you need? Six? Good Two, four, you. six. Five dice? Yeah. I think I gotta do five. I get one reroll. I'm probably gonna fail on this one. No way. You're not this is this this card isn't built for you to fail. Okay, so how about a one and a two? Uh so I'll reroll that. I think you only reroll one die. I only reroll one die. I don't know why I thought I would reroll. Well, <laughs> look at that! Well, why did I roll that? Two, rolled. four, five, six, seven. No, I, you I, fail. I fail. <clears throat> what does it say? Uh, it says you take one damage. Oh, so I just only take a damage. Yep. So I'm down to five. Okay. Um, any that okay? All non-player owned characters within range three die, and there aren't any within range three, right? Let me move this card. Uh, right. range three of me, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. That's why we did that. Right? Yep. Okay. Um, place the worm's head on the target hex. So you have to place it here, and you're going to push all enemies. So he's going to get pushed back to here, and it's going to fit right here. He's eating his tail. No, there we go. Yeah, he's going to face right, right there, right? No, right there. But then the tree can't fit. You don't think the tree can fit? He's the tree's like, broken. He okay. breaks the tree. He breaks the tree. And he's basically mine the bear. <laughs> yes, that's the deal. Um, pushing back all enemies. But when you get pushed back from that, you don't take damage, right? Correct. Okay. That was card number two. Here's card number three. Sinkhole. We just did that one. So he's going to do it again. Okay. There you go. That's Sinkhole. Awesome. All right. We're going to refill our animus then. Oh, wait, I've got one more Animus with us two later or whatever. Yeah, that was okay. like a long time ago. Yeah, man. I failed. Okay. Uh, now, yep, we'll just refill Animus. Animus, two, four, six. Archer's going to get seven. Two, four, He's going to get six. six. Two, and four, six. That's it. And then we do a battle flow. I still don't have anything in my zero. I get my zeros back. What's my other one? This and she's going to get her long shot back. So we're good. Okay, so I'm going to start with the bear on the head. Uh, what if we... Oh, you want to hit it and kill it? Yeah, we'll yeah totally fine. Well, but within range... Don't worry that, about it. That means those two... Oh, darn. Those two civilians die. Oh, darn. You I know, could save one more by going here and spending one, two, three, and he could escape. Can we save one more? Let me just lost four civilians. It's only going to... One, two, three. It's not going to hit these. So you're just saying, let these guys go. Yeah, you just, know, they're wearing poncho, white, like these white poncho things. They, kind they of, do. <laughs> not going to make it. Yeah. By the way, Baron, I was the associate producer of Dream, Draconis Cult of the Worm on oh Dreamcast gosh. 1999. Dreamcast, awesome. that bring back memories. I had Dreamcast. But... That's cool. Not for long, right? I uh, got rid of it. 
So let me make sure I understand. If I do my swipe, mm -hmm. which I really want to do because these are going to get these three cards back down okay. here. Um, and it's targeting... Oh, it's only targeting one hex. If I can get that attack to target two hexes mm -hmm. of him, does it add plus one yep. damage? Plus one damage. Okay. Why don't you move your uh, dude to here? Um, and then you hit that one and that one and that one. What if Raise I just moved it one space to here? Would I hit? Sure, and then he would hit all those guys up in the top there. Oh, because it's within range three of me. Yeah. See, Dan agrees for once. Go for the worm. Okay, I'm gonna Civilians do Civilians knew the risk when they got lost in the deadly giant worm infestation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna spend two to go here. All right. Okay. Oh, yep. I still have my bite in my hand. So he's right there. Okay. I am then gonna spend one, two, three, four okay. to do a swipe. Swipe. Now, are you swipe going at to... Face. Which part are you going to swipe? Uh, well, it's got to be his face. So... Yep. What happens if I do two dice? If I knock down two dice, just out of curiosity? You can only target oh, one. Oh, I can only target one. Yeah. So I might as well target the highest one, three. Because three. if I happen to not take it out, then fine. Yep. Okay. Okay. This is going in my one slot, which is then going to push these ones down, which is what I was looking for. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I see my downfall of my setting up the characters now. What? I didn't realize... I don't have enough room between the two and the one. No, that's okay. Don't worry. Uh, oh, these are all here. Yeah, I had two left. So I have one auto, one one auto hit with this, right? I don't know. Yeah, oh, because I'm plus one two. damage. Plus yes. one damage. Sorry, one Barrett's plus one plan damage. Is solid. What am I saying? That's right, Kevin. Solid. Should I do four or just three dice? Maybe I'll just do three. No, four. You have to do three damage. So you got to do three, six, nine damage. I'm not gonna. I'm, like I said, I don't think I'm actually gonna kill. But we want you to. I know. Well, so then should I just do the one? Go after the two. You think I'm going to do six damage with these things? I have faith. Six damage? Dude, that'd be a three, a two, a two, or a three, a two, and two ones. Should I just target the one? Mm -hmm. and I, if I target the one, I could just do three dice. You know you can roll like three crits then. <sighs> I love this game. Do you have? Zero. That'd be zero. That would be that'd zero. That'd be zero, Bob. That, I got zero. Z zero, zero of them. All right. So then, why don't you just roll four dice? Go for the third two. I think you should go okay, for the two. Go for the two. If two. I don't take it out, I don't take yeah, it there out. There you go. There. There you go. Look at that. One, two, three. I dealt one damage. Put it down to a one. But you said you could bite it, right? Uh. Let's see. I have two enemies left. I could bite it. Bite it. But then it's going to attack me, and I have no additional shields because um i didn't no crit shields. oh by the way i should have added one to that but i was still only that was four i had all ones right so yeah. that's four damage five. one more is five i was one away you could doing use a reroll token that you don't have i could use this battle flow token to battle flow my defense card of three into my hand right yeah that will work so i'm going to battle flow this card back into my hand so that way i have some defense that then I can play Bite, which costs just two enemies. Yeah. And I can attack. That's my last two. And that will push this three down to a two, which is nice. And I'm going to bite him. And so <coughs> I get one yellow and I think just two whites, right? And you should go for the one the ones. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go for the top one. Defense go won't help with sinkhole. He's going to take one damage no matter what. Oh, that's a good point. He does have a good point. So maybe I should keep just... Keep your card up there. Yeah, yeah. Use your keep... token. Thank you so much. You know, you guys are awesome. You... There is one yeah. small problem what? with Laquitter's Liquid... plan here. What? You're going to break the location. You still have the Tremor token, and yes, he's right. You're going to take one damage from that, but we do not know what the next card is. And that's going to be the one that's going to happen unless... Well, we can but make you guys it... are going to... Oh, we're going to do something. And we can always give... If you guys are... Yep, so close to each other. Uh, let's see. During their turn, a character can choose to take the token from another character if they wish. So you guys could take it. I don't even it have from to me. be there. Okay. Yeah. yeah you don't have it. to be adjacent. Totally fine. <coughs> so I'm going to get my battle flow token back. Yep. Get your battle flow token back. Okay. Flow, flow. I flow. just need to do a three points of damage here with three dice. You can do it, man. I have no rerolls. So it is what it is. It is. It is. Three damage. What it is. Two plus one is three. Boom. <gasps> so we're going to take this one off. So here's the deal. We decided we we're going to take the front one off because we're guessing this is the good one. I don't know, though. 
Yep, that's a good one. Okay, that is a good one. Actually, that's a really good one because that means that it'll reduce one black when it uses yes. his mouth to attack. His mouth right? to attack. Okay. Correct. Uh, but now he is going to activate Correct. targeting the bear. Where's yep, the where's card? Where's your card? Where'd you have it? What'd you do then? I didn't do anything with it. Did I put it in my stack of cards? <laughs> did I do something with it? I said I didn't do anything with it, but maybe I did. How come we? All right. So I found sinkhole. That's right there. Uh, wait, How many here. number one cards are there? There should be five. Did we flip it back over? Because there's three left here and there's two up there, isn't there? Or is there only one? Yep, we flipped it. Here it is. Okay. So sound vibration. Now the fun begins. Crunch roll there. Clutch roll. Yeah, that Clutch roll barely, pass. barely worked, but it worked. Uh, remove the worm's head. So remove the head, put the fate and put the body there. And then put that there. And then uh, I am going to have my survival check of six. Yep. Okay. I'm going to roll five of these. With, I get one reroll. One reroll, not the whole set of dice. But if I get a crit, I can actually roll more yeah, dice. You can roll if more I can dice, actually man. freaking roll a crit one of these days. You got that. Oh, two yeah, of two of them. Two, four, two, six. You don't need this. I don't even need, need them. them now. That's great. Huh, I survived. So what does that mean? Nothing. You're saying no damage. But everybody within three of you, one, two, three, nobody's within three now. Yeah. One, two, three. So then does he just end right here on my six? Well, you, where do you don't where do you end up? Do you <coughs> I don't get moved, right? Oh, on the target's hex. So how so does he break this? Yeah. He breaks this. He goes there, and I get pushed to here. Correct. Something like that. Yeah, there wow, we're... look at that. Holy you are stuck. He is eating me alive. Oh, and by the way, you know how much Animus I have left? Uh, zero. Oh, and we get to flip the next card up, right? Yep. Ooh, consume. That sounds brutal. The target is consumed. If they have the vibration, they're going to give it to the closest Ostorm. The target is now in the worm's belly. At the start of each Ostorm Storm and the encounter phase, the consumed loses one health. What? What does consumed mean? Okay, the target is consumed. If they have the vibration token, give it to the closest also. The target is now in the worm's belly. At the start of each O sworn and encounter phase, the consumed loses one health. Move three northeast. I think it's just gonna be bad news city for you. Um, someone else is taking my token. That's what you were gonna do, remember? Yep, totally gonna take it. <laughs> Bears gonna be lunch. Oh wow, seriously? Consumed. Oh, there's a consumed rule. Okay, read what the consumed means. I, I honestly didn't think we'd be having to worry about consumed. <laughs> All right. When a character is consumed, they are not removed. They are removed from the board. They may not move or play injury ability or item cards on their turn. Instead, once per turn, the character may spend three animus. One, if they are not, if they are a companion, to attack the location they are in. No ability card is required. They may use combat tokens and still gain might and defense from item card stats. The consumed character cannot be the target of an attack, even those caused by a reaction. All consumed effects have an effect that triggers at the start of your sworn and in counter phase. Consumed characters are no longer consumed. If all hit point dice at the location the character is in are broken. That's amazing. You guys have to break me out. I'm actually, I have a genius idea. He takes one damage each time. I'm gonna have the priest take the the, the vibration token. Okay. Why not? He gets, right? He'll technically take ten of two each turn. He'll take one of the oath sworn turn and then one of the encounter turn. But then he'll heal one. But he will be able to heal. So he'll only take one sure. turn once now, he gets down to three. What part of the body is consuming you? The target is consumed. Because we have to. It kill... says in the worm's belly. Oh, oh dang okay. It. So Sorry. that's fine. So that means that it has to be... It's the belly, the thing that we've hit one time. Oh my gosh, it's we're literally the thing so that we've hit one bad. Time. Okay, wow. Okay, yummy bear, eaten. That's this, yes, we're going to eat the bear. You're literally the worm's belly and you need to fight your way out. That's awesome. I think there's a consumed... Yeah, we did. Thank you very much, Toby. Yes, it made a lot of sense. The rules are in this game are fantastic. Break all the dice or do six damage to that body part. I have to do six damage. Where was that? Deal six damage? I bet that was like the last sentence that I didn't read. Okay. Well, you didn't read the whole thing? Let's, let's not worry about what I do. You didn't read the... <laughs> the uh, learning games with Barrett is very interesting. We'll just put it that way. All right, if all the hit point dice at the location of the character in are broken or that location lost six hit points since the character was consumed, crack it on a six-sided dice. So we just have to do six dice points damage to the belly. The belly in total, six points. Yes. We don't have to break every single die. 
Okay. Baron's holding back. Uh, that's pretty typical. Always. So when always. we played Star of Icarios. Always. Always holding back. <laughs> there were so many things. Oh, man, I love it. I it was so it. good. It was so good. Now, I don't blame you for not knowing what consumed meant, because right. why would you know that? Oh, okay. Um, so it's my turn. Well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the bear give the uh, token to the priest. Okay. So that way the priest is going to be the one that's going to get consumed. Well, then here's the deal. I don't... Okay. I know there are more cards that I have in my deck, but this is just such an awesome combo. <laughs> I don't see why I don't do this. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play one to battle flow this card down to here, right? Pick it up into my hand again. This can this card. Then I'm gonna play one card to. I mean, <coughs> people aren't really seeing a lot of what this guy does. I can move two. I'm gonna pay one to move two. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna hit that belly. One two. I'm gonna go hit that thing, right? Wait, don't you want to wait till I'm in it? Because then when I'm if in it... If we just take the whole thing out... Well, that's true, but you've got to... Okay. Well, what if I, like, smash, like, some of these dice up real good? Uh, it's up to you. Whatever. I was just thinking, if you don't want to waste your movement, start hitting... What, you're already right next to the tail. Just hit it? Just start hitting it. Okay. We'll get to the belly when we Sounds get to like the Sounds like a good idea. How many locations need to be broken to move to stage two? Uh, three dice. Three dice. So we've only done one so he far. He hasn't consumed yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'll finish watching at the work tomorrow. Good luck. Beware of Baron's brutal betrayals. That's right. You. Good were... luck. Beware of brutal or uh, Baron's, Baron's brutal, brutal, brutal betrayals. betrayals. Oh my gosh, the the that four bees. Good. Technically, four you bees. can't be eaten if there's no belly. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I was thinking. Well, that is true, but are you going to really deal 18 plus 18 plus 15 damage? I am the blade. Okay, I mean, if you I don't feel know, like... I, don't, I have no idea what that even meant. <laughs> <laughs> you, I just think we hammer the tail right now, because all we're, right. we're all standing right next to it. Sure. So let's get some damage done on that thing. All right, then I'm not going to do any of what I just did. I'm going to keep my one animus over here. Figure out something. Oh, I could, I could long shot the belly. I could long shot the head and just let, the, let him eat you. If I break it, it's gonna it's gonna do its thing. And yeah, and then we could go. And for then the, I can go for the belly. Yeah. Like well, then, the belly will move to here. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Okay. Actually, well, no, no, no. Why don't you let me attack then first? Because okay. once I'm in the belly, all I can do, and I've got all my enemies. Sure. You know what I mean. Fire. So let let me go first. Let me see what I want to do. Unless I want to attack on the inside of the belly, because I can. You what can did it that. say? Can I only attack one time? Did it say? Yes. You need to fully understand consume. Don't worry, Colin. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah. He's going to have 51 points. Yes, it's when it has to complicate a question, answer. <laughs> I, I am, am the blade. blade. Yeah, that's, yeah, I thought that, that was pretty typical. good. I asked Baron, uh, how, do you, how is um, range count in this one? It's kind of like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Mm. Not my favorite. Okay. Um, a consume character. Oh, wait. Uh, they may not move or play injury cards uh, to attack location. I can't play ability cards? No. Okay. Once per turn, the character may spend three animus okay. to attack the location they are in. No ability cards required. They may use combat tokens and still gain might and defense from any item stats card. Okay. Zoom character cannot be the target of any yeah. attack. So it sounds like to me I should do an attack and leave three animus left so I can do an attack yeah. from the inside of the belly. You should right? check to see if the pennant's in the belly. <laughs> Hashtag too soon. Oh, that was <laughs> awesome. Oh, my God. You know so what? Good. You know what's in there? All of his armor. I'm going to get all of his oh, weapons that's back. that's not a bad idea. But that, yeah. that'd, that'd be fantastic oh. at the end of the turn. Sadly, we covered up our special item. Oh, dang it. Yeah. Okay. okay, go get him. So this is going to allow me... I want to have three remaining in here. So that gives me three enemies to play with. So I let's love how see. we stopped saving the dudes. We saved a lot We of did them. fantastic, I think. All of mine only cost two, actually, right now that I have in my hand. So what do I want to battle flow? My... This gives defense. This is not... I'm going to do this one. So this one here, it only costs two enemies to use the attack. Uh, and I am going to then battle flow for two. That will then move this one down to one, which is nice. <coughs> I have a red... And I'm going to do, uh, so I'm attacking the tail, right? Yes. I'm going to do a red and two whites or three whites. I can re-roll one white with this, and I have two re-rolls. I'm going to do three whites. Okay. Now, Yeah. Um, we have to choose what, we want to do the top one or the left or right? Oh, top one. Top. top. I always like the top one. I like top one. This one is not, 
What destroyed that stone? That's the, oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, there should was, be an okay. image in the storybook. Oh, did I miss that? I'm, did I miss? I'll look. I'll, I'll look. I want to see what that looks like. I'm gonna roll this. Oh, I almost missed. You almost missed. Three, four, five, six. That's actually perfect. I did two dam two damage. Two damage to the top one. Okay. Okay, it's at four. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start using that at work. I'm the blade. What could go wrong? <laughs> I love that. That's what I'm gonna do too tomorrow. Refresh. Battle. Thank you, Toby. That's awesome. The worm is not what destroyed, but stone. It should be an image. Of what it destroyed. Oh. The image looks a lot like Barrent in the morning. Thanks. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say my favorite part. Oh, did I have a blank white die? I did. But, Probably. But I, it doesn't matter. It's too late now. Too late. Um, I think, yeah. I, I mean, I have four enemies left. I'll have, to, I'll have one extra, but that's okay. I'll just leave it like that. Why don't you try and take out something so that I get eaten? Okay. Wait a second. That's not true. This is going to target whoever breaks it. It's not going to target the person with the vibra vibranium. Vibration. Vibranium? The vibranium. That'd be awesome. We should have thought about that. You should have thought about that. Right? Because... Uh, That's okay. Because we're going to... We're still going to... Okay, now I got a plan. Why don't we have the archer take it out? And then the blade can come and save the day. Okay. If you're... I mean... If you're okay I've got a plan. Eaten, you ready? Uh, you do it while I look at this picture. <laughs> Everybody laughs. That's pretty uh, awesome. Fred yeah. Seaman here laughing at me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, too much fun. Okay. I've got a plan. It's um, in the story, but oh, here it is, you guys. Holy Hannah Banana. Oh that is what destroyed everything in the city. That's out See of that? control. Yeah, so we're not even fighting that. We're we're just fighting the war. We're fighting his friend. Yeah. His... We're fighting his friend. This is his um his cousin once removed. That's right. Okay. So let's see. I'm gonna put the right cards in the right group. That's generally a good idea. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay. So I've got this card. Three cards. Who are you playing? The archer. Uh, oh, here's the rest of the archer cards. There we go. One, two, three. Oh, sorry. Oh. Are, are you cheating over there? Trying. Are those the three extra cards? Don't worry about it. Put those over there. <laughs> My plan was gonna be super good. Not anymore. <laughs> Did you also take the two health off the belly on the monster board? I know you tracked uh, that. I Did you also take the two, two health off the, the belly C6. on the monster board? What does he mean? I don't know. Nobody's in the belly yet. Is that. I missed something? You also take the two health off the board. Off the belly on the monster board. I know you tracked the two damage. He's sick. Oh, oh, oh. I, I think Toby thinks someone's already been. We're eaten. sorry. We haven't we been have, swallowed. We haven't yet. been swallowed yet. We've Not been, yet. We've We're been getting planning. close. Yeah. Worm, Worm is different. Wow. I thought the concept art was just different. Okay. This, that's scary, Toby. I didn't pick up on that. That's yeah. really awesome. What a perfect segue. Everybody is laughing at me. I have a plan. Yeah. That's, that's right. Difficult. That's the deal. Thanks, oh, Toby. No, totally sorry. good. Don't no, worry. It's We're hard. Gonna, We're it's hard to this. track. It's hard to track. All right. I got a long shot. Now it's my, 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 my thing has changed. Are you actually playing a card? No, I'm going to do something. I'm gonna do awesome stuff. <laughs> One, two. Should I just hit the tail again, or are we going after the belly? What are we doing? Well, if you we need to bur why don't you just go for the tail? Oh, we don't... want the archer to break something. Well, That's right. It's, Long shot. It's about if you want the priest to be consumed or the archer to be consumed. The archer. You want the archer to be consumed? Yes, because then the the blade can save the day, and he'll okay. think like he did something really good. Oh, the doom of Bastone. Yep, yep. We read that. Oh, yep. yeah. The Doom of Doom Bastone. Bastone. Yeah. I think uh, the title of every Baron's plan is Longshot. It, it is. is. It I'm, really is. Okay, it's either that or the, what is, what is the one that the blade does? The cut? That is boar. That cut? Charging boar. Yeah, charging boar. It's yeah. amazing. Bastone is officially no more. Another city has fallen to the deep wood. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 22 it's not cool. Hand. That's terrible. Well, and true. we tried to save the people. And We're all you it. wanted to do was just leave them there to burn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, nephew, I'm shooting this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love playing games with you. Okay, what do you need? What do you need? I'm going to shoot this guy with this. It's going to cost me four animus. I don't even have to Why move. Why don't you spend the animus this time? Nope. Yeah, I'm just telling you right now. I'm going to spend four. One, two, three, four over here with my card. Oh, he actually paid for the card that he's playing. Bring I can't on. believe it. Bring it on. I'm going to empower this too. Check this Ooh. out. Do I want to empower this? Absolutely. Sure. Wait, why are you? Are I'm you going for the three? This. Okay. Why don't I go for the three? All right. Okay, so I need uh, two yellows. Two yellows. Should I go with so close? Thank you. Um, should I go with more than two yellow and a red? Two yellows and a red? Should I go with the yellow and a red or should I go with like three yellows? The more dice you have, the more chances of misses. But I've got two rerolls up there. Okay, then I'd go for more dice. Let's go yeah. for three yellows. I'm going to empower okay, three whites yellow. to three yellows. 
Okay, <coughs> there we go. I've got five yellow dice. It just looks so much cooler when you're rolling yellow dice, especially on the board, not on the green screen. Yeah. There you go. Five yellow dice. Oh, I get, oh, I get plus two damage to this. Maybe I don't even get me. Well, Switch plus out two, one to a red so die. You need to do uh, nine damage. So you need to do seven damage. So I do two, and then we're going to go like this. Seven damage. There we go. Okay. I don't think anybody knows what you're doing, but Perfect. we're, we're going to go with My it. Plan. You That's empowered succeeded. something. You should have two yellows because of your might. Correct. And then you're empowering. Yellow to red. Okay. All right. Ready? Here you go. And you, go. you missed. Not yet. Please don't miss. I'm going to use this token. Come on, come on. I'm going to drop all my cards in there. Sing on precariously on my thing. <laughs> well, don't worry. We did that with the tokens. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to roll this yellow one again. It's going to become a three. Oh, two okay. spade. Oh, oh, okay, one. so now we've at least hit. You get a, you That's get a half crit. the battle. You get a crit. Oh, I had to oh, roll the crit before yeah. I I should have rolled the crit before I rolled the reroll. So we got Ooh. seven, eight, nine. You okay, that's enough. That. So that's enough. That's three. enough. Three damage. Nine, now ten, we've just 11. broken our second die, yeah. by the way. So now the, this worm is going to be pissed, and it's going to consume the archer. Here, you can right? throw these on the ground. Hey, you throw them on the ground, yeah. toss them down there. All right, move six to its target. So it's going to move uh, six towards the archer. And, I'm going to battle flow this card down to here. Uh, moving six towards the archer. This is going to move here. The tail Did is it gonna, make it to me? Yeah. You, you were in range six, man. That's so right. It has to get to you. The target is consumed. If they have the vibration token, give it to the close notes. They don't. The target is now in the worm's belly. At the start of each O sworn and encounter phase, the consume loses one health. Move three in northeast. So now it's going to move three northeast. Because it, it was right here. Right, or right. right there. One, two, one, two, three. Perfect, and then that's gonna go over there, and this is gonna go. There we go. Oh well, that's fantastic camera. Oh, man, what what were you pointing at? I was putting on the ranger. <laughs> the long shot. Colin oh. used that. For I think that was Baron. Left. But yeah. yes, yes, yes. Um, I meant Baron. Yes, yeah, yes. Perfect. Good night. It's four a.m. Four a.m. comes, comes too, too soon. soon. So. Oh, Bill, we love soon. it though. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you so much. I know, not the archer. I was telling him the priest, but you know, I got a plan. Okay, we have one Ready? more. No, hold on. We still get to see the next level one card. Oh, consume. It's going to eat another character. Totally fine. The archer is going to like re wreck something now. Uh, this one is also in the worm's belly, actually. Okay. Oh my gosh. You got two people in the belly? Oh my gosh. Two people. You have three animus left. Attack in the belly. Exactly. Laquitter's not my god. Knew mm -hmm. my plan. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to use my not token. My not token? Yeah. I don't have any more empowering tokens. Oh, but I'm going to spend. You my... can still use your tokens, though. So you have rerolls, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to use, I'm going to give me another white die. Oh, with pleasure. There we go. We're going to rock this guy. Belly it's actually time. inside the belly. I Which one? Belly. The top one the that has five. five? Yeah, let's go Please. with the five. Here we go. That was, that was a that lot was, of misses. That was, that was a lot of misses. Well, you know, she's in the belly. Gastral juices busting her down. The pieces. <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to get that out. Oh, you need a bully buster now. Um, do you get a, you still get a token for an airballing, right? I think so. I think sure. You, you definitely generate tokens in a belly of a Give worm. me an empower um, token. An empower? Yeah. You sure you don't want to? Well, you you already have I've two rerolls. I got two rerolls. Here's an empower I just for you, didn't, my friend. That was just such a bad roll. That was that was brutal. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. My priest still has some left, actually. How do we not? How is this here? Oh, because that's right. Because yeah. of the mouth. And then the, so okay. I can move one with the priest and do one more attack. I haven't done anything with this guy yet. Can you um? Can you move me so I can attack? Sure. Move him up like that, and then he can attack. Uh, we can do a lot play, of damage with his belly. I'm going to play the Martyr, <coughs> which is going to give that's me... That's a first. Blaming a bad roll on gastral juices. <laughs> I'm never going to hear it again. <laughs> that is the first and only time you'll hear that. Uh, I get a red die, and uh, do I have an Empower token? I don't. Um, so I'm going to roll three white dice with this, a red okay. and three white. And I can re-roll one blank white die if I want using nice. my weapon. Oops, I just moved the three. Okay. Uh, I'm hitting the five. I'm right. hitting the five, right? Because that's we need to be able to... What Are we helping you with the six that has to do damage to break you out? You have to do six damage to break me out. So we need an extra die. Can you get an extra oh, die yeah, and yeah. you can track that? I got it right here. Okay. So right now it's to be, right it should be at zero. It should be at zero. Because so, yeah. I missed. Yep, unfortunately. And I'm going to miss terribly. Oh my gosh, two, okay, I can, okay, I get, I'm going to use it, I'm going to use my weapon, 
uh, during an attack, redraw blank. Now that does not Battle push anything. anything, but that will let me redraw, reroll this white to a two. Okay, so I'm still failing, but I can use a reroll token. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna put it here because if I do fail, I can get it back. I've got a one, two, four, five. I almost feel like it might be worth spending one more to try and get six because then I deal two damage instead of sure. one. Sure. Is it worth it? Yeah. Was that a no? Maybe. Keep it? I don't know. Damage oh. is damage, right? It's just because we're already at, already at five. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. I just need a one. How about, about a two crit with a two? crit? And does that crit? That does crit. Awesome. Okay. And there a one. Go. Okay. Well, that's, uh, two, four, six, seven, eight. One more would have been nine. Does but two, that's right? two damage. That's two damage. So now he goes to three. And now that die comes into place. Now yep, we're at so two we damage. Dealt two on damage that. to that. And if we, once we deal six, you're unconsumed, right? Correct. Do you agree? That's yes. how I understand it. Okay, so that was all three of my enemies here that was remaining on my priest. So my priest is done, and my bear is done. So I'm I'm done done over here. Nice, done done. I'm done done. So let's see if I can get <clears throat> the blade over there to really do some damage here. As you do that, I am going to run and get some more water. Do you need more water? Hit me. Okay. All right, we'll be right back. You're amazing. Plus two damage, range three thrown. Nope, probably not a good idea to throw my weapon. You exactly in a straight line. Leaving slide. That's a defense card. Ooh. Defense card. Player figure. Okay, I could somersault over this guy and do some cool stuff. Aww. Oh. Oh, I've got a plan. Check this out. Winnowing strike. Now I got a good ruling on this one. If I were to move my guy right here, one, two. Now using a winnowing strike here, the target is adjacent, targets all adjacent hexes. If you are in snake form, viper form, gain a redraw on this attack, attack once and apply to all targets. So I'd apply it to this target and I would apply it to this target because I am hitting both of these guys, right? I think that's a good plan. So I'm gonna move one. Um, let's see if I can find him right here. I'm gonna use one to move, right? Then we're gonna use four, one, two, three, four to play this attack. And it's gonna be a two, so it's gonna go up here. That's the deal, okay? And then this isn't gonna help me except them damage. I can gain an animus back. That's gonna happen, it help me either. Now I don't have any tokens at all. I've used them all. So I get the two yellow from this and I'm gonna take Two more white, maybe three white. Oh my gosh, if I fail this, this will be super bad. I don't think it's gonna help. No, I'm gonna do two white. We're gonna do four. There we go. Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, this is gonna be really, really good, in theory. Let's get this guy. Come on, don't fail. Oh, there's sadness everywhere in the Blades, Blades, uh, Blades world here. He did miss. He's going to gain a, gain a re-roll token because that would be good. This still is how much damage we've done to that belly. This is not good. Hi, team. I made a stream. I am work. I am work. Don't tell anyone I watch. <laughs> I made the stream. I'm not work. Paul, oh, it's good to see you. Thank you for joining. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Uh, my buddy Colin here, he'll be right back. He went to get a glass of water. He's, he's getting water. Uh, he's here. Glass. That's good. He's uh, Paul's here. Paul's here to say Hey, Paul. You... Colin, I had the greatest plan and I failed. Oh, what'd you do? I feel like we failed a lot more with our rolls tonight. Yeah. I don't know what's off. Um, we might need to practice our dice rolling before our next we game. Might. I was going to be able to hit both of these squares with my winnowing strike, and I failed. So close. It was so close. You had a crit, too? I guess it was a white crit, but it was still yeah. crit. Yeah. All right, so you got, did you token. get a token? What did you get? What do you want? I'm going to get a reroll token. Okay, you want me to grab one yes, from please. the floor? Yep. Uh, oh, I found one. Nice. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> okay. okay, we're not so, done yet. Oh, we're not done. We're not done yet. No. Okay. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm sitting use, here ready I'm to be use eaten. My mead. Yeah, I got no re rolls. You like that? Yeah. I'm gonna use my mead here. We're gonna go over the blade. We're gonna put that into three. That's and gonna it, give that me does one not animus. battle flow anything. No, it yeah. doesn't. Okay. So I'm gonna get one animus back, which gives me the ability to hit something for three, if I want to. You mean that it costs three animus? Yeah. Okay. So, for example, I could just play this card. To hit for three, hit a, to make an attack. I, I feel That's like it's deal. worth it. I think uh, I'm going to do that. I mean, we need to keep hammering. I'm going to hit that belly. Yeah. 
Yep. We're going to use these exact dice that I used last time. Um, can you can you go to the board? Yes, that should be a good idea. Thank you, sir. Come on! Come on! Come on! There we go. Okay, what'd you get? Three? A lot of good stuff here. Three, four, five. You, you did uh, two damage. I did two you, damage. You should have said what part you were attacking, which oh, was the same one the we're always yeah. biting. Down to uh, a one. Hold on a second. Here we can find a way to do more damage here. Three, four, five. Do you want to break it? Six, seven. I could. I need. No, I need to get two Actually, more. Actually, if you did break it, you would. Um, I wouldn't no, have to I worry would, about that card. It would not be consumed because we're going to go to the level two card. Yeah, but I have to re roll and get like a super number. I don't feel like that's worth it. Don't worry no. about it. We'll just have two damage, right? We're going to have two characters consumed, though. <laughs> they each get one attack, man. One attack. Four. There we go. And that's it. Okay. I think that's all I can do. Right? Well, I'm done. I'm done too. All right. Let's do it. I had a reroll, but I didn't use it this so, time. So that's okay. Uh, now, unfortunately, the head is going to move adjacent to the priest, and the priest is going to be consumed. Adjacent. Can you get a, you get a like die this? for me? Yeah. Well, it moves six towards its target. Okay, hold on a second. Here. We, I have to admit, we probably haven't been doing the moving exactly like we were supposed to. Oh, it's supposed to go north and west, north and west. So it should be adjacent right there. Yeah, but it needs to face. We needs to face where the priest was. There. Yeah, and then this needs to move to there, and this needs to move. Oh to my there. gosh, the blade is <laughs> crying right Doesn't now. Doesn't the blade have that card we can attack all around? I just it? used it. No, dude. <laughs> Oh, you would need to get that back now. That's oh. epic. Look at it is surrounding I you. I can't. That get is back. amazing. I can battle flow at once to hear. That's about it. Okay, so okay. I this bear is like asleep over here. <laughs> I can. Great. I've got to go back to the archer here. She has to take one point of damage. For Thank you. Consumed. Yep. And can I get a d6 for mine? Because now I have to count up to six for yeah. this guy over here. So he's at zero. Do you think damage done to the middle will count for both of them now? I would assume yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'll I'll keep it off to the side here. Um, then at, at the start of each, okay, moves three northwest. That was this card. Moves three north. Can you can you show them the board? No. Yeah, it might be nice. <laughs> Gosh, I'm terrible. <laughs> yeah. He's up there. <clears throat> We're with these guys now. So this one comes to this where this comes is. here, and then that comes around here. I so wish he had that. Card and again. that poor bear is so far away from anything. Okay. Yes. Then we are going to have this card, the burrow. Oh. Uh, sense vibration. Remove the worm's head from the game board. Remove the other body parts as usual. Oh, the target is with its mouth, though, so it'll That's be one good. less. Except the problem is if we break a location, we're not going to deal with that card unless it's a level two card. It is a level okay, two card. Okay, good. So then we will. Well, you know, we're doing real good. We're not even on level two cards yet. It's okay. We have some good damage done. Yes. This attack all targets all enemies adjacent to the target. Redraw all blanks once. Oh, place the worm's head on the target's hex, pushing all. Okay, this is, I love this game. I love how uh, unique they are. Okay. I'm going to get my six animals back. So now we're at the end of the round. And then now when we go to the refresh phase, Correct. your character doesn't lose health yet. Oh, wait. Yeah. My character shouldn't have lost any health for the encounter phase. Right. But it will lose one now. Correct. During, yep. So now so the, the priest is going down to five. And the archer's at four. And then the bear gets two cards back, which is nice. The blade's going to get his cut back, and that's it. And my... We archers... still regenerate enemies the moment we're inside yes. of that, right? Two, four, six. Two, four. My long shot's still out there. I've got my double stab. Any way that I can get... There? If I can get out, I can double stab that thing. You can get out? What do you mean? If I can get my archer out... <clears throat> and then I just, I'm sorry, oh. do I get placed adjacent to it then if I get out of this belly? I'm assuming that's I'd be happens. adjacent to it, right? Then yeah. I can stab, stab, stab. My <laughs> double stab. Well, do you want the priest to do his one action with three? Do you uh, want to break a location or you just want to do more damage? Well, if I break a location, who has the vibration? Oh, I have to give this to somebody now. Yeah, give it to the bear. No, I'm going to give it to the blade. The blade hasn't had it yet. You're welcome, blade. Okay. You can enjoy turn. the sense vibration. Yes, just north and west. Yes, as part of you, it, it was in the part you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Oh, Super man, good. Dan, that was amazing. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm totally gonna read consumed word for word <laughs> next time. Do you want the priest to? Because the bear is gonna have a hard time getting over there. I have a card that costs me three enemies that I can move four. One, two, three. I I just can't get to the middle. I can work on the middle. 
We got so, two people in the middle. I could just work on it. To be they, honest, each, like. they each can only take one attack. That's all they can do, though. So then your character, because it says while you were consumed, you mm -hmm. can only do while you're consumed. And then if you can get out, like if you do two damage to this thing, I'm out. Okay, I can use so the rest let's of my have the priest attack. But with three, let's with my not have the three priest. animus. I could attack right now inside there, get out, and then stab him. But to wouldn't pieces. it be better if I got you out? You'd have all of your animus. I don't know. What I'm gonna do there the three. Pickle it. Double stab and pickle it. <laughs> <laughs> we, I, mean, I could use ricochet. I could just grab it from the stack of cards I didn't bring. Yeah. Uh huh. What What do you think? Do you want to? Sure. Hit it. Hit okay. it. Hit I'll, it. I'll do it. I'm gonna. You're gonna, gonna break gonna, location. Or you're just gonna hit it. I'm gonna use three. I thought I'd break a location. Or should I not? No, I think it's a great idea. Wait, but then you won't get to six. You only get to five. Right. So I'm gonna go for one of the sixes. The bottom six. The bottom right six. Of the tail. Um. Oh boy, I have no reroll tokens. Oh no, yeah I do. Wait, did I use these? Yes, I did. Remember I used all of those, yes. and I, but I kept them aside. I'm just going to give people a heads up on where we are in this guy. And there we are, we're sitting here just like this. So we still have... We have not hit the tail to save one, our lives. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, we did. It's down by four on the top. A red and two whites, be able to do six or three whites? Three. I have no rerolls. No rerolls, okay. two. Two? I don't know, man. I've never guessed the right numbers I, yet. I love this game. I love this game. Give me a crit. Give me a crit. Oh! oh that's what I'm talking about. All right. Oh, yeah. Four, right. five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. ten. So that's three damage. Three damage. To so a six. To a six. So I get three hits for mine. So I need six to get out. And I'm you're out. out. You're oh, out, yeah. man. Break yourself in. North and west. I'm going to be right here. Toby, I totally agree. So much fun to strategize yep. how to take these. It's just this is exactly what it's all oh, about. It's so great, and it's so different from the satyr and the and the this worm. Rat, like you, you know? think about it, the worm has actually physically only attacked us once. Yeah, well, that's going to change though with the burrow. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, okay, so I've got three. Oh, it's not. I'll, I'll put it right up here. I've got three, but now the yeah. priest is done unless he gets pulled out. So now it's my job to get you out of there. Yeah. So I now need, I'm going to double stab I need three you. more damage. Move more. We're fine. Disarming shot. Ignore one of the enemy's mic cards. Nope. You cannot be the primary target. Well, I like that one. Uh, quick shot. Yeah, you would like that one. Tax a minion. <laughs> Super glad I brought this card. <laughs> hey, should the priest go and uh, should the bear go and save some more civilians? Reminds me of learning a new enemy in Kingdom Death Monster. Yes, but you're learning a new enemy every time. Oh, that's that's the best part. That's amazing. You can go save some dudes. Yeah, my okay. man. Bear is going to spend three enemies because I love saving people. One, two. Run for your lives. Ah! Okay, we saved another one. That is number six. Yeah, I think that's right? a good number. That's, one, that's two, pretty three, good. four, six five, six. I got the consume cards early. It was handing off vibration stones off to the villagers like hot potato. <laughs> You have one. No, you have one. <coughs> All right. I think I'm going to... I'm just going to double stab him where I am, right? Double stab. Double stab. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is going to be great. Okay. Ready? I need to crit on this. I need to crit on this. Okay, as you do that, the bear's going to spend three more to go one, two, and send this guy off. Whoa! He's off the board. Okay, now we're getting optimistic on how many we need to save. Two, four, six, seven. I'm, we've saved seven now. <laughs> The bear's done, by the way. <laughs> wow. What did I do with my double stab card? Did I, like... Oh, I put it down here. There it is. Randomly crafted. It sounded like it's randomly crafted. But I put it on the side. All right, we're going to double stab. We get the two yellow and then two white. Ready? Two yellow, two white? Um, you want to show... Yeah, I'll move this. Or so I could use it. my uh, empower token. I need to do three, so let's do that. Yeah. I'm going to grab a you red one. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Right? We're going to stab this guy in the number three slot. Because you have three, right? <laughs> I have three. Do we what want do to do the burrow? Do you want the burrow to happen on her? It'll still happen because it's a level two. Yeah, card, but do right? we want it to happen on her? Oh, I'm going to do the yellow dice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do just it on You dad. dropped, you dropped right. dice all the time. Shh. Okay. <laughs> do you want me to make this happen? Yes, make okay. it happen. Maybe I mean, a, it's going to hit her. Is that going to be good? I mean, she's fine. She hasn't. Wait, she's down to four health. Uh, so I hit do the it. six? Just do it. No, do hit it. the three. Uh, don't you have some cards that can give you increase your shield? And you've got two shield tokens. I've also got the ability to... And his attack is a, he's only going to be one black and two red. Okay, here's the deal. The archer's going to do it a little bit differently. Okay. She's going to pay one animus, 
to use uh, Quick Shot. Okay. It's going to go in the two slot. It allows her to move two spaces. I'm going to move one, two to here. Okay. That's not helping. I'm going to move one here. Okay. There's a reason why I'm doing this. Because then I, I can play I the. I don't know if it's a good reason, but we'll see. <laughs> you cannot be the primary target of any enemy this phase while you are adjacent to a tree. I'm pretty sure that you're still overridden when you attack and break something. Because what is it going to attack? It will target the closest person. Okay. Yeah. I'll go with you. Okay. Until somebody tells me otherwise. All right, we're going to do it. Do it before Toby tells us something different. Go, go, roll the dice, man. Roll them. Oh, it doesn't matter. I missed anyway. Oh, That's dude. okay. I got to reroll, Toby. Oh, reroll that red. Please. Re we need a four on that power. red. We need a four on that red. It's the four. You have any more rerolls? Oh. Yeah, you do. You have one more. No, that's oh. a battle flow card. You have another one right there. That's Where? a reroll token. Oh my gosh, I do. Really, I'm spending all these tokens. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If you still fail, you get them all back. Okay. Two, four, six. We dealt two damage. All right, that's down to one. And that puts us up to five. Worst use of three tokens. <laughs> Why do I feel like the priest right now? Whoa! <laughs> Didn't he do that too? Three tokens. I am not damage? talking to you anymore. Oh, that was awesome. All right. Well, I that just... was not double stab. He there was that double stab. Oh, that was double stab. Oh, then you, you have. To... I get to do it again. Oh, but you have to redo. You have to miss. So, what was your highest numbered roll? Uh, a two. A two. So I only did so, four. So I only did one damage. You only did one damage. So this goes down to a four. Thank you. But then you get to roll again. Yes. Where did I put the double stab? <coughs> Why do I keep saying where did I put my uh, double stab? You put stab? it out on your two spot. No, that's my quick shot. Oh, then I have no idea where you put your double stack. It's right here. I found it. Oh, you found it. Look at that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to go with two white, so, two yellow and two white because they don't have any other tokens at all. And now. if you fail, get you could get the, you get the token. Okay, here we go. I did. You did fail. So I'll take a, uh, uh, a reroll. I get, mm, yeah, I uh, guess so. An empower? A reroll? Yeah. Give me empower. Okay. I have faith in my guy. Okay. Okay. And the archer is then going to put this here, battle flow this thing to here. And get my empower token right up there, and I'm gonna actually pay for what I did. One, two, <laughs> three for my double stab. And then I got three more. Wait, did you pay for your quick shot? Yeah, you did. It was one. It was only one. Your quick shot's one. Two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can you do anything with that blade to deal two more damage to the to the body? Well, I can sh attack here with this for two. Yeah. I mean, I would appreciate it. Because if you can do two more, I can get the priest down. He can do something else. I need the blade to get this <coughs> winning shot back. How do I battle flow multiple cards here? Battle flow one card. That's all I can do. Okay. We're going to battle flow a card. I'm going to pay one animus for that. I'm going to battle flow this thing. I think this thing will kind of handy again. We're down the line. So I'm going to play a one card. Roll. Oh, it's going to be perfect. All right. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so we're gonna do it. Let me move two. And then I can just attack him with something. Okay. Open on me. Three. That's gonna cost me three. Okay. So I'm gonna play this. Ready? I'm ready. I'm gonna play roll. I'm gonna battle flow my ones to here. And that's gonna cost me one. It allows me to move two spaces. So I'm gonna move. One. Super good I had down the board. Moved up there. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. I didn't remove two faces. I could move two. Yay. Um I am in boar form right now. Oh no, I'm in whatever form I want because I got all these cards in the zero slot. We're gonna use somersault. I now get to jump completely over something if I wish to. Here's the deal. I'm gonna pay three for this. Place your figure in a hex on the opposite side of the adjacent to the enemy. Enemy enemies and then we get knocked back in the direction you choose. If you target an enemy you left over. If you attack the target's rear, you get an empower token three. We don't have any rear spots on yeah, these. Yeah, there's no rear spots. So I would jump over to here, but it's not going to matter. So I'm just going to end up over. Let's put my guy right here. Oh, no, I have to knock back this person then. Right? Let's say on there. Any character in that hex suffers knockback one. Two if you're in bull form. I'm not in bull form. Okay. Actually, yeah, I'll stay in bull form. I don't know. I'm not saying. You can knock her then in, uh, back too. And it doesn't hurt her as long as you don't run her into right. anything. We're good. Right? We're going to do it just like that. Okay. And then I get to attack, right? Yep. Unfortunately, you don't get the empower token, but you can attack. And this goes in your two slot. Two slot. And I'm going to roll these dice. Why? Can you give me some different dice? Yes. What do you need? Uh, two yellows and two whites. I've got... Look at these. These look great. There you go. I don't want the two. Here, you can have these, these yellows and whites back okay. in your turn. Here. 
Okay, I just made right, it. Hit the, the belly. Here we go. Hit the belly. You're trying to do you're trying to do the one that has two health remaining. Two health remaining. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Three, Three four, four, five. five. So I only did one. Now yeah. I could do a reroll. I almost think it's worth it. You just need one more to this deal. One? There you go. That'll work. I got six. the six. That's two damage. Two damage. This one gets That's broken. Done. All right. And that means that so we've now broken three. Stage two is triggered, but we're already in stage two, so nothing Correct. happens there. Okay. So then he has vibration, right? Yeah. Well, and plus he this. broke it. Oh, yep. I'm broken out. Boom. North and west. Right there. Yep. Right there. We're all just hanging out. Okay. Bears got to get back here. So this says remove the worm's head or the worm's head from the game board. Move the other party parts as usual. You move the body there, and I'll move the tail here. Love that. Um, attack the target. So the target is you mm -hmm. uh, with its mouth. So okay. that's only going to be one black and two red. And before I do that, I get to choose if I want to use any defense. Oh, no. This attack also targets all enemies adjacent to the target. Are, oh, boy. We should have thought about that. No, we didn't. Why we did didn't. you go right next to us? Oh. I'm going to use some defense. Gain three defense against this attack if you're in bull form. Yep, I'll be in bull form. Okay. Um, also, guess the amount of damage you damage the enemy will draw. Here we go. It's kind of interesting. Um, you ignore uh, if you if you're within two of the correct answer, you ignore all the damage against you. Well, that's enemy. awesome. I'm gonna guess. He Six. redraws all blanks once. Seven. Okay. He gets redraw blanks once in the attack, too. Yikers. Brace yourself, boys. Yep, yeah, here we yeah. go. Uh, I'm going to... I've got three armor. I am going to... I've got two shields. I really want to be able to attack with this card, so I'm just going to... Is it a target? It's not an area attack, is it? You know what? I'm going to use this to make my defense four. I'm going to play a pillar and path. I'm going to play this to not be the target of the attack. It doesn't, it's not an area of attack. If not an area effect, area effect would hit her, but it's targeting her. Correct? It targets all enemies adjacent. So I don't think can't that target. can yeah. stop it. Yeah, cannot be primary target. Oh, a primary she's, she's target. She's not the primary. Not primary target. Barf. Yeah. All right. I'll just give stop trying to run away, you know? And yeah, soak it. It's kidding. Barf. <laughs> you only have four health. You ignore so. an enemy might card of your choice. It's about the only thing I got. Can I ask, do we, do we flip separately for us, or is this one attack? One attack, and we, and we okay. all take it. Thank you. You cannot so, be the primary target attack. My before. guy has four defense right now. That's what Parent I wants to make sure that everyone shares the pain. That's true. Yeah. Defensive posture. That's not sharing right the pain. He wants to give Ignore the pain to everyone. one black, else. though, right? It's the teeth symbol. Correct. Yeah, exactly. So we only so have we one, three. one black and two red. I'm going to choose the number seven. <coughs> okay, and then you re reflip any blanks. I think her at all. You're not doing any defense? I got nothing for her. She's got two defense tokens. That's what we I'm going to have to go with. Okay. Well, so Dang reflip. It. Dang it. So we got a three. I almost wish that you didn't flip from blanks because yeah. now we have to draw two new ones. Oh my god. Seven, eight, nine, ten. No, yeah, you missed. You said seven. I know. Yeah. The ten. Okay. Um, so that means I had four defense. So if I use both of these, I could take one damage. Or you know what? I'm actually gonna take the two because if I have three health or less, I'll gain a health at the refresh phase. So my priest will take the two, going from five health down to three. Three for five. Um, and then let's see here. I've also got some other deals here. Um, kick them where it hurts, facing, forcing them to redraw any two cards. Oh, would that affect us? Yeah. Oh, I should not actually take that damage yet. No, I can make it redraw this four and this three if you want me to. Might as well. Let's do it. That battle Unless... flow is this card, these two cards. That costs no animus to play. It's a reaction. Yeah. Okay. All right. Redraw these two. Here we go. There. Six. Okay. Nine. Uh, then I can play. Oh, I can't attack them. Is it better to do a reaction to make it not as bad? It depends. You can ignore one of the enemy's might cards against you or that character or or that character your choice. You could ignore it against my ranger. Yeah, but then I can't I'm attack. I'm taking no damage against the blade. Is taking oh, no wait. damage. I can't attack. You're taking no damage? I guessed with the, I guess seven if I'm within two, okay. I can take so no damage. So then I'm going to play this. I will take the two because I'll heal up anyways. Okay. So I'll go down to the three. 
Ignore one of the enemy's might cards against you or that character of your choice. After you and a Jason friendly character has damage drawn against them. I had a friend like Jason. I'm not yeah. Jason. You're not a Jason? No. <gasps> Why aren't you a Jason? Because that's the deal. So um, I can't help you then. You're not here. a Jason. Ignore one enemy's might card of your choice. I'll do that. Okay, so which one She's going to ignore, I guess, three. Yeah. Since they're all threes. So she's going to take six. My divided by two is three. But then she can use these. So she could basically, she takes six. I could use both my tokens. Both? Yeah. Giving myself a four defense. You realize that he has stage three cards. <laughs> I could take, well, if I use one token, it's going to be the same as if I use almost no tokens. Okay. Are you going to take one or two damage? I'd be taking, let's see here, three, six, nine divided by two. You know, defense is only two? Yeah, but then I've got a deal That'll here. That'll kill you. I, you know, I keep forgetting. She has so many cards here that I'm a moron and keep forgetting to do. All right. Um, then I better use a defense token, right? Well, yeah, and then three. I'm going to make it a three. Then use... you're going to take three damage, though. Why want to take four. So then you take only two, two damage. That's what I'm taking. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Yeah. I can heal you next time, too. Perfect. All right. The... Blade is taking nothing because he guessed seven. And the total amount was nine. So you ignore the damage against you. <laughs> Why aren't you adjacent? Because that's the deal. Because <laughs> yep. that's the deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That's pretty typical. Okay. okay. We made it. I don't know how we made it. I have like one card for each of my guess. <laughs> I, uh, we can, oh no, we have to now put the head somewhere. Uh, the uh, Place the worm's head on the target's hex and then it pushes us. So the okay. target was you. So don't you just break this tree? Yeah, let's go. It would be be right on me but I, and then these things would be up here so it's gonna it's gotta push this thing away. let's just make it fun yeah. in theory i think we're supposed to put it where this is and it's supposed to push it off because i think it's supposed to be north and west so it should be like that and then it would bump this thing north and west that way right yeah let's see it's like this that's so gonna flip that or something I don't know. we're just kind of having fun this thing goes here. And then the tree, tree actually would stay. Well, the tree doesn't stay. The tree's supposed to be right there. So okay, the tree's it. done. Yeah. Second tree's gone. Okay. Cool. All right, cool. I All think right. that's the deal. We'll, we'll go with it. Then we have Quake. Uh, still using the mouth. The target's all enemies adjacent to the worm's head. Each enemy within range three of the worm. Knock back two if any. Uh... Yeah. Um, where's its head? We, we have three characters adjacent to its head. I was going to attack. Do you want me to get away from the head? I can. Oh, yeah, because it's going to target you. Wait, before you do that, can I attack the head first? And then you can move away from it so it's going to move towards you. Does that make sense? Do I move first and then you do it? <coughs> no. Okay, listen okay. to me. You if, I, if I attack the head, I'm not going to... Oh, does the head only have one. one health? Then it would activate. Never mind. Okay. Am I adjacent? I'm adjacent to the, to tail. the tail. So yeah. I can still attack the tail. Yes. So, yeah. You want to do that? Well, I, I can do that anytime. Okay. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll do it right now. I'm going to play Fend. Uh, that is going to... You ignored one of the threes. Yeah, you like that? I did. Oh, he's right. So I only took six damage. Six divided by four is... is two. Uh, one. 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 So yeah. I'm at three. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I like that. See, people are early Good. morning for me tomorrow. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much, Steve, for joining. It's only six damage. Target the yes. head. But if I target the head, it's going to activate again and hit all of us because we're adjacent to it. I don't okay. think I want to hit the head yet. No. I want to knock down the, the tail a little bit. Sure. So I'm going to do this. That spends the other three enemies that I have uh, attacking. This goes here. Um, I can have a red. And I'm going to have two, two whites. And I'm hitting the four. The four on top. Okay. Okay, I'm just trying to get some damage going. Love it. Come on. Okay, it doesn't work. <laughs> Oh, does that oh, crit? Oh, yep, keep going. It's loading dice. Two, four, five, six. Two damage. Two damage on the four. On the yep, on the four. Goes down to a two. Got Love it. it. Okay, Priest is done. Perfect. I've got three more left with the Ranger. The Ranger could attack something. Oh, this is actually great for him. I didn't even realize and that. And of course, I'm a moron. I totally forgot I could play my three. <coughs> All right, let's see here. Um... She's going to run. She's going to move one, two. The biggest thing is the blade needs to move at least one away so that we're not all adjacent to that head. Because then it will what only... What if I move back here? Does that help? 
If you move back there, then it's going to move six towards the target, so I'll have to move one away. Each, oh, each enemy within range three of any worm section. I missed this. It says worm section, so it's any of them. Okay. Let's see what her ability oh, is. I, I get it. I get it. So first, the attack is only going to be from the head. But okay. then each enemy with range range three of any of the worm se sections suffers knockback two. Oh. If in range of two or more body parts, the knockback um, comes from the closest body part. So it's not a big deal if we get no, knocked back. Exactly. Well, as long as you don't run into something. Don't we just break this thing then? No, because if you do that, all three of us get attacked by the face. Gotcha. Does that make sense? Yep. You need to move one away from that face. This guy? No, no the blade. The blade has the, uh, the tremor token. What does she need to do? Get away? She just needs to not be adjacent to that head when that head moves. So okay, she take any so she's going to move two there. Okay. And she's got one left. She really can't do anything with it. She can battle flow a card. So battle flow. Disarming shot? Sure. For one animus. Done. And she gets this back in her hand. I like okay. the goblet style cups. I know. I love his goblet style cups. They're Not awesome. Fun. I got them from Burger King ancient times ago. <laughs> okay. Are we ready now for the enemy activation? Is this one I'm supposed to say no? No, too bad. Okay. It's going to move six towards you. So it's simply just going to move up one. Right? Okay. Yep. Oh, I needed you to move two because I'm still Yep, I'm still failed. That. You couldn't do that? No, you couldn't no, move no, two? No. Okay. Could you have moved somewhere where it wouldn't be adjacent to me? No, I don't think so. This is the only place I could have gone. If you gone, gone there, and it would still be adjacent to me. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's okay. I'll have to soak an attack. Uh, it's going to attack with one black and two red, please. One black, two red. Both of us? Uh, both of us. That actually really sucks because I was thinking he wasn't going to attack me, so I don't have any shields in my hand. I got three defense. I've got three defense. That's it. Okay, here we go. I have no way of affecting this. That's beautiful. That's a two. I'm okay with that. Six. Six. That would be two damage. You got five. And reduce the damage by two. I'm going to... So instead of six, five, four, I take nothing. So, wait, it's a six. It's attacking us for six, right? And I've got, got three. Time. Good luck, guys. Work has finished, and I'm going home. I'll watch this later. Nice to see I'm you, gonna, Paul. Thank you for joining. I'm going to use one stream, one okay. of these, so I only take one damage, because then my defense is four instead of only three. And, yep, so that makes me go down to two. Ooh. All right. You made it. Barely. Oof, that. Lots okay, of stuff going then on. we're not done yet. Oh, but Each enemy within range three of any worm section suffers knockback two, so we're all going to get knocked back by two. One, two. I think I come back at it. Why? Because I ricochet off this thing. Oh yeah. I think I'd ricochet back this way. You don't ricochet the opposite way. Well, I mean. I, so if you're going at an angle, you're supposed to come out at an angle. So I like go this, this way. So don't you hit the tree? You don't hit the tree. I'm pretty sure you hit the tree. And then I take a damage. Yeah, and then the tree's gone. No, only large creatures take out oh, things. Oh, that's right. Bear Bear keeps taking no damage. I know. I keep doing that. Yeah. The ranger though <laughs> needs to get out of here. She's she has two health. Uh, then move three north, and then this is done. Oh my gosh. So it's going to, to take this out, right? Um, maybe. I'm going to go one, two, three. Yep, yep, it's going to crash gonna on that wall. Take that wall out. This thing goes here, right? Yeah, it just gets pushed down to there. Wait, wait. Yeah, its head was there. Yeah. And then that tail technically would go up to here. So where would the tail go? North and west. Yep, up there. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh, that's, that's awesome. Re that's amazing there. That is absolutely amazing. But okay. that really ruined my plans. Well, good. I mean, not good, but... How many dice have we taken out, by the way? It goes One, to... two, three, four, five. We have three dice, or six left. We've taken out three. We've only taken out three dice? Yeah. Good, because when we get to six, we have the stage three. Yeah, All right, no next card is another Quake. Same thing as the other one. Okay. <clears throat> um, okay, we go to the end of round. We go to the next refresh. Two, three, four, five, okay, we're all six. gonna get our stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six. I get these two back for the priest. Two, four, six. I get six animus back. I'm for telling him. you, this bear is just not You're killing in the me, right man. place. I get my three cards back. Wait, do you want to give me the um, tremor token? Yes, please. Um, although, if we break anything, are we gonna break anything? But if we break anything, it's not gonna matter. 
We still have three dice that are at sixes, so we can continue hitting those sixes. Do you know what I mean? We have to break this stuff eventually. I know, but if we break them back to back to back, the advantage is we don't have to have an issue of jumping to the stage three cards early. Correct. You have the worm all tangled up in the wall. Time to take it out and take out the head. We could just take it out. Technically, you are supposed to pick up the tail first, replace the belly, then set the belly where the head is, then move the head where it's supposed to go. That way the head can avoid its body that's in place already. That actually makes sense. That does make sense. Well, so what whatever. Do we... well, don't worry about it. We're not going to change I don't know it. We did it. We're just going to leave it the way it is, but that makes sense. Thanks, Dan. Um, part yes. of the problem is just doing it. That's fine. Um, Okay. Do you want me to take it for the bear? Or do we want to just take its head out? I could just hit the head with the priest right now. No one else is adjacent to it. Do you have it. any defense cards? Oh, I did just get those cards back. I have a two defense. Oh, I heal one, by the way. So I get to three. Do. I only have three health. I have one shield token. I have no rerolls. Do I have my... Um, yeah, so my only defense card that I have is a two defense. That would put me at a five. But is that worth it to take out the head completely? It's only going to attack me with one black and two red. Sure. I'm not going to say no to taking out dice. But I mean, or do you want to hit a six? You're right. We should probably hit, we should probably hit the sixes. Well, right? I'm right at the head. That's it. I'm, I'm right there. Yeah, you're right there. So do I just hit it to get rid of it? But then it'll move and bring the tail to here, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Hero Apollo, good to see you. Thanks for joining. Dan, what's up? Hey, Nate, what's up, buddy? <laughs> we got yes, friends. Colin has no friends. rerolls. One shield and a bear that's saving all of the... the that's sedan. a mile okay, away. Okay, it's, it's not his fault. It's his first time playing with these Elsworn. He doesn't really understand how you they work. You need, like, a teleport, man. <laughs> Actually, he does have a teleport. He can move four. One, two, three, four. But that's still not getting him close. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you want me to hit it? What do you think? Hit it or not? I don't know. I got long shot. Hold on. Wait. Before you do that, let me get out of here. Uh, tree running. If you're adjacent to an obstacle, you may spend three animus to move seven to another hex that's adjacent to an obstacle. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, my gosh. They're all over here. Why can't I? It, wait. Another tree obstacle or any obstacle? Can you jump yeah, to that one? I can jump to that one. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a way to get there and then use this. Okay. Um, if there are no enemies adjacent, battle flow one card once. I can do that. What's this one? That's the thing. This is this. If there are no adjacent oath sworn, gain two. One, can I run through there? Yeah, I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to here. For three animus. Is that worth it? Why don't you put your animus on the right side? <laughs> funny, funny. No, it's not worth it. Okay, but do you want to move your animus to the right side? Nope. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> uh, what are you going to do? Hit it. Just hit it. I'm good. Hit it. Hit it? All right. Here What's comes the worst the thing that happen? The priest dies. He only has three health. Um, but it is what it is. Um, let's see. Select an adjacent... Friendly character and form a basic check with one free redraw. The difficulty is high as you they gain more health. They gain any health you lose, maximum of two. Okay, that's not helpful. I think, I think I'll use this then. It's just, just a one. Cost me three animus. I'm gonna hit it. I'll let me battle flow this card. That means I got a two defense. I'm gonna roll a, a red card or a red die and two white. All I need is three damage. Stop. Yeah. And before you do that, I'm going to move three here. Good. So that when you get knocked back, you're not knocked back into a... Pay hey, long shot. Battle for one of my cards. Oh, I should have picked up the card. And I'm going to shoot that tail. One, two, three, four, five, six. It hits the tail. Wait, you're doing this before I'm doing my attack? Correct. I'm going to hit the tail with it. Okay. Why All not? Right. I'm going to put my dice back. <laughs> I need to remember that I haven't done this yet. You and your interrupting my attack. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna hit what one is of, this? I'm gonna hit one of the sixes in the tail. Ready? I'm gonna two yellow. I'm gonna get a black. It'll be awesome. It's gonna be a blank. Ready? 
It's a four. Four. Oh my God, it's got that's excited. one damage. Hey, four, five, six. It's a six. Oh, six? So, so that's yeah. two damage. Two damage. Here goes a four. Here you go. Here's the empower token. There you go. Oh, done. Go. She's done with all her stuff. She's done everything she can. <laughs> I just want to do that because I thought I can get a long shot on that tail before it starts moving around again. That's a good idea. There you now go. Now I'm going to do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. Roll your dice. Do the thing. Right before down, you're about to roll the three, dice, I said stop. And all of a sudden, I no longer get to roll dice. All right. Uh, let's roll them up. And I shouldn't have rolled dice. That's a one and a zero and a zero. So oh, no, Colin. I am definitely going to get a re-roll token because I think I need those. Uh, that really, really, really reeked. That was bad news. That was bad news. Bad news. I'm going to battle flow my long shot one space. You can battle. Thank you. My oh. has no tokens. I can battle flow. Is there something worth battle? I could move. I could hit the, 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 this thing if you want me to. Well, I'm trying to, do, I, do you want me to try and hit the head again? Sure. I can hit it again, but then I will only have three defense with a potential of four defense. Or Nothing. I can hit the head. Oh, why don't you hit the head? Want me to hit the head? Then it's going to target you, not me. Mm. Who, who's going to hit it? Which one? But now the blade. Okay. So I can... Wait, while you do that, wait, wait. Why don't you get all the cards ready, and as you're playing, I'm going to interrupt you and do something. Totally no, fine. I'm just kidding. You should totally I'm do that. Kidding. Uh, do I'm you gonna... want me to get the bear over there? Do you want me to just keep saving civilians? I can save two more civilians. Yeah, with the civilians. One. See here. And then we're going to use my charging roar here. Charging boar. Now, I'm not in the boar stance anymore. Because if you notice how many cards I've got up here, I'm in viper stance. But I can move three. One, two, three. Now, let me make sure I do this right. I might have screwed this up. Move three in a straight line. If you move adjacent to an enemy that you are facing, you must stop. So I'm not facing that enemy. Okay. I think I did that wrong. Okay. Wait, why can't you turn to face the enemy? Well, I can after I one, two, three, and then I'll attack him. Oh, okay. Got it. Cool. Um, are you gonna attack him when I'm standing right there? That's what I was gonna do. I'll just get out of there. I want to move one, and then you at least you want to attack there. both of us, right? Good I think idea, that's right? worth it. Uh I am going to yeah, none of my cards. I'm just going to spend one Enemus to say, dude, you're awesome. I'm supporting you. Do you uh, how are you? You're six. in six health. Yeah, yeah. that's why I thought, I don't know, why yeah. don't I take him yeah. out? Okay. Two yellow, two white. I only need to do one damage. Well, I'm going to use one white. There you go. You just you three, need to do right? three, right? Three damage. Son of oh, God. my gosh. Well, cool. look on the bright side. I get a token. Do you want to re-roll? Yeah, I might as well take a I think we need re-rolls, man. We're, we're getting killed by the re-rolls. Yeah, we're getting bad. Um, so that cost me one and four. So you have one enemy left? One enemy left. Which could get me out of the way if somebody else wanted to attack it. Oh, look at that bear. The bear is over here. <laughs> Maybe he should get over here and give us tokens at least. Uh, Does he have a card that gives us tokens and moves two or something? Up to two friendly characters within range three may move up to two. Uh, or gain uh, an empower token, then you move to. So if everyone's telling me that he is considered a friendly character, one, two, three, four, I can get here. But that costs me three enemies. I only have three left, and I'm way over here, so I'm not going to be able to attack. Um, that's why I'm wondering if we give him the token now, since we didn't do anything, that will get the worm to come by him. Does that make sense? Good idea. And what he's going to do is spend one more turn saving civilians, the two sure. here, and then, you know what I mean? I think there was a card in your one slot to battle flow on the blade. You are correct. Oh, they're good. So My roll spend, card. I'm going to spend two enemies to move here and save this gal. One, two, three. She's off. Call a play okay. a card called Hibernation. Move the edge of the bed. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Oh, God, um, awesome. And then I'm going to spend two more enemies. Is it worth it? What, to idea? give them not, they, a token? Or, wait, say it again. I'm kidding. Oh, you're just being a jerk. Yeah. Yeah, typical. Because mm. um, I can't save this guy with one, one, no. one two, three, four. I'm going to shoot him in the head. Over there. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've saved eight. Do you think we want to save two and one more or no? Because the other thing is, is I can make them the target of the attack. Well, you know, but I wait. think I think you're okay. I think you probably take the attack, right? Well, now I can. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I can. Um, let's see. The How are they gonna knock back two spaces? 
Yeah, they're going to get knocked back two spaces. That's fine. But the worm head will come right north and west. It'll move six. So can it get to me? And what if I got out of range so it actually can't attack me? Would it still... Would it then move? it would target the closest arrow sworn. Okay, so I want it to attack me. So make sure I'm within six. You know six. to play the bear well. I will kill the next civilian you try to save. <laughs> exactly. I'm done with these guys. So you need to get closer. Here I am trying to save these people. Okay, so let's see. North and west. One... Two, three, four, five, six. So if it gets to here, I need to at least be here so it attacks me. Right? Yes. So then I'm just going to spend three more enemies to go one, two, and then I'm saving this guy. Perfect. Okay. Then we have one guy left. He won't get killed by this guy. We can use him next time to take... If we need to save somebody. If we need to save somebody. Is that okay? That sounds good. I have ready? one enemies left. No, I'm not ready. Uh, the priest has two left, but actually, I think I might I might actually keep that so I have all That'd eight be great of mine idea. for next time. Yeah, we're ready. Let's do this. Yeah. Sense vibration. Okay. So he's gonna wait. Wait. Do it right. Do it right. So what do you say? First, move the tail to where the body is. Then you're gonna move the the body here. Yep. And then okay. the head is going to move six. One, two, three, four, five. Right here. You're gonna move right. one. Two, three, four, five. Three. Perfect. <laughs> Again, eating him. Oh, that mean, that's pretty typical. So he's attacking. <clears throat> I am going to play my iron hide for um, three, three additional three? De right. defense. Now, is he attacking with his mouth? Yes. Nice. So this is going to give me six defense. These cards are going to be swapped down. I have six total defense for this attack. Uh, he gets one red and or two one, two red and one black. Ready? Let me just make sure there's anything else I want to do. Nope, I'm good. Do it. What? It's all misses. They're all misses. <laughs> you oh. used all that for misses. That's okay. Now everyone within range three of any worm section is knocked back. So from one, two, any three. section from any section one two. He's going to be knocked back. One, two. Now, I am... So it says here, if two or more... Um, if you're in range of two or more body parts, the knockback comes from the closest body part. Which one's the closest? North and west. This one. Okay, so knock me back Hold two. Hold on a second here. There you go. So then knock me back two. One, two. Yep. Okay. All right, everyone's been knocked back. Were you knocked back to two? Yeah. I have some... This Now, this one, I'm thinking I'm going to make sure we do this right. Now, north and west would be from... Yeah, whatever. I was thinking, I wonder if you go... No, that'd be weird. Okay, that would be nope, weird. I feel like it's just a good. straight line yep. away from All right, everybody right? gets their animus. Okay, so that's the end of... Oh, no, we're not done yet. Move three south. Oh. So he... Wait, wait, do the bot... Do the leg first, then the... You know what I mean? Yep. Okay, and then he's going to move three... Straight south, right? Mm-hmm. So one... One, two, three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice. That does work a lot better when you move it that yeah, way. Yeah, thank you, Dan. Yeah, Dan, appreciate it. His next level two is... Same thing, burrow. Oh, burrow, same thing. Wow, he's just going to keep burrowing. All right, now it's time. Now it's hammer time, as they call it. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Where's my... I get this card back for the priest. What are you looking for? Winning straight. Winning straight. Okay. Oh, here it is. Okay. I could take out the head and do a lot of damage to the tail, or to the worm. Okay, do you want to take out the head right now? Because that will activate it, and it will attack you, and no one else is adjacent. So that's maybe not a bad idea. Not a bad You're idea? six health, so why don't you do it? Winnowing strike. All right. <gasps> can you also hit yep, this? Yep, that's no? my plan. Wait, can you? Yep, watch. I'm going to use one to move. Okay, you're moving one. All right. It's right there. Why don't you show them that? Yep. <laughs> then... Moving here gives me the ability to hit all this right oh, here. That's so cool. So we hit okay. both those. Clear them out. Parts. Clear them out. Uh, are you gonna take it down? If you six? are in Viper stance, which if we look at the blade, he is in Viper stance. I get a. Uh, if you Viper stance, you redraw on this attack. Attack once and apply all. You gain a redraw, so I get one reroll. So we're gonna roll two white and a. Why don't you show him the board again? I'm working on it. Two white and a red and a yellow. Two yellows and two whites. And a nine and a, a niner in there somewhere. All right, ready? Let's see how we do here. I know rerolls. Or get rerolls, I should say. Check these out. Can you do the reroll on that yellow? 
First they do the oh yeah. First they do the crits. Two more crits, my man. Keep them critting. Keep them, keep them critting. Well, I should have said what part of the worm's body was hit. It's hitting the six because yeah. I don't want to break the other two one things here. at once. Yeah. Okay, then I get to do two reroll. I get a reroll. There we go. So two, four, five, six, seven. That's two damage. I could use a reroll to maybe get two more. Yeah, two more on a white die. Or on a yellow, I could reroll this because either two, four, five, six. We're doing six no matter what. That's true. It's up to you. Right? Do you uh, but do you really want to use it? We use those so we don't miss. I okay. feel like you're doing two damage. You're doing four damage right here. Two damage to each thing, right? Um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Apply attack once and apply to all targets. So I feel like right. I mean I'll go with it. I'm just thinking we want to keep that for when we miss. <laughs> right. I get to battle for all of these cards oh, over here. Oh, that's super nice. Nice. I need gonna, to play a, a, a level two. I need card. to play a one but, card. So one that card. can you show them the the card because now that means the head's done. Yep. So we're gonna activate the head, and then you did two damage to the worm's middle part here. So bringing this to a four. Four, and that's this toast. Is dead. Okay, we're actually not I mean, doing too bad. Not doing terrible. I don't know why now, I'm saying that. This card three cards is going to melee activate and it's targeting you. So right. we know what it does. Okay, remove the head. So remove the um, the worm's head from the game board. Move the other body parts as usual. Uh, it's going to attack with, and it uh, also targets all enemies adjacent to the target. There's none. Redraw all blanks once and then place the worm's head on the target's space. <coughs> oh boy. So. It will have one black and two red. Okay. One black, two red, re-roll, redrawing blanks. Yep, redrawing blanks. I have to blanks. choose if I want to use some defense. Yep. Okay, one card here gives me one defense. And you are way too far away for me to help you. Plus, I don't actually have Oh, here, I can play this one. All right. We're going to play this one. It gives me two defense. Right? And I get to battle flow all these ones to here. There we go. Right? Okay, so now i got a total of four defense. Yeah. Wow. Three, nothing, seven. Reroll, reflip that blank. Reflip the blank. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten divided by four. That's two. Two. You have anything that you can do? Ten divided by four. I can put two of these in, which means then you, I would you have... You still take oh, two wait. damage. I've got this. Oh, no, one damage. After damage is drawn, you reduce that damage by two. Now, the thing is, I think I used this. I forgot to use that. Okay. So but I could use this. Gain one against the damage is not going to help, right? I'd still take uh, two, right? Well, because you get to five. Five, because it was ten, right? You still take two. Oh, and two. I can still take, then I can use one of these and so take only one, right? Or do I just take two, you think? I mean, I think you can take two. Let's you're, take two. You got six health, you're down to four. We'll take two. Okay. Take the two, save those things for a little later. Here. Yeah. Here's this. And then his next one is crush. If the target loses any health, they will lose an additional health. That's what it does. Wolf down. Okay. Oh, did that card have it move? No. The last thing is it has to place the head in your space. That's going to be here. Yeah. Which means I'm guessing this is going to move this up. Uh, okay. How does that work? I have no idea. I really like the battle flow system in this game. Yes, I agree yeah. with Quitter. Why don't you just put it there like that? There we go. Something like that. There we go. There we go. That's good fun. <laughs> that worm is all messed up. Love it. Okay. Uh, but now we cannot attack the head, right? Because the head's cleared out. Correct. But it can still do its things. Uh, so the uh, the belly, we might want to try and take the belly out. And I played Winning Strikes. That was four more. All right, so I got two animus left with my blade if I wanted to get him out of there because I need to get him out of there for some reason. I don't think I do. I kind of want to play this. To let some people move, and you can even actually you wouldn't even have to move. You could just gain a, a empowering and power token. So I'm gonna gain an I'm gonna play this with the bear. You're within range three. Mm -hmm. Since I'm apparently a friendly character, I'm gonna gain an empower token. Okay. Do you want an empower token? Yes. Or do you want to move two? No, I'll take empower token. Okay. So we're each gonna take an empower token. Okay. Then I get to move two. The nice thing we'll is, just avoid the other body parts. <laughs> but the worm is all over the place. Yeah, it's all over the place. <laughs> I'm sure we didn't move that one exactly right, but that's um, okay. We're having fun and we're trying okay. doing the best we can. One, two, and now I'm within range of that guy right there. If you're able to tie the worm in a knot, you automatically win. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, Colin. That was a joke. Uh, <laughs> then I'm going to use the bear, and I'm just going to use this to attack for three, hitting the body. Looking to take out that last one. And it's a zero, so that puts all these cards in my zero slot back into my hand, which is what I was looking for. Okay. 
Uh, so with this attack, I have an empower, but I don't think I'm going to use that. You're targeting that one. I'm just going to target the one because okay. I want it. To, I want to break it again because okay. this is not terrible for him. He's got five health. How many? Right? One, two, three, four. That'd be our fifth die. And it's six. He okay. goes to the next one. Cool. Or do you want me to hit the four? Nope. No. I just want to make sure we're not going to the next one. I mean, I could go for the four no, instead. No, break it. Okay. So I get one yellow, and I was just going to do two white. Because he's not, he's not quite strong right now, because he doesn't have a lot of stuff. Two? two. That's nothing. I've got... I don't have a reroll. I don't have a reroll. Seriously? I'm in power. Not used three of these. So I have one left. I cannot believe that. I can shoot it. I'm sorry. I missed, and I don't even get anything for it because I actually didn't fail, right? Right. Oh, brutal. All right, the archer's up. They're just going to play her trick. She's going to. I have not critical yet. Did I not move her animals over? I must not move her animals. She hasn't done anything. No, she hasn't done anything. I'm going to use two to move, and then I'm going to use four. One, two, three, four to play a long shot again. I don't know why I can keep playing this card. This card's awesome. Um, yep, that's the deal. We're going to move to one, two to right here. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll shoot the body. I'm not going to break it. I think I'll just go for the four, you think? Yeah, because if you lose one health, that's, you bad lose, news, that's right? really bad. She only has two health. So, so I I'm think you, you got to go for the four. So I'm going to use the f two yellows and one white. Here we go. Just three dice. That's fine. So, so good. Oh my gosh, dude. We're just getting killed. I'll take a no. reroll token. You have no tokens, do you? No. Reroll token? Yeah. Got you. Now let's see what else I can do with her. Okay, as you're deciding, I'm going to do the priest. Yep. The priest is standing there. Pissed as all get out. He's going to lay his hands on the tail. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Spending three mm. enemies. And I'm going oh, to... Dan's on chapter four. Yeah. Well, he just finished his battle night, and these two knuckleheads were on the story about it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Aside from saving your entire citizen, the bear is pretty weak. Yes, yes no, I know. No. So far, hey, don't worry. It's his first time. Come on, give him a little. Give him a little break. That's right. Uh, this will let me move all of these down. I mean, we didn't get to handpick any sort of items for him or anything, so I'd say he's still doing fine. Uh, I am. Should I try and break the top of the tail with sure. the priest, yeah, 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 yeah. or should That's I go fine. for the six? Uh, either one. I'll let you make that call. I'm gonna go for the six. Sure. I'm going to go for the six. And that gives me a red and two whites. This burrow's done, right? Put that over there. Yeah. Now oh, that is what I'm talking about. Wow, you're that gonna is what I am talking about. Destroy him. Oh, damn. Both of these missed. Uh, seven, so that's only two damage. I did to the six. You know your rerolls? I do, but I you just feel like... the red? I think it's worth it. Well, four, five, six. No, you'd have to roll a two. Let's see, there's a two, four, three, three. I mean, no matter what, if I hit with it, I would get to another one. Let's do it. I only have one reroll. Okay. All right, I'm going to do it. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. That was worth it. What would you hit? Five, the six, four seven, or eight, the nine. six? The six. So, so I hit it for three. three. It's right. down to three. Perfect. Okay. That cost me three. Then I'm going to play a pillar and path so I can gain one or the other of these items, I'm actually going to gain... You have four animus left? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, you had all of it. That's right. One, two, three, four, because I saved a couple. Mm -hmm. So I've got four animus. I think I'm going to gain the reroll. Good right. idea. Yeah, you know. Um, and then I get to attack again. Yes, you do. And so, and this is a one, which is going to re-put all of these down to my zero, which is what I wanted, so I can get those back. And that's going to be a red <clears throat> and two whites again. And what do you think? Hit the three, hit the... I'm going to hit the four this time. All right, hit the four. Don't you think? Just keep hitting them yeah. all down so that hopefully... Yeah. Got a crit. Spinny, spinny, that is ridiculous. Spinny, spinny, crit, crit. Spinny, spinny, crit, crit. Oh, I'll take the okay. two, though. That's four. I need a two on this to be two damage. Oh, oh come on! That's so I got to reroll. Should I reroll right, this? Yeah, reroll the red one, yeah. Okay, I'm going to reroll the red one. Come on. That was the most that was, intense uh, that was spinning I've ever seen. Okay. Come on. Come on. That's it. That's a two. That's a two. Two, four, four six, six, seven. So I just dealt two more damage to the four. So it's so down four, to down two. two. Okay. Okay. That is one. This priest is priesting it up. That priest was awesome. is doing pretty good. Um, okay. What are you thinking of doing over there? 
Nothing. No, you're done? I think I'm done. I got one more Animus with my Archer. I could give myself three, but that's not really going to do me much. Because I only have four range from where I am. I'm setting myself up for those long shots. So I don't really have... I can battle flow long shot. Why don't I do that? I'll battle flow long shot into my hand. With my last Animus with my thing. I'm going to save the two Animus with the blade. Why not, right? Yeah, I can save one for each of these. I don't think he's... He's not going to get attacked because he's going to get attacked. Just bought it. Yeah, the, the priest is uh, rocking it. Okay. Yeah. He, uh, so now let's go ahead and do. I love it. Let's do this. So the, uh, it's going. The mouth is going to move towards the bear. How would you? So well, Dan thinks that the mini needs to be painted in order to do much. <laughs> that has got to be it. It's true. Maybe we should have had Dan, Bill paint these. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't be doing as well. So I'm going to pick this up. It just moves one towards me. Because it's going to move six towards the bear, and the bear's right one away. So it's going to move here. Now, how is this going to work with the rest of the body? This is always a challenge. So then we, so technically, we we pick this up and replace the body first. Okay, then the body would move there, and then the the head probably comes right here. Sure, we'll and, just do it that and way. And pushes the bear. Though I think, in theory, it maybe move its body back out. I don't. Know. Whatever. It, it, the, I apologize for the misplay on the moving yeah, of these, well, and I know there's there's real ways to do it. Well, we we have to re remember. It's been three weeks since we looked at that. So he is attacking. Tail first, always the cascade, that that cascades everything correctly. Bear but is going to use the, the four. Problem is the body then ends up right, and head ends up right here if he's next to the bear. So my defense is seven. Can you draw for it, please? Sure. What am I drawing? Uh, he is using the mouth again. So one, one black and two red. How about eight? Defense is seven. If I make it eight, it's even. You're going to take one either way. I know, but I was hoping if I can get it to nine, then I wouldn't... Correct. No, I'm not redrawing any of these, right? Yeah, because actually I'm going to take two. Because if oh, I take one, I take two. That's what that's I was right. hoping. But I don't have anything. Nothing I can do, so I'm going to take two. I'm going to go yeah. down from five to three. And he goes to his level threes, you're right. He goes to his level threes now? Yeah. Hail Slam. Oh, I oh Range two and uh, I took this one into the range two of the worm's tail. And then he attacks with the mouth. Oh my gosh, the attack is only performed if the target is within two range two of the worm's head. Okay, so the second attack is only, so if we can stay away from the mouth. The first one, he's not going to move. He's just going to have a range two knockback yeah. area of effect. So he's just going to punch people back within range two of the worm's tail. Then he's going to sense and move. No, oh. nope, not moving. He's going to sense vibration. If the target, okay. Um, so that's just going to tell him which his target mm -hmm. is. But then he has a range two of it. And he's so in attack. theory, with this card, you would like the archer to have that sense token. Oh, no, no, it doesn't matter. Even if with the sense vibration, yeah. it'll still target the it'll closest target one the if it's, and, yeah. And it's all of them, right, within range two? Because it's, a, oh, no, it's just range two, target one. This attack is performed if the target's within range two of the worm's head. And then move five southeast. That's what it's going to do. It's going to attack the blade if it doesn't, if it can't hit the person with the sense token. Which right now is the bear. Okay, we all get our cards back, right? Yep, and I get all my animus with my blade. And he gets a ton of cards. And the bear gets a bunch. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. So should the bear save this last um, guy now? He's within range to save him. Okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to even let you give me an option. I'm spending one Thanks, animus. Colin! Guys, run away. You, you, uh, we saved ten of the civilians. Sure. I'm going to long shot If something. that doesn't help something, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> All right. I got a long shot here. Should I hit something? Um, yeah. Hit the tail, please. You want me to? Uh, I would hit it enough to... Wait, wait. Do we want to break it? If we break it, it'll target her. Um, which is, but it, it, it that can't. doesn't matter. So you can't it, do it, right? It's just gonna target the one that's closest, which is the bear. The bear has three health. You okay with that? It only has one shield. I've got threes in my hand. I won't have to check for that. How many dice does the worm? How many? Oh, I will show you. Dan's wondering how the worm's doing. Oh yeah. Okay, here's how the worm's doing. We're not doing too bad. We've you taken gotta, out the head. We've got the belly has a one and a four. The yeah. tail has a two, three, and a two. Two, three, and a two. <coughs> if you save all ten, then a basketball game breaks out. 
that's awesome. Yes. Timberwolves. They're playing over there. I see them. They are. They're playing. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm going to do long shot and put in my one. I'm going to Why don't you go for the belly? I'm going to go for the tail. And do the four. Oh, we're going to do the tail. I'll do but, the top tail. But then that means it's going to activate. Yep. Are we okay with that? Um, sure. It's, who's within range two of the tail? The bear um, is. Yeah. It's going to get knocked back three. Get out and, of and, range of the tail and, and head first. Yeah, I would say get out of the range yeah. of the... But then it's like I'm using animals just to move out and to try to get back. Oh, I can do that with the with this guy because he's got that charge card. The bear. I've got a that charging card. Charging boar. So I can get out of the way. I can go like one, two back here. Am I far enough away now? Uh, range two of the tail. You're not within range two, and you're not within range two of the mouth. I'm so good. You're good. I would have to spend. Two animus. Two animus for the bear. I feel like it might be worth it though, because then so no one will get attacked. No one gets attacked, and he's gonna he's gonna move southeast. He's gonna move this way. So if I start moving this way, at least he's gonna come that way. Mm-hmm. So I'll spend two animus to move one, two, and then I'm one, I'm not within. I'm range gonna move two. three with that guy. Is this game as good as Peter claims? It's better. Better. It's better. Way I, better. Absolutely love this. Sue Park, thanks for joining. Um, awesome to have you. That's Mike. I think that's Mike. Isn't oh, that yeah? Mike? I believe it is. Um, but yeah. Not not, not our Mike. It's a Mike from... Oh. Uh, he's been on my channel before. I really like him. Nice. All right. Now I'm going to shoot him. Ready? Yes. I really want you to get him next to my guy so I can primal rage him. Oh, come on. Reroll, please. I've got to reroll. Oh, use it. Crit, come on. Crit. That's amazing. Okay, here's a yellow and I a white. I think he's already lost all his health that I was going to hit him with. He, let's see. He's only got two health in this. So if I got uh, enough three, to three, four, five, six, seven, you do. You yeah. just took so it out. So that's gone. Um, and that is now six dice done, right? Yep. So we are in the, we go to the next stage. We're so already, already at there. that stage. So first, no one was within range two of the tail. Then, yes. Um, sense vibration. I think maybe it would actually turn towards you, or no? Because you're the no, no. Who broke him? I did. Yeah, so I think he would turn towards you, but then uh, target no one's within range two. So this is only, and then he moves five southeast. Uh, so one. Let's let's do the right thing. First, this moves to here. Then that will move to here, and then that one, one two, two, three, three four, 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 five. five. The front yeah, stair is going to be like that, like there this. Yep. Awesome. That's perfect. Okay. I'm going to put this over here because we might need it again. Here's the next card. Same thing. Same thing. Oh, I can't hit the face. What? We can't hit the oh. face. Nuggets! <sighs> can't do what I want to do with the bear. Okay, well, the priest needs to get out of the way. Why? What's wrong with the priest is in the way? Okay, hold on a second. Before we're doing too many tries. I have to pay four for long shot. What, do you want? what does the priest need to do? And I got a crit, so hold on a second. Before I go crazy here, I got this. When you crit and attack, gain two animus. I'm going to use that yes. right now. So I'm going to gain back two Animus. And then there was another one over here. What was that one? It was, if there are no enemies adjacent, battle flow one card. I'm going to do that, battle flow card. Mike, no, we're not using the narration. We're reading because it's a little bit slower with that narration. So I just read it out loud. It's, but it's really good. It's just a little slow. Correct. Okay, the priest has not done anything yet. I can come and hit that tail, but then I'm going to get knocked back. But knocked okay, back is terrible. You're going nuts here. I'm, I'm going nuts. Hold I'm on, excited. On. I've got this card. I'm going to play Battle Flow 1 card for one Animus. Look at my Archer here. With all my shiny cards up here. I'm so sorry about the glare. Um, that's going to bring Longshot back into my hand. Isn't that crit during an attack only when the Ranger is attacking or any Oswar? No, uh, Ranger just attacked. I don't, I don't exactly know what he's asking. Isn't but... the crit during an attack... Only when a ranger is attacking, or any other sort. It's no, only when it, a ranger attacks. It's her bow. Yeah, but she was the one who attacked and broke the... Um, I, the, I know I kind of did out of work because we should have done that. I should be doing this before I moved all that, but I was planning on it because then I could shoot again with my long shot. That was my whole plan. Uh, Sometimes I just say yes when Baron says it's his <laughs> I don't really know what he's doing over there. I'll just let him run. I actually think I might have done something wrong here, but I think we're okay. Um, and then that gives me back my four animus, which now I can play long shot again. I believe you. Okay. Do it. But I want you to move the priest once. I mean, otherwise I'm going to get knocked back. No. No, you're going to get hit by this thing. 
But all it does is knockback. It doesn't even hit you. You're going to get knocked back in the wall and take one damage. Whatever. I'll heal one. I don't want to waste movement. Okay. Because I'm moving farther away from it, and then I can't attack it. You know what I mean? All right, I'm playing long shot on the tail. And you have to do nine damage to take it out. Think you can do that? Two, just, yeah. yeah, but do the three, man. Because okay. if you don't take it out, then that's fine. You know what okay, I mean? Okay, perfect. I'm going to battle for these cards. <laughs> Something tells me these are not where they're supposed to be. Oh, I moved them. That's right, because they had glare on them. It is Friday, that's by right. the way. It is midnight. Oh, my gosh. Nice. Sorry. We're well, almost we're done, actually, though. We're doing well. We're doing well. All right, I'm going to pull two yellows and a white. Here we go. Ready? That was perfect. Ooh, credit. No. Oh. Three, six, seven. Seven. That's seven, only two. But wait, wait, isn't that give you plus seven, two eight, damage? Nine. That's nine. That's so three damage. This thing. So, so now that thing activates. So we're next, all going to get attacked. Where's our next card? Where is it? Where it it's go? the same one that you just flipped over. What did you, oh, did I put it over here? Tail slam. Yeah, there it is. So uh, range two, knock back three. You're so, going to take one damage. Right so the damage. priest takes one damage. He sits there and goes down to three health. That's okay. <laughs> the ranger's right attacking. You got to have Yes. As um, long... As it's as I got a plan. That's right. Oh, and actually, someone's uh, I'm adjacent to the mouth. That's the bear. Can I yes, pretend that I was smart because I would have moved the bear away from the. We have to move two spaces. That's right, just right. fine. I can totally move two spaces. Away oh, from now, okay, there you go. Yeah. Um, wow, this because must be I, late for you guys. It's morning in England. Yes, we yes. have to stop watching Colin's videos. Yes, they're so good. Uh, range two. This tackling important. The target's in range two. And then it moves five southeast, uh, southwest this time. So hold on, move the tail first to here. Which is great because now the bear's in the right spot. Yep. And this goes one, two, three, four, five. Just because it's nice. awesome. Nice. There we go. Okay. Okay. I, think I did that. Next. Okay. Now he's. The archer has no animus. Right. Move six. Attack with the tail. This attack targets all enemies adjacent to any any of the worm's body parts. And moves Target three. not next to head. Yes. Last time I watched him, I bought uprising. <laughs> now Again. I have to hunt down. Oh, sworn. This oh, is true. Oh, this sworn is, is so good. Oh, sworn is another another level of amazing. Okay, the priest has not activated yet. Okay. Uh, the bear is essentially done. Can I do an attack with two enemies? That costs three. That costs four. No, I cannot. So I'm going to save my two enemies for the bear. Okay. The priest has seven enemies. Uh, let's see. Can I get adjacent to that? Oh, the one? liquid is saying the ranger is the target, so the head does nothing. Well, but then it still targets the closest old sworn. It can't target the person it's targeting, from what I am. Are you guys still doing stuff with, uh, with one stop? I've not seen you on ages. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we are. are you talking about me or him? They're both probably. Yeah. I mean, I was gone for two two weeks in the Smoky Mountains. So, um, all right, I am going the to. says read the card again. Which one? Tail slam. Range two target. So what Baron is saying, which I I don't remember, but if he cannot hit the target of an Osworn, if you know, so if they're targeting whoever it is, then instead they'll target an, another Osworn that's close Closest. to as possible. That's what I understand. And if none were none were within range two, we've moved our people without a range two, then it doesn't attack. Again, if we're there's a possibility it could be wrong, but I don't think so. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to move the priest. One, two, three. Okay. Across three enemies. Priest is here. One, two, three. And then I'm going to attack... With this one. Martyr. Martyr. Do it. And uh, it only cost me two enemies. All right. So I still have two enemies left. That will move this down. I will get a red. And what do you want me to do with the tail? Two. I might break it here. If I break it, is that a problem? It I'm going to attacked. Attack by... get attacked by the tail. Yeah. And that's actually the bear would too. All so is before. Just any. Thing, yeah, yeah, that's so hilarious. Before just, I do that, bear is just just running back and forth. I'm gonna spend another enemies to have him move away. That's absolutely hilarious. Just in case, I'm gonna get a red. Do I have an empower token? No, I have a battle flow token. I have no rerolls for him because he. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a red and two whites. Red and two whites. Red and two whites. Two four. Didn't kill it. No, I did one damage though. To the tail. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. During attack, reroll a blank white. No. Oh, that's yep. just that. So blank red. All right, so we're down to three dice. I'm still on not done yet. yet. I'm still not done. I'm gonna do. Really I'm gonna do my final attack. I want to take it out. 
make sure that I'm not going to die. I'm still going to do it. I'm going to do this attack, cost two, Enemus. I read the next sentence is as not to do the attack if the target is not within two. I might on boring cover that works with that card. Whatever. I don't care. I we apologize if Quitter yeah. did it wrong. But yeah. you could no. be right. It could be that it's just like the attack around it. I am then going to do one more attack with a red and two white. I just need one damage here. You can do it. Three, four, five. The tail is done. All right, tail's done. Okay. So that means that the body is all the way in the I'm side. I'm going board. to do an attack, move six towards its target. Does it move the? How does that work? Because the tail is going to be way over here. It doesn't attack with the tail. It doesn't attack with the tail. It's just using the tail symbol, which we've now broken. Does that make sense? Gotcha. So we first move the tail to here, then we move this to here. And then that is going to move north and west here, right? Sure. Okay. And it's going to attack him. Um, and anybody that's adjacent to any parts of it would get attacked, nice. but it's only the priest. Can you grab one red, one black and two red? Then the priest is going to play this card. This card to increase his shield to four. And that will battle flow these down. Um, okay, so that's my shield of four. Ready? Bring it. How about Bring five? It. I got a hit for five. No, you got yeah, total of five, so you take one damage. Take one damage. I'll go down to two half. And then it's gonna move three southeast. So hold on, hold on. Let's do this right. This one first to here, and then that one to here, and then southeast. That's over here. You're gonna go north one square. North one square, right there. No, nope. north. Oh, straight north. I'm there sorry. You're, you're good. Northeast. Perfect. House of Dragons, Ring of Power, the old sworn videos. Can Toss. TV get any better? Boss. Oh are we, boy. Salad. <laughs> Attack the target. The target of his four knock and random. They will not collide with the worm's head. Move three south. Okay. Well, I don't know about you, but I have one enemist left with the bear, which I'm going to keep, and I have nothing left with the priest. Oh, you've still got the blade. Yeah. Dude, the blade's we only gonna need go five something. damage left All right. to, to the belly. You ready? No. Here we go. I'm going to move. Hey, I'm going to have you take one. the um, targeting things so you have the most health at four. Okay. Uh, move one with the blade right here. Then I'm going to play my charging boar, which will battle flow this card. Now I'm in ox form, not boar form. That's going to cost me four. He's going to charge three, which is going to charge me one, two to here. And I'm going to attack that thing. Hit the four. Hit the four. I'm going to empower this to a black die. Black die into yellow? Yep. No blanks. Do you have any reroll? No. You ready? Why don't we ever have reroll? Because <laughs> we use them. <laughs> oh, I did oh, five. Five. That's one damage. That's too bad. Goes down to three. Dang. Throw this over here. And that's everything. Okay. So then it's going to sense vibration. That's you. It's going to move towards its target. So first the tail is going to move to here. Then this is going to move to here. And then this is going to sneak in to this spot, right? Yep. Something like this to attack you. There we go. Uh, and it's going to attack you with its mouth. So he gets one less. It's one black and two red. After the attack, the target suffers knockback four in a random direction. Can you um, draw the cards? I'm going to play and... this for two damage, for two defense. Okay, you want to Battle flow this. Two defense. Somersault. Yeah. Yeah. That's thematic. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that... your defense is four? Yeah. But you have two shields. I could give myself five. Oh, I, got, I like this idea. I lied. Thanks, Mike. Glad that you like. I mean, Baron did all the setup of this. It's awesome. I love how the live play. Oh, yeah. that's very yeah. nice of you. Thank you so much. You're yeah, working real hard. Hardly working. I'm going to play this. My ma master parry. Okay, so then you're at five. So I'm at five, and I'm going to guess... Let's go with ten. I'm going to guess the number ten. Okay. With, with only one black and two red? 
Who guessed the number nine? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got two cards. I got to shuffle the red deck again. Okay, let's see what these two are. Three, four, five. So if if you can, is there fours in there? Yeah. In the red, I think there's only threes. That still worked, right? You said nine. There we go. There we go. Three, six, seven, eight. And, and you I've, said nine. And if I'm, uh, oh wait, I have to be in. Oh, I am an ox farm. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that was so close. I totally forgot about this. <laughs> I am an ox farm. If you look at the blade, he does have two cards over here, over there. So that means he is in ox form. Um, he is going to gain, or I'm not going to take any damage. That's the deal. That is ridiculously cool. Yes. Uh, and then he moves three south. So to do that, we'll need that card back. first. Oh, why? Because if we get to the end, we got to shuffle oh, yeah. these up. That's a good point. This one moves here, this one moves here, and it moves three south, so it goes one, two, and then it would bounce off. Yep. Where would it, where would it bounce? Oh, well, let's just bounce it like that. Okay, there that sounds go. good. All right, last Sorry. level three card is Writhe again. All so right. It's all enemies adjacent to the worm's body part. I'm done. What do you mean? I don't have anything that much left. Well, th that was the enemy activation. Oh, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're getting it back, man. I mean, I get all my. Time. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm totally done. done. Did we even start? I get my uh, zeros back. That's good. Okay. So what's left? Is it just the body? Yeah. Two shots in the body. Okay. Spending one for the bear. The bear's gonna do something finally. Uh, primal really? rage. Primal rage. It costs four. One, two, three, four. I'm battle flowing this card back into my hand. That'll move this over to here. Uh, so I can have a yellow. I'm gonna definitely empower this. So I would normally get a yellow, and I would do, let's say, two whites. So I'll empower that yellow to a black. That's two, and then this to a yellow. So a black, yellow, and a white. I'm attacking the three. I'm attacking the three. All right. And I airball because <laughs> I have two <laughs> gosh darn misses and no rerolls. No, he has a battle flow card. Hmm. But not anything. So he's gonna grab a reroll token. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I... Look at that. Another miss. My archer moves up too. Didn't I say that the bear was actually gonna do something? Apparently not. Nope. And she's gonna shoot the middle part. And she's out of animus. Ready? Oh, and the priest should heal one. There you go. To three. Sorry about that. Ready? You're doing the bear no favors. No I know. Favors. I, I don't I don't know. He no needs favors. to be painted. He'll be much better next, next time. time. Ready? No. Here we go. Three. Three. That's one damage. One damage. I'll go down to two. two. Oh wait, that's five damage. But still oh, do you have a reroll? Nope. No. So down to down two. two. Uh, it's on the side that you're holding it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Alright, the blade. We don't want all of us to be adjacent to the... Can I Cut. do a bear hit with a... No, I have two enemies left. Useless for the bear. Bear can't do anything with that. I'm going to somersault. As you do that, I'm going to spend one for the bear just to have him move away because then he won't get attacked and he won't be adjacent. Over to here. Oh! Show him what? Show him that. Can you do your little spinny? I can try. Oh, but the, actually the only body part we need to hit is that one. So right. it doesn't even matter. <laughs> I'm going Sorry, to use your card. Thank you. Uh, it goes in battle flow two. I get to battle flow this card down. I know I'm not showing it. Apologize. Got to better on that next time. We're I mean, getting close, man. I'm going to go close. for the belly with the with the two twos there. Two twos. There we go. That two two is dead. This is dead. Nice. So that means this will activate. Yes. Right? Uh, so sense it doesn't matter. It's going to target you. Move six to target. It ain't going to move. And say it's not even going to move. So no. it's not even moving. It attacks all enemies adjacent to the body. That's why I moved away. Okay. Uh, so it's going to get you one one black and two reds. And two reds. And then moves three southwest after. The climactic ending when you are all attacking with spoons. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it because we're all out of tokens with no tokens. All right, ready? Um, oh, no. Yeah. I'm going to use some defense. I don't want to die. I'm oh, gonna, come on. I'm going to use this three. So a three plus the two. So yep. five. Five. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you nine. only take one. One. I'll take it. I'm down to down three. Down to three. Here's this for you. I'm going to move three southwest. 
this is going to move here and then this is going to move here and three southwest so one two three nice okay and then we need new level three cards cheat, cheat, cheat. shuffle them up shuffle them up shuffle them up Okay, so we just have the body. That's just left. check eBay. Won't be getting it for a while. Uh, yeah, I, know, I know, I can't imagine. Yeah. They are doing a reprint coming Q4. So we have Writhe again. We have Writhe nope, again. Nope, we don't. We got a dead thing. Um, we only need one health. Cut. I got three here. I'm going to roll two yellows. I'm just going to roll my two yellows. All we need is three damage, man. All right. All right. Ho, 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 ho. Dude, we did it. Oh, okay. Oh, we took down the world. We're calling it nights. Twelve seventeen. Twelve seventeen. Uh, we'll do the same thing we did last time, where we'll do our level ups and everything yeah. after. That um, was awesome. Let me see. Here. Um, go check one thing. Got a robot. I still haven't gotten Truvad Leg Legends, Mike. I am. I am yeah. hesitantly excited for it. Hesitant. Have they, when is that coming? Well, I got my shipping. You know, hey, it's coming oh, soon. Confirm your address. Nice. But I have no idea. Perfect I'm, ending. It was a perfect yeah. ending. That, so if when we do. Uh, per, go to the next. Uh, we if we do level up, we're all gonna gain a permanent token. So, uh, if you, I'm gonna actually gonna let my Patreons choose my permanent token. Let's see what they do. You can choose yours. We do we, we all get to pick an individual yeah. permanent token. Is that on these little sheets? Yeah, that'll be the little sheets. Okay, he is supposed to have a permanent token. Do you remember what we gave him? Did we give defense. him the shield? We okay. Gave him defense. So we, yeah. I just need a new piece of paper. New for piece him. of paper. Yeah. So basically, what's gonna happen is by the time we play again, we're all supposed to pick a new token here. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing. Don't now. In theory, that might not be the case. We might not level up. I don't see why we don't. I think you level after every mission. Oh, Baron, can you read the rule for consumed again, just for clarity? <laughs> <laughs> Top Only to bottom. It. Top Only to have bottom. It. Only have it. Um, You're welcome, Kevin. Thank you so much. So I'm gonna. So anyway, thank you so much for joining. We are gonna be wait, out. This wait, do this camera. Do, do this, this camera. camera. Okay, I'll do this camera. Just, just so people me. can see it again to remember the uh, what. What this awesome thing yep. looked like. Look just, at that. Wait, let's put the bear where he's yeah. supposed to be. Yeah, take the bear and hide him. That's what he did in <laughs> most game and saved all of the civilians. Um, but yeah, um, I can recommend reroll for Colin. Yeah, yep, seriously. Yep. Colin needs some rerolls, that's uh, for sure. This game anyways. is most akin to Brimstone. No. There's, there's, there's. He's asking what it's oh. really most akin to. It is, I would say, um, a boss battle. It's got to be some sort of boss battle. Like Kingdom Death. Or Maybe Kingdom that. Death, but each time you play, but you I play love there's so many different bosses. Yeah, that's yeah. the deal. And, and not it's not any... about the civilization. Yeah, it's more about your characters. <clears throat> anyway, uh, this was awesome. Thank you again to Bill. If you're interested in finding any some a person to paint your miniatures, check out Bill. I have a link in the description below of all of his stuff. Um, of it's, course, we'll be coming back in next week or two I, weeks or something. One or two weeks, one or the other. Something like yeah. that. We'll be coming back. We are going to play all of this. We're going to play Star of the Cars. We might be doing Star of the Cars next week. Yeah, maybe Make we'll do fun. Star of the Cars next week so, and come back to this the week. Because this is awesome. And so it's Both of them are awesome. Yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you're interested in seeing some of the cool stuff I do, uh, I'm going to be doing live painting on Monday. I might be doing a bear. Why would you have to do a bear? Because <laughs> somebody ran into it and got eaten by a worm. I really want to know what would have happened if I hadn't done that. Uh, I well, wonder. I guess I'll watch uh, something else. We'll have yeah, to play it some, again. We'll we probably would have again. all taken damage or probably. something. We'll have, to, we'll have to play it again. Um, other than that, if you're interested in supporting the channel, please check out a link in the description of the Patreon. You're able to vote on things such as, for example, I'm going to let our Patreons vote on my permanent tokens. Also, they get to vote on some of the games I play. Uh, also, the characters in them. And they, they were the ones that actually voted for the two characters I played through in this playthrough and probably for the rest of them. Thank you very much, Toby. He says awesome jobs thank you so much kickstarter 2 in a few months for someone who missed the first so there is coming yeah. back in okay. very very soon uh gray bear is classic yep he's hiding behind a wall so <laughs> there we go i think that's everything thank you Colin, so much for joining by oh, we're gonna be doing awesome. this again uh and i'm gonna make sure i hit the right button while we try to sign off here instead of looking like warren's and staring at a screen <laughs> so <laughs> weren't we you. doing that for the last three hours <laughs> pretty much <laughs> thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you again it was awesome to have you all here thanks and, for joining yeah what am i supposed to say oh yeah, yeah. i need you to meet, meet me, me at, at the, the table, table. <laughs>